Morning, morning, morning. I saw a picture of myself yesterday on the set because the bright light's above and my hair is very, very, very heavy. I looked like I was going bald, looked like I had a comb over. Right, okay. Uh, Emma, just so you know, I'm echoing really, really badly in my ear. Today's early bird is spectacular. This is my last day of the, the birthday week. Where Vix is here tomorrow doing birthday week. This is my early bird and you are going to love it because you love it anyway when it's at full price. And we haven't just knocked one pound off. We haven't just knocked two pounds off. We've knocked 10 pounds off, 10 pounds off the Prim Mini Iron. So it's normally 39 pounds and 99 pence. Today, uh, while stocks last, it is 29.99. 29.99 it is, yeah, I know. I know how fantastic that, it's a saving of 10 pounds. Also, once you've bought this and you've checked out, that's your PMP done for for the day, isn't it? That's your PMP completely done for the day. I know, isn't it brilliant? Right, I'll just show you around it because I've got one open here. Uh, it's not plugged in. Look at the length of the, first of all, look at the length of the cord. Now, we always have a row about this. Some people say it's 1.5 metres. Some people say it's 2 metres. I think it's 1.8 metres myself. Oh, hang on. Now, it, hasn't got, it doesn't have it written on the packet anymore. You used to have it written on the packet. No, I'll have to measure it. Oh. No, no, I've got the tape measure. Where's the tape measure gone? There it is. All right, so I've got it, got it, got it, got it. I'll be back in a minute. Don't worry. Here we go. So from plug to iron. There's uh, one, there's one meter, 50. So then there's an extra. Oh, this one's, uh, oh, no, two meters. Two meters this one is. So you get two meters of cord, first of all. Then, let me just show you here. What you get here is, how would you like to see this, Emma? That way around there. Right, so okay, when you plug it in, the little light will come on. When the light goes off, it's ready to go. You see here, this little rubber stopper where you put your water in. Yes, it's a steam iron. You do get a little, you do get in here, you get a little jug and you get a little um, case and the instruction in there. That's what I'm talking about, in there. Oh yeah, this sack comes. This sack comes with this three-pin plug. With a three-pin plug, you will see them elsewhere with like a universal or a, a two-pin plug and things. Ours does come with that. So anyway, look. So you get the water. You put the water in there, and then you. This is where this shows you the level of your water. Steam on, steam off. Steam on, steam off. That's your old-fashioned temperature gauge there. Now, what I... Oh, and also turn it around. There's your, you can iron shirts with this and everything. Ours is obviously well used. You can see all the best press that's burnt on the bottom there. But what we love is this handle. It's not... Handle. There we go. It's not got... You know, you don't have to grip it. If you've got, if you've got dexterity issues, this is brilliant. Now, it's got a nice bit of weight to it, but a lot of people take these as a travel iron. This has got this lovely soft touch handle all the way around there. Don't worry, this isn't on. Look, it's not on. You can literally iron away like that. Uh, message from Karen across my bottom. Morning, morning. I love, love, love my prim iron. Looking forward to a brilliant birthday show again today from Karen in Kent. Thank you, Karen, my lovely. And it's brilliant. And you got £10 off. I know. No reason at all apart from it's your birthday. Uh, not your birthday. Our birthday. Right. Oh, my word. There's so many of you here. Claire says good morning. Trudy says good morning. Glenny says good morning. Hayley says good morning. Vanessa. Glenny says love your shirt. Hayley said one of the best things I ever bought is this iron. Morning, John. What a gorgeous shirt you're wearing today, says Anne. I'll show you close up in a minute. Another new shirt, says Claire. Morning, John. Uh, I love this iron, says Jackie. Judy says, good morning. Morning, handsome John and team. Love your colourful shirt. Ellen says, morning, John and team. I have this iron and it's brilliant. Never needed to use steam for patchwork. So she's just kept hers as a dry one. Uh, do you want to have a close-up of my shirt? Okay, twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, gorgeous, isn't it? Twenty nine ninety nine. We had a bit of a panic this morning because Adele's here, uh, but um, Susie's not yet. We panicked a little bit. That uh, anyway, she's on her way. She's on her way. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. Twenty nine ninety nine. There's twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, lots of people loving the shirt. Did you see? Oh, sorry. Did you take a close up of it? Sorry. Look, it's gemstones and rings. That's how. I first met Hannah. 
and I first met Hayley, and I first met little Paul, and Elliot, when we worked in jewellery, when we worked in jewellery. 29.99, Hannah's heading for a slap today. Oh, hang on. Morning, gorgeous and team. Just bought the iron. Happy bunny from Jan in Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire. Half the stock's gone. I'm not surprised. It's £10 off. £10 off. Ema says, uh, good morning. Lynn Tewitt says, hello there, John and crew. I've been awake since silly o'clock watching Sewing Street recordings. Ready to fall asleep now. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Lynn Tewitt. Come live and you're going to fall asleep. Yes. Kate says, morning, John. Only read you myself up. House is peaceful. Wouldn't be without my little iron. Even goes to the camper van. On the, uh, on the long tours of the country. You're looking very vibrant this morning, sparkling like those jewels. Mary Jane from New Zealand. New Zealand is watching. Oh, dear. No, no, no. I kept thinking, why is, this, why is this screen smudged? And my glasses are filthy, dirty. I'll have to get my cloth in a minute. Morning, you cornucopia of colour. <clears throat> Had this iron because it's light, says Julie. Good morning, John, says Donna. Good morning, Donna. Anyway, anyway, keep going through for that. <coughs> Got a message from Deb today. Bonita, looking forward to spending the party day with you and the team. Bought the cave already, so excited. Love and kisses from Debs. Uh, Debs, 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 Debs. They're flying out. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll tell you about that in a minute, but they're absolutely flying. Oh, and if you're wondering, these cave pieces, the knitted, are on Yarn Lane on Monday. Just so you know, just so you know. I promise Debs, uh, not Debs, Bex, Rebecca. We're not allowed to call her De Bex. Rebecca, her name is. 29.99. Keep, oh, now, the other thing I've got to tell you. Oh, hang on, I've got a message. Morning, John and team. Very dull in Shropshire, but you brighten the day. Oh, Heather, Heather, don't. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Apparently, two years ago, somebody put on YouTube. We just, we've just found it. It's just popped up. Does this man never stop talking? Oh, that was me. Me. Uh, remember, if you buy anything today... Oh, hang on, another message. Good morning, John. Uh, do I get another kiss this morning? Oh, sh sh use this. Watching on my phone so my three-year-old can watch. Paw Patrol. Hang on. Oh, can watch Paw, Paw Patrol's a show. It's a television show. It? Can't wait to see the cave quilt. Bryony. Yeah, make the child watch on the phone. You watch on the telly. Uh, now, look, look, this is important, Brownie. If anybody, everybody you buy something today, your name will go into a virtual hat. And tomorrow morning, oh, excuse me, <coughs> Vix will read out the winner. You will win this bundle of Moda goodies. There's a whole big sheet there. There's uh, five inch. There by Christopher. Oh, sorry, there's that. For, you're not looking at me. Moda gift box. You've got your... Um, Christopher Tate Wilson, 10-inch uh, charm pack there. You've got two 5-inch charm packs. You've got the, I don't know what you call that. It's a great big sheet. Uh, a little, yeah, little purse, and you get a key ring. And not only that, so somebody will win that tomorrow. <clears throat> not only that, on Sunday, your name also goes into a, no, not Sunday, on Monday, Rebecca Reed will re read out who's won the weekly prize, which is an Elder sewing machine, a steam iron, fabric for Moda, fabric from Lewis and Irene, no, was it Lewis and Irene the other day? It was. Oh, no. Yeah. Who was the, what, who was, who was the big... Um, oh, no, Rose and Hubble. Rose and Hubble, sorry. Rose and Hubble. And also, some of our guest designers have all brought in pieces. So, uh, Jane has brought in some books that are now out of print, and she's, they're special books that she signed. Uh, Mrs. Macadamia Nut, she's brought in a sewing kit. I don't know what anybody else has brought in. Oh, Fiona brought in some Sew Girl kits. Amber makes got a couple of kits in there. There's loads. The, the prize is phenomenal. The prize is absolutely phenomenal. And that's for anybody who's ordered anything during the whole week. Any, your name only goes in the hat once, but anybody who's bought anything for the whole week, um, your name goes into that one. As well, so if you've already won one of the prizes, you, you could even go ahead and win one of the big prizes at the end. I know. I might buy something today, to just so I can go in the... I'm not allowed to, though. Not allowed to. Imagine if, if Vix went, and the winner is John Scott. There'd be uproar, wouldn't there? There'd be uproar. Uh, so uh, between, between 10 and 11 today, I will be telling you who won yesterday's prize, which was the... <gasps> Tilda. Tilda yesterday. Tilda prize yesterday. 
Oh, okay, message from Penny. Morning, John. Oh, Teddy. Morning, John and studio team. Not quite awake yet. Just woke up from dreams of cats sitting on me in the night. Have you not got any cats then, Teddy? I've had some strange dreams. I had a lovely dream last night. and I, I knew I was enjoying it. I told you the night before last, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I woke up going, oh, I'm having such a lovely dream. And went back to sleep. And the same thing happened again last night. I was in France yesterday, though, um, doing up a house. Um, so Angela says, oh, hang on, oh, no, there's loads, hang on, miss out these, right? Uh, right, so Pauline says, morning, John, how are you feeling after your jab? Pauline, what jab? I had it Wednesday, I've been absolutely fine, thank you. Isabel says, this is a lovely way to bright the day. Carol says, morning, John, looking snazzy as always, looking forward to another wonderful day with my favourite sewing family. Morning, John and crew, lovely to see you this morning. Debbie says, morning, John, love the shirt, just to say the mini iron is amazing. It heats up so fast. Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison, Mama Bebe said, oh, the apron pattern and tulip pattern are in the drawer from her. Hannah didn't tell me that, Marion, Alison, Marion. She said, there's a lot going on this morning. Uh, Jenny says, good morning. Oh, I can show you the apron. Oh, no, I can't have taken it off the mannequin because there's a dress, there's an outfit on the mannequin today. Who said that? Okay, twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. How's he going to get in? Hannah's got a plumber going round today, and she's just texted him saying, "Sorry, there's no real milk. I've only got almond milk." You live about two minutes from a shop. He can buy his own milk, and then she's apologised now because it's dusty on top of the fridge. What's the plumber doing on your top of your fridge? Oh, and you didn't do that for them? No, but a lot of them won't let you, won't do that. Okay, so Hannah, Hannah's having her bathroom and her kitchen, are like one suite, one wing of the house. <clears throat> so she's having the bathroom and the kitchen floor all retiled. So they've got to take out the washing machine, the fridge and the dishwasher. What about the cooker? Oh, it's in a different... Well, it's not on the floor. Oh, that's up there. That's up there. Okay, right, that's fine. I've not, I don't know. I've not been invited around. And I said, because a lot of builders won't do that, will they? You have to have moved it yourself. And she went, they like her, because she bought, she bought them tangerines instead of cake last time they came round. Oh, they bought... She bought yeah, it's, did you buy the cheap cake, the pound cake? <coughs> she bought them posh coffee and cakes. They didn't really like the cakes. So she brought them oranges last time. My, um, I have to, for my gardener, Danny, I have to leave uh, vegetarian sausage sandwiches in the morning for him. And um, he doesn't have cake, but he likes an espresso frothy coffee if I've got that machine on. Anyway, 29.99. Well over half the clock gone. I'm going to have to get on because we've got a very, very busy day today. Um, morning, says Pauline. You are a ray of sunshine. Oh, you're very kind. Patricia, love the shirt. Thank you. I look a bit fat, but that's fine. It'll be gone soon. Oh, now, 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 now. This isn't an early bird, but it's a warning. It's a bit of a warning I've got to tell you about now. Be th stay there, because I've got to carry this one in. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I nearly dropped this the other day when we packed up. Right. See this gorgeous bundle? I've, uh, how many have I got left? Is it five? Right, I've only got five of these left, right? Look, oh, and they, 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 we thought it was sold out. We thought it had sold out, but five people didn't check out. Look at this, right? Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Oh, no, that's not working. <laughs> I was pointing at that, you see. Emma, have you not got a screen on today? Oh, <laughs> she's here now. Right, okay, look at this, look at this, right? These are all fat quarters. These are all fat quarters. There are 68 fat quarters. They're not coming back at, well, as far as we know, they're never coming back. Um, there are two, you get two for free. You get two for free. And then the rest are all fat quarters. They're all Rose and Hubble. They're all 100% cotton. But there are only five left. But you can have uh, split pay because we've got new split pay now. It's over two. It's over two payments. You pay £57.58 a day plus your P&P. Uh, and you uh, pay another 57 58 next month. And that's it then paid for. Look at them. Look at them now. If you don't know, fat quarters where you take a metre of fabric, you cut it in half down the middle and then half across until you get four 
out of a meter. So there are 68, oh, the plumber's waiting. Oh, I see. The, when, when, uh, the plumber has just sent Hannah a hug. Picture. Uh, anyway, not a picture, an emoji, an emoji, an emoji. Right, hang on, let's just work this out. So if it's 68 fat quarters, how many meters is that, Hannah? Uh, four, that, that's one. Yeah, divided by four. 17, is it 17? 17 meters of fabric you get there. Se in total, 17 meters of fabric. F and, and it's 150, but there's only five left. There's only five of those left. Nice, isn't it? I just want to, sorry? There's four now. I'll obviously, I'll try and do one in the future, but imagine the warehouse's face when you go, could you cut 68 fat quarters? Uh, and, and, and we've sold hundreds of these. Hundreds and hundreds of these have gone. There's only four left now, though. No. I'll leave that with you for now. Oh, okay, right. I, I'm just about to say to you, there are four available, but four people have got it in their basket. So if those four people check out, then this is sold, and I can pack it away. Uh, but just be careful, because if you've got it in your basket, it doesn't mean it's yours. Someone else could come in and take it from under your nose. Right, okay, let's have a look at today's menu. Here it is. Uh, so at 8 o'clock, that's this out. We've got Moda, the blues fabric. Moda the Blues, brand new fabric. Yeah, you might have seen the design roll yesterday if you watched Delphine's um, Tree of Life yesterday. You might have seen the, 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 I haven't got the jelly roll today. They all sold out yesterday in the, um, in the kit. Then at nine o'clock, Adele is here with two L's. Uh, she's doing the So Different Moscow Dress. And if you're a fan of um, Devil, no, not Devil's Advocate. Oh, was it called Devil's Advocate? Oh, Queen's Gambit, it was called. <laughs> What's Devil's Africa then? I don't know. If you, uh, if you watch the Queen's Gambit, that's inspired from that show. Then we go to, oh, the now. Okay, I need to tell you, right, Cave Spring in Purple Quilt with Susie Duncan. Um, it's this one behind me. 44 have sold already. I'll tell you how to buy it. I'll tell you how to buy it in a minute. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So that Susie showing us to do that at uh, 11, 10 even, 10, 11 o'clock. Now, it's called the Sicilian Top and the Harmon T with Adele. Again, it's a so different pattern. Uh, it's just the Sicilian, Sicilian Top that we're doing. We have got the, other, the Harmon pattern, but we're not demonstrating it at all. So that's just Sicilian there, and we've got different fabrics to buy it with. Um, Anyway, and then, oh, 12 o'clock. Now, in pre-cuts, in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got some brand new, um, um, what's that, what's that? What am I calling those? Batik. Yeah, yeah, but Batik ones. Barley pop, barley pop. Three brand new colorways in the Barley Pop uh, st designer strips. Now, if you watched the Tree of Life yesterday and you saw the one that Delphine had made that was hanging on the wall with all those beautiful, beautiful bright colors, I think we've got, have we got a jelly roll or is it, uh, uh, no, it's a 10 inch charm pack in there. Actually, the best thing for me to do, I'm gonna go a completely different way around today. I would normally tell you how to get in touch first, but let's go to the website because I just want to show you everything that's available on today's show, right? So if we go to the website, you click on Watch Live, go down underneath, right? Now, the things that have been played already are on the left-hand side. That's, that's a, but if you click, that's, that's today's main deals, right? Go to the right-hand side, right? So these are all the brand new fabrics at the beginning here in the 8 o'clock show. That's all the Moda Blue. Okay, and then uh, keep going down. We've got threads, we've got boxes, we've got the mega bundle. Right, stop. So there's the first dressmaking show. So you've got the black and white version there, and then you've got denim versions. Carry on going. So now, look, 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 look. There's the, there is the, that, 44, oh, I don't know something there. 44 of these have gone already. Why, what, what are you, are you watching on your phone? Okay, okay, so carry on going down, carry on going down, so that's Susie's hour. Then we've got the T-shirt. 
Oh, now hang on a second. What are they? Right, okay. Ours are, our packets aren't like that for some reason. Anyway, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. And how weird. How strange. And then, oh, then of course, there's the computer's going crazy today. Right, okay. So then, well, there's the quilt. Oh, something sold out already. The metric quilting ruler sold out already. Okay, so keep going down, keep going down. There's the fabrics for the Sicilian top. There, there. Look at the right-hand side there. That is the fabric that Delphine used in her Tree of Life. Obviously, she used the, she used the design roll, not that, but you're going to see even more of the fabric. That is exquisite. I love that. Ten of those are gone already. Keep going, because I've also got... Uh, look. Uh, look, 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 look. What's that? What are you pointing out? What are you going up and down for? Oh, they're the, they're the nickels, the two and a half square one. Oh, and now, if you remember that, that was the fabric from the quilt that Wendy Orlando did last week. That's the first time we've had the fat quarters for that one in there. Now, 99.99, does that mean it's in split pay? Yeah, 99.99 being split pay, won't it? So you pay £50 twice for that. Right, okay, is that it? Is that it? Have we done? Oh, look, 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 there's so much. There's, what's that on the bottom right-hand corner? Oh, that's a book. That's a book from the last hour. Right. Oh, wait till you see that mermaid book. Wait till you see that. You'll love it. There's the barley pops I was getting so excited about. There's more. Look, there's so much. That's called something rainbow, that one. Somewhere over the rainbow. Gerardine says, hello, John. You would be rubbish playing Sarads with that mine for the fabric. <laughs> yeah, but it was for Hannah. Yeah. Hilary says, morning, John. Love that fat quarter bundle. Morning, John and gang, says Margaret. Karen says, morning, John. I've had a sneak peek what's coming up and I've ordered the new barley pops already. You see, that's what's so good, isn't it, about, about the pre-order, pre is if you want that quilt, normally you won't be able to buy it till, at 10 o'clock, but now you can pre-order it, go and do your shopping, come back and either watch it later or uh, watch it tonight or something on YouTube so you don't miss anything. Right, you can also send me messages, three ways to send messages. One is on the website, which we just showed you. Second one is stu uh, uh, email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. That will go straight through to Hannah and she'll read that one out to me. Uh, or you can send me a message on Facebook, which are the ones I'm reading out here on my iPad. Uh, that's, you just need to find us on Facebook, Sewing Street TV. Or of course, you can send them via the web, uh, via, the, uh, via our website, which is the one, the white box that comes up underneath. Right. We're ready to make a start at 25 past eight. Thank you very much, you do. I think all of those, have all those um, fat quarter bundles gone? Oh. Okay, please, please, please be careful. If you've got the fat quarter bundle, in, there are so many people got it in their basket. Right, here we go. Brand spanking new today. Now, it's not blues to do with the C. It's blues to do with minims, quavers. Oh, I forgot my joke. When we prepped this yesterday, I said, I'll jump up from behind the table and throw crisps all over the place and go, oh, quavers. But I forgot. So it's all minims, crotchets and quavers. There we go. We had a bit of a giggle about that yesterday. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four and a half metres. This is, this is, uh, this is everything we've got from the range. Now, I have got uh, the full range in fat quarters coming up in a second. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. So if you want to get a, a fat quarter of the full range, that's coming up in a second. But these I've got as a bundle like this where you get half a metre of each and I've got all of them individually as well. So if you want to buy four and a half metres, half a metre already cut. Now if you buy two of these, they don't come joined together. So you get two of those, 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 etc. This lady's name's not Anglesey. Hi, John. Love your shirt. Looks like a fabulous show today. Who doesn't love Moda? My favourite crisp morning. Oh, my favourite crisp morning here on Anglesey from Anne. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was a joke about my quavers. Good morning, John, Hannah and Emma, says Marcia. Marcia, what have you done to you and hair? Marcia's cut her husband's hair. A very handsome husband. Good morning, John, Hannah and Emma. Loving the shirt. 
show and the gang, says Margaret from Heckmunderwick. Heckmunderwick. Right, look, 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 look. £66.99. You can get all those. Right, so if you look carefully, I'll go through all these individually now, but this one's got little minims, crotchets and quavers on. Then this one here's got your, I think they're supposed to be like, you know, the sheet music. No, it's not literal. You see, that I looked at that and I saw the sky over at a seaside resort. That one there is a blotchy blue one. Now, that one there is more obvious. Look, it is like the five, you know, the, when you do your, write your music, your manuscript. That's in the dark blue and the pale blue. There, oh, that's nice. That's a blotchy blue one, pale. There's your music again. And then there's your minims and your crotchets and your quavers again. So if you want all of those, £66.99 and pence, we'll get you half a metre of each. However, I do also have it, all of them, by the half metre. Right, so I've just separated them into their designs. There you go. So, look at this. So I've got this one in four different colourways. I've got this one and this one in two different colourways. And then that one there on its own. Yeah, I'll do the sky from a seaside resort. This is very, very popular on pre-order. And also, um, Delphine used this one a lot in her display yesterday. Oh, yeah, you can make it. Yeah, yeah, you can make a dress out of it. It's like quilting weight fabric. So you make a blouse, a top, skirt, anything out of it. This one's called Jazz It Up A Little. The Blues by Janet Clare. 100% cotton. Oh, no, hang on. They might all be called Jazz It Up A Bit. Hang on. No, 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 that one hasn't got any writing on it, so I can't tell you that one. What, no, no, that might be just the name, that might be just the, you know, they sometimes put a quote on there, but that might just be that. So this is, we've called this, Lateral Baby Blue Ocean. Okay. Nice top with nice beads, says Hannah. Oh, yes, yes, the top that, uh, uh, the bead, no, hang on. Marion, Alison, uh, Alison, Marion, Mama, Bebe, she made a top from, it was a book, wasn't it? Oh, we kind of, I don't know what I'm telling this story then. It's a book that sold out. But anyway, she made a top that this would work beautifully with, and then she made a necklace to go with it using the wooden beads from a 70s car seat. No. Debbie says, how many fat quarters does the quilt take? Which quilt, my love? This one. I don't think that's fat quarters, is it? That's in a kit. That's all in a kit together. Um, that had 68, or was it 68 fat quarters, did we say? That's got 68 fat quarters in it, but that's not the quilt. The quilt comes as a kit, as a bundle. So I can't tell you, I'm afraid. I couldn't tell you. How. Half stock of this one. Half the stock of this one has gone. Neve says, good morning, John and team. Beautiful sunny day in Clare in Ireland. You just add to the sunshine. Oh, thank you. Uh, Kate says, oh, dear, don't tell the husband. Just treating myself for Mother's Day. Full lot by half the metre. Oh, it is beautiful. It is lovely. And also, self-gifting is the way to go. Just tell them. You've already brought me my Mother in Sunday presents. I want you to on on Mother in Sunday. Anyway. There's a what? Of what? Oh, is there? What does it say? Apparently there's a slide, there's a slide somewhere in the computer for Mothering Sunday, but we don't know what it is. Right, shall I go on to this one next? The actual name of that one is The Gl Blues Gatsby Parker. Never heard of that. Right, so this one, I have to open this one out completely because look. Ombre, now this is set, taking me back to the 70s, this early 70s. Oh yeah, yeah now obviously if you put it on the, now, if you put it on the back of a quilt, it depends on how big your quilt is. Imagine how lovely it would be because you'd have to join two together maybe and you'd get the ombre going again, wouldn't you? We've called this the Blues in Ocean Black for some reason. Right? But the real name is Waterfall Duke, this is called. 
lovely, isn't it? Beautiful ombre. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? If you if you were doing one, I, I can see the sea now, and I can see the moon over here, and then that's the reflection that the moon is putting onto the sea. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Margaret's won the lottery, everyone. Margaret's won the lottery. £4.30. She said, look out, warehouse. I might have to have a spending spree. <laughs> oh, you and did. Oh, hang on. You and cut his very beautiful wife's hair as well. Marcia, we know you're beautiful. Uh, Marcia, that was a lovely pic. Marcia, that was a lovely picture he put up of you, I think, when he first met you and everything, wasn't it? It's lovely. Okay, there's a waterfall in America called Duke's, whatever it was called. Fall. How much was that? I, I, I was 749. 749. 7.49. For half a metre. So obviously, if you want to buy five metres of that, you get it in a roll. It doesn't come in pieces like in the in the bundle. Lots of people bought that multiple. Now, this, I think I might have had a pair of jeans dyed like this in the early 80s. Look. So Hannah, back in the day, had a pair of denim shorts that she thought she'd like to bleach and splatter and stonewash and everything. So she put them in a bucket with some bleach and went out, completely and utterly forgot about them. She got home and was like, oh my dear. So she pulled them out of the bucket like that. They were pure white. They were brilliant. She was like, oh, this is brilliant. I just put them in the washing machine and then, then I can wear them because I want to wear them obviously when they've got bleach in. So she put them in a, f a full cycle in the washing machine. When she got them out the washing machine, all that was left was the waistband and a, and a bit of a, the, 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 the crotch seam. That's all that was left. Everything else had disintegrated completely. She didn't wear them anymore. It wasn't like, did you watch um, RuPaul's Drag Race last week? That was a bit like, bit like one of the costumes last week, Tacey's outfit last week. I didn't, I've, I'm not going to do a spoiler, but I didn't agree with Thursday night's um, Sashay, you stay, Sashay, you sante away, or whatever he says. Was that last year's? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, so they did a stand-up, uh, right, okay, so they did a stand-up show yesterday, and one of them was so naughty, even Michelle Visage said when she was um, critiquing them, said, this is the BBC. Most of that won't make it to the telly. So it must have been very, very rude. Right, now I've got the ones with minims and crotchets and quavers on, not the crisps. It comes in two colourways. It comes in the blue and it comes in the... It's a beautiful, beautiful, almost lemon, like clotted cream colour, this one. Oh, it's a bit creased. I do apologise. There you go. Oh, no. Should have switched the iron on, really, shouldn't I? So this one we call Blues and White Musical Notes. Right, it's not white. Actually, is it, or is it my eyes? I think the background is blotchy. Notes Billy, this one's called, in real life. Notes, Billy. But the background is actually slightly mottled. It's lovely. It goes from a really rich cream to an almost lemony colour. Moda, remember. Brand new today. Now, if you buy this, it's, it's 40, uh, 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. You can buy this by the, you know, by, you sell it in increments of half metre, but you can buy as much as you like, as it were. Uh, John, love the quilt behind you. Kelly, 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 it's on at 10 o'clock, but you need to be quick because um, when we started the show, 44 had gone immediately within the first five minutes. So it, it's on pre-order underneath if you want it. Stuart says, morning, John and team. Lovely fabric to start the day. Oh, he's had some, uh, he's had some quilts, long arm quilted by Amanda. They are amazing. He's binding them today. The quilt behind you would look lovely in the blue mode fat quarter pack, don't you think? Oh, yes, I see, Debbie, now what you're talking about. I couldn't tell you how much, um, how many you'd need, though, I'm afraid. Lynn says, good morning, John. Hope you're well. Love your shirts. They look like ink splats when the music was handwritten. Oh, yes, that's exactly what it looks like. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Then one in blue. Yes, because look, you can see the mottled background on the back of this one. Can you see more on that one? It's the mottled background is there. That's nice, isn't it? That could be anything, really, couldn't it? it could all, it's like musical notes, but I'm also seeing tadpoles, and I'm seeing pond, and I'm seeing water. Oh, and Hannah's seeing a snowstorm at night time. Oh, did you see the moon again this morning? It's a, it was exact half moon this morning. I know that's come around quite quickly because I thought it went snow moon, full moon, and then it went slivers, like a crescent moon for a few days, but it's gone straight to half today. <coughs> yeah, the thing is, though, we're thinking, oh, isn't it lovely and light in the mornings? When do we put our clocks forward? Go dark again then, won't it? Yeah, be dark again then. Also, so icy this morning. Couldn't believe it. Uh, and Emma's ice was see-through ice on her car. Clear ice. I, of course, had my big old bath towel on the windscreen, so my front windscreen was all right. It was just my back windscreen. That's lovely. That's really lovely, that one. Now, I've got four fabrics. And these, I'll, I'll show you the four different colorways. It comes in the creamy color. It comes in the mid-blue, the dark blue, and then the soft blue. What? This one, finishing 50 set 157. This is the most popular one so far on pre-order. Oh, that'd make a lovely shirt. Look, <coughs> I wonder if Anna Sewing Nut's watching. She'd like this. No, 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 it's really not. Because yesterday when Delphine was using it, I didn't even know it had music on it. It might be strobing a little bit on your telly, but it doesn't in real life. Right, okay, stave, that's the name of the, isn't the stave the five lines, the manuscript? Isn't that what's called the stave? And what's the second part of the title? Fitzgerald, Dave Fitzgerald. Oh, like Scott Fitzgerald, no, no, Scott Fitzgerald wasn't music, was he? He was writing a book. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Ronnie Scott, he's blues, isn't he? Yeah, don't sit on that chair. Half a metre is £7.49, pence, but you can buy a metre, two metres, three metres, anything in increments of half a metre. It's 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Uh, and if you buy this, if you order three metres, you'll get a three metre piece. It's not cut up into half metre pieces. Morning, John. Just get rid of my vacation. No, you don't mean vacation. You mean vaccination. You mean that vaccination. Oh, it could be Ella Fitzgerald. Thank you, Kate. It could be Ella Fitzgerald. What did um, Emma just say? Oh, okay. Be nice. Let's all go for our vacation today. I've already had mine, though, but I'll have a second one soon. Next one. Which colourway would you like to go to next, then? Dark blue. Now, I like this one. I like this one and the creamy one coming up next. You see, they keep saying it's in black. That is definitely not black. My shirt's black, look. The back, well, the background of my shirt is black, obviously. <coughs> this is definitely, definitely, definitely not black. It's d Stave Duke, this one. So the last one was, oh, Duke Ellington. So the last one was Ella Fitzgerald, and this one's Duke Ellington. There you go. Okay, we're not doing Cuban music today, Hannah. Well, nobody's allowed to go, that's why. Okay, there's a Cuban band playing at Hannah's local pub in a few months' time, and no one will go with her. Well, I'm not surprised, because they know what you'll be, you'll be all wearing that, that dress that opens up with all the frills on, and you'll be dancing like that. Oh, it's a band from Cuba, coming all the way to uh, an outskirts of Birmingham. Oh, they might not be to travel, though. When is it due? When is it? Oh, Christmas. Oh, please, God, we can travel by Christmas. We can go to Greece, can't we, soon? If you've had both jabs, you can go to Greece. No, Cyprus, Cyprus, Cyprus. 
Can you imagine, though, if that's the only holiday resort we can all go to? Can you imagine how many people are going to try and go to Cyprus? June has got her vaccination at 2.24 this afternoon. June? Uh, uh, June? You take care now. Uh, if you have to queue up outside, make sure you take a coat. Okay, so this one is, um, that one's Ella Fitzgerald, this one's Duke Ellington. And it's not black. It's definitely, definitely, definitely not black. Yep, or oh, who's this one named after them? Cleo Lane, please say it's Cleo Lane. It's Dave Parker, this one is called. So who's Parker? Who is a blues singer called Parker? Not Thunderbirds, no. Yes, my lady. That was Parker, wasn't it? Parker, Parker, please don't. Yes, my lady. I know that the family, the Meddings family, who did Thunderbirds, I used to work with their son, well, I think it was the grandson, Elliot. Oh, Charlie Parker, this is. Not my bag. Oh, Alison Mary and Mary Lallison's got her vaccination next Wednesday. Blimey, I thought they were doing all the old people first. No, you couldn't see me do that. And I thought they were doing all the old people first. Mary and Alice and Alice and my mum, my baby. Oh, hang on, Miss Chris Button. Morning, John. No good me having anything with music on it, as someone in the family will always try to play it. Oh, well, they, Gillian. There was a very famous Victorian Wood sketch like that, wasn't there? Mrs. O not Mrs. Overall, it was um, the mother in Dinner Ladies. I can't say it because I can't remember the full thing, but it was very funny. Oh, Charlie Parker, says Fiona. Yeah. Don't know who that is, though. One left, that's all I've got of this range that we've got. No! I haven't even got to the five-inch charm pack yet. It's sold out on the web, so I do apologise about that. Right, then what's this one called? This is my other favourite one in this one. Well. Okay, so it's not white. We've called it white. It is definitely, definitely not white. This, this is white. Billy Duke. Why, has, why isn't he called Stave? Oh, Stave Billy Duke. So who's Billy then? Oh, I know. I know. Come on, why is, where's he gone? Billy. Holiday, Billy Holiday. Is that who it is, do you think? Oh, hang on, messages coming in. Good morning, Hannah, Emma and John. Fantastic fabrics make great show shirt. S shame I've spent this, mon this month sewing street allowance. Did you mention Cleo Lane? Oh, look, here's a name drop. Great lady to work with, she, he says. Billy Holiday and Duke somebody or other, Duke Ellington, sang... Love a man. Right, Sheila says, Good morning, John and crew. I've enjoyed your birthday shows this week. It's my birthday today, so I'm going to treat myself. Got my eye on the prim iron. Oh, how's the prim iron doing? We'll just double check for you now. Uh, Charlie Parker played the saxophone and was known as the bird. Oh. Okay, uh, who was that then? Uh, Sheila, my love. Happy birthday, first of all. Um, and there's only 20 irons left. There's only 20 irons left. Um, now, I've worked with Claire Lane's daughter, Jackie Dankworth. I've never worked with Claire Lane, but she lives in Milton Keynes. Is she still alive? And Johnny Dankworth, Claire Lane and Johnny Dankworth live in Milton Keynes, don't they? Milton Keynes. Right, so that's all the fabrics. Now, that was, that was just a selection of the range. This is the full range in fat quarters. Third of the stock is gone. I will, I will open this up because obviously it's important you see it because, right, hang on just one second. Oh, it'll come in a minute. There you go. Split pay, split pay. So if you could, but today you pay 49.99 and in a month's time you pay 49.99. Two split pay. It's a new thing we've, we've introduced. Neil introduced it for the birthday week. So here we go. Let's have a look at this then. Emma, are you putting this arrow away? Oh, she's got an appointment. She's got to go out. 
Emma's not very good at doing fabrics. Or counting lights. Right, so we've seen that one. We've seen that one. Where's always the best place to put it, right? We've seen that one. We haven't seen... Oh, what? Oh, now, uh, without my glasses on, I thought this was little grand pianos. <laughs> it's just splodges. Look. <laughs> I thought that was baby grand pianos, right? Right, but look, 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 look. That's nice, isn't it? We've seen that one. Or did we see? No, we didn't see that one. We saw that one in the mid blue. Yeah, we've seen this one. Oh, well, there it is. It's definitely. Do it, it yeah, they're, they're definitely. It's not definitely not grand piano. Uh, we've seen that one. We've seen that one. Oh, that's lovely, that one there. Right, let me start the next row here. Oh, look. We didn't. Do did we have that one? Yes, but that's the one we had. Yeah, we've had that one. There's the. There's the one with um, grand pianos. Jeanette, Jeanette, my love, we can't deal with anything like that here. You need to ring the call centre and they'll be able to help you with that. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. We haven't seen any of this range in the half metres that we had. Oh, look. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, you see, that comes from that range, look. Oh, I love these. They, now, we've called this white, you see, haven't we? But like, oh, I love that colour. Look. Oh, they, now the, uh, uh, this, I haven't got those by the half metre. It's the only way to get them in, is in here. So hang on, let me just move that to that one side there. So then we've got the pale blues, pale blue, pale blue. Then we've got the mid blues, mid blues, mid blues, dark blues. There we go. There we go. That's a bit of paper. Right. So look, there's your, there's all your colourways within within the bundle. Look. So you've got your mid blues there. You've got your dark blues there. You've got your sky blues there. And then you've got your creamy lemon ones there. Aren't they lovely? Char oh, I've said that one. Uh, watched the Billy Holiday film last night. Warning, now you need tissues. I cried my eyes out. Is it a new film then? Morning, John. House to myself so I can watch as much Sailing Street as I want, says Lulu. Christine's message now. Just had my jab. Sat in the waiting room watching the show. Oh, Christine, don't let... Keep the sound down. Keep the sound down. They don't want to hear me shouting in the, in the waiting room, do they? Johnny Dankworth, oh, Johnny Dankworth died in 2010, but Cleo Lane is alive and well and 93. Thank you, Jill. Split pay, split pay, you two split pays, the brand new split pay that was launched this week, anything 99 pounds and over. You can get in two split pay. So you on this, there you go. You pay uh, $49.99 today and $49.99 in a month's time. Oh, here's Anna sewing that. I knew she'd like this. Do you like jazz blues, uh, Hannah says. Anna sewing that. Gorgeous. Well over half the stock of that one's gone. Congratulations. Uh, can I just say, can I just say, and I know I'm whiffling on, I love this, this section here. Look, I love, 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 love that. I mean, they're lovely fabrics, but that bit, something, that makes my heart sing, that bit in the middle there, and I don't quite know why. But it's lovely. I obviously need a bit of lemon in my life. Right, okay. So let me just fold those up. Where do, I, do you, how many you get loads? Don't you, how many, 26 fat quarters in there? Or just right, okay, sorry. So many of them to fold up. Where would you like me to go next then, Hannah? I have indeed. Now, this is nothing to do with Moda now. That goes with that, that goes with that. I'm just read because when, when Emma packs up later. Oh, this was, oh, okay, this isn't new today. This was on the first day of the birthday. That's the back of it you've seen there. I'm just showing you from the top. So it's a strap. A squidgy top, 
Then you've got a, ma what's that called? Um, magnetic fastening. Open it up. You've got your little, got your little tray. Oh, no, I've put that in there. Hang on. And then you've got your little pocket here. Oh, no, wrong side, John. Little pocket here and your pin cushion in there. The bag to wrap this up, Emma, when you do this hour is inside the box like that. 11.99, large polka dot sewing box. It's strobing a little bit on the telly because it's striped around there, isn't it? You. Oh, hang on, um, message on the bottom. I think Cleo Lane's real name is Clementine. Oh, my newest granddaughter born two weeks ago is also called Clementine. Isn't that an orange? It's nice. No, I love it. It's like an old-fashioned name, isn't it? But don't you go to the supermarket to buy a back pound of Clementines? Carol's having a second jab on Tuesday. Hillary's loving the blue fabrics. And Shelley says, morning, John. Watch from my bed. Not well, but it's not COVID. You're keeping me going. Oh, Shelley. Shelley, did someone upset you yesterday? I saw your Facebook status and it sounded like somebody would upset you. Do you want me to go round and give them what for? I don't condone any sort of violence. That wasn't me being violent. That was me outside in the car. Because you can't go near anyone. It's just me in the car going like that. Like that. Oh, okay. Morning, everyone. Mum is finally getting a vaccine at 9.57 this morning. Everyone's got these funny times. Mine was at 9 o'clock. I oh, know. Yeah, mine was 9 o'clock. Uh, 92 and stubborn. But she did have pneumonia. Oh, Anna Ma Anne Maria from Bletchley. Oh, send her my love. Right, shall I go on to this now before I finish the show? Now, it's a cute little box, isn't it? 14, nine, oh, now, now I, under, now I understand why this is such a brilliant price, right? So you think, it's brand new today, right? 14, nine, nine, love little box like that, but look, excuse me. Now, these are not been left empty, they're for you to put your own threads in there. These are Guterman 100th birthday threads, aren't they? Yep, 150 metres. Yeah, look, 150 year... Oh, 150, not 100. Oh, that's why there's 150 metres on them, because it's the 150th birthday. So hang on. So these would cost you £1.90, or even more, because it's the 100 metre ones, cost £1.90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of those you get. So you're just paying for some of the threads. You get the box for free almost, aren't you? Oh, do we? We have a bobbin box. I'm actually, but you know what I'd do? I'd take that out and I'd keep all my little trinkets in there. I'd have that as a memory box. Not that I haven't got very many memories. Oh, don't even go there. So when I had my f a birthday, a significant birthday, when I was at Rocks & Co, they still bring in some photos and we'll do a whole John Scott montage through the ages when he was a baby or through to... Anyway, I took a bag of them in. They took pictures of them, put them up. We showed them and everything. Next week, I went in and said, oh, can I have all my photos? They'd lost them all. And this in the day before digital photos. They were all like Kodak, done in boots, you know what I mean? So hundreds of my photos went missing. I think they'll, they'll have rotted in the bin. Oh, was that part, was that one in there? I've got Hannah seen a picture of me in a see-through Mac when I went to a party with nothing else but a see-through Mac. Uh, I've got plans for mine now. Oh, what's this one? Oh, hang on. Kate says, I've got plans for mine now with Sashko panels. The fa oh, these, yes. Oh, that'd be lovely because they're the same sort of blues, aren't they? Uh, good morning, John. I set my alarm to watch you. I bought a couple of bits in pre-order, then dozed off again. Oh, thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, I'm so exciting. Diane says, love K Fabric, but I'm moving hopefully soon, so most of them will move. Most of the items to move is... Oh, most of the items I've got to move is fabric, four machines included. Oh, Diane. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's flying out, I need to warn you. Right, do I need to recap anything? Oh, the fat quarter bundles, there's two still not checked out, but there's so many of you got it in your basket. Are you able to show that? Um, oh, there's a bit of it there. Oh, no, that's all of it. That's all it. Pink is on the end. 
So we'll just put the, are we going to put the graphics in? Right, okay. There are 68 fat quarters in there. You're only paying for 66. Uh, and there are how many not checked out? Two. One. There's one of those left now. That's it. Loads of people got it in your basket. And I don't think we'll be doing it again. Too much, too much time and effort going into cutting all those fat quarters, isn't there? Amazing. Uh, and the thing next to it, you can't really see it properly there, apart from the bottle of san sanitizer. You don't get that. Uh, the today's prize just for buying something today and to be announced tomorrow is this. It's a Moda gift box. You've got a 10-inch charm pack. You've got two 5-inch charm packs. You've got this big sheet with writing on it. You've got a little linen purse and a key ring. Somebody will win that tomorrow uh, just for, for buying something today. And also, it's not just things from the telly. It's if you buy if you go on and buy a pack of needles from the web shop, your name will go, still go in. It only goes in once. Okay, right. I'll, I'll tell you that when I come back in the next day because I just want to double check something. Oh, okay. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to say to you? Uh, oh, yes. And if you buy something any time during the week, if you don't win the daily competition, don't think, oh, I never win anything. Somebody on Monday will be announced up back between 10 and 11 on Monday. It's going to win. The, we haven't got a picture of it because it's so huge. It's got an L on the sewing machine. <clears throat> it's got uh, the steam iron from Franklin's. It's got the Moda fabric bundle. It's got a, um, I want to keep saying Lewis and Irene, a Rose and Hubble bundle, which the, whoever won it, she's received it. Because she put a picture of it on, on um, Facebook yesterday saying, I'll never, I'll never run out of fabric. There's so much gorgeous fabric here. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Um, after the break, Oh, it's Adele here, and we're doing the dress, the Queen's Gambit dress. The dress inspired by Queen's Gambit, I mean to say, the black and white dress there. Or we've got a denim, we've got denim on sale as well for that. Um, so, I'm going for a break, am I? I'll see you in three minutes from now with Adele. Skyfall. <laughs> We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shopped with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, 
I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher and one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is Always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Anna saying that's just messaged on Facebook going, gosh, it's the birthday already. I can't believe we've been open for a year. It's been birthday all week this week. We've been doing birthday shows all week. But actually, it's more than a year because didn't you open on February the 14th? We opened on February. I wasn't here, obviously. Uh, February the 14th when the channel opened. So it's been more than a year, nearly a year and a month now. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, just let's have a look at this dress. Lovely, it's from So Different, it's called, it's actually called from the Gambit Collection, so that's like the Queen's Gambit, if you watch that fantastic Netflix show all about the lady chess player. This is the pattern, it's called the Moscow Dress. Oh, hang on, it's a bit of a mess. There we go. There we go. From Laura at uh, So Different, sizes 8 to 26 it comes in. Uh, and £16.99, £16.99, and pence. there it is, I'll just show you the back. Now, apparently, it's got sleeves, or the option to have sleeves. This is what Adele said when she came in this morning, but you know what, we'll, we'll be pleasantly surprised in a second. It says you can make it out of cotton, linen, scuba, fine wool, drill, twill, denim, and double knit. Oh, double knit, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I think if you made it in double knit, you'd have to make it um, a slightly bit smaller than the pattern. It, it is true to size. It goes from size 8, which is like an 89 centimetre bust, 86 centimetre waist and 100 hips, up to size 26, which is 131 bust, 127 waist and 144 hip. It even has, I'm turning it on the side there, has a sizing guide in both imperial and in metric on the, on the back there. Oh, sorry, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so now, if you want to make a black and white one, we've got a bundle for the black and white. <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was that all about? Suddenly, uh, Emma came dashing out of the gallery to move the camera. Right, so here's the black and white one. Now, this is enough if you want to make the largest size dress, I am guessing. The model wears a size 10, is 5 foot 8 tall. You get two metres of the black and one and a half metres of the white. Right, hang on a sec. Um, so tell me what again you get. Uh, 
Okay, you will have, you, uh, yes, that's right, that's right. Two metres of the white and one and a half of the, uh, no, two, and a, two of the black, one and a half of the white. That's right, that's right. And if you're just buying one fabric for the whole lot, you need 2.5 metres if you buy the, for the dress for the whole lot. Right, okay, so this is a bundle to make the one that Adele's made for us. So that's two of that and one and a half of that to make that. Now, if you want to make a solid denim one, which is what Adele is doing during the show today, Adele, I think, has got this one. Yes. Yeah, this one here. So now this is two and... Now, you will have a lot left over because this denim is very, very wide. This is the meat... Do you want the code, sorry? I've got two colourways. Let me just show you the two. I'll put them together. So I've got this one, which is slightly darker. This one, which is, I would call, medium colour. They're both eight ounce, are they? Eight ounce, yeah. Um, but you ha will have quite a bit left over, I think, because if this is, uh, let me have a look. How much is in this bundle? Sorry, two and a half metres. Okay. So you get three and a half metres of this fabric. Okay, I'll talk to Hannah about that in a second. Gorgeous. Three and a half metres in that bundle. But you always want denim. There's always a lot of denim to be needed there. Fabulous. And then I've got the darker blue one. That's nice. That's cool. I mean, just for, just for any project. If you're doing this one or a, a Fiona Hesford one or anything, this denim is beautiful. So this is three and a half metres. Dark blue denim. Now, you don't get the pattern with this. It's just the fabric, obviously. Just the fabric in here. Then, I've also got this paler denim. Um, now, we're selling this by the half metre. This, no, this is not eight ounce. It does say it in the graphic, but that is definitely, definitely not eight ounce denim. But you can still make the dress out of it. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, but it's not eight ounce. Right? But this one, so... If you need to know how, if you want this one, you need to know how much to buy. Just let me know because on the back of here, how wide is this fabric? Let's just double check. Right, so this is at 55 inches wide. So it says if you're making it in one fabric, you only need two and a half meters. You only need two and a half meters if you make. It's only if you buy the black one and the white one. If, you buy, if you're buying two-tone, then you need two of the one main colour and one and a half of this colour. Yes, but you won't need a whole metre to do a sleeve. Yes. You'd, 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 but denim, you'd always have denim. You're, do you know what you could do? You could do one of those June Taylor denim quilts, you know, where they take, she takes a circle and folds it over and stitches it together. A bit like Mrs. Macadamia um, bag that we did with her a few weeks ago, a bit like that. But denim's always good for your stash. Right, OK, so that's by, for sale by the half metre. That one's for sale by the half metre. Uh, I'm not going to show you anything else at the moment because we need to get Adele in and sewing. So, Adele, back to school. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. No, no don't say not tomorrow. <laughs> Don't go tomorrow. <laughs> yes, back to school <coughs> on Monday. I can't wait. I really can't wait. But then you just adore your job anyway. Oh, don't you? yes. <coughs> yeah, I can't imagine myself doing anything else, really. So they've coped really well during remote learning, but it's nothing like a classroom full of chatter. <laughs> but will you be allowed to do... Because you're science, aren't yes. you? Yes. Will you be... Because in the, the friends of mine whose kids have still been going to school, when they've done sewing... They haven't been allowed to do any of the practical. They've not been allowed to touch anything. So yes. in science, will they be allowed to switch on a Bunsen burner? So what we did was the very first half term, no one did any practicals. And then we used one year group. So they were allowed one practical a week. Right. And our lab technician, Andy, is amazing. And he has to put everything in trays, leave it for a couple of days. Then the children use it. Then it goes back in the trays and then he cleans it the next couple of days. And then it's left again. For yes. Days, so yeah. we've now got one group done. So, I'm not, so we're now going to get our year 11s back in. Oh, brilliant. Because I mean, I mean, I feel I mean, it's horrible oh. for everybody, but I feel so much for 
a, an examination year yes. kids, or not kids, children, and, yeah. and kind of anybody. Because yes, at the beginning you think, oh God, time off school, how brilliant, how brilliant. Yeah. But actually it's a whole year yeah, a lot out of, them, of their education, isn't and it? And a lot of them are now applying for their sixth form or their colleges, so they were a little bit worried. So coming back, we want to make it as enjoyable as possible. So we're just going to get as much practical with them yeah, as exactly. possible. Because they've had nothing. No. They've just had to sit and do nothing. But... I have to say, they've been one of the most engaged. I have them up at 8.40 uh, 8 every morning on Zoom. Oh, and they're all there. And yeah. I was like, hello. And they answered back. Oh, oh, I miss them. I really miss them. So I can't wait to get back. Oh, that, that's brilliant. How brilliant to have such an interview. Because I bet you any money in years to come, they'll always go, oh, Miss Adele, she was the best <laughs> teacher. Miss Adele was fantastic and everything oh. like that. But my family will be quite pleased with me out of the house because over Zoom, I'm really loud because oh. I'm used to being in the classroom. <laughs> You're really loud in here as well. I thought I was loud. <laughs> anyway, 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 now this right. dress, it's actually quite a simple dress yes. to make, isn't it? Yes. So it's really simple, just A-line shift dress. Um, there's just a few little tweaks to make it that extra special. So you've got this middle panel here which in this one we've got is a lighter colour. I was looking at the two denims. You could, maybe not the light denim, but the other two darker denims, you could do a mix and match there. But also, if you don't, because that's quite striking, isn't yes. it? Not a lot of people, not, no, not a, a lot of people could be able to wear it, but a lot of people go, oh, I could never wear that because yes. it's too impactful when you yeah. walked in. If you did make it out of just the whole one denim yep. and did top stitching, you're still going to get that slimming effect just from having the seams there. Yes. Right? Oh, like the one you're going to make yes. now, actually. Yes, yeah. so yeah. I'm going to make it all in denim. Yeah. And then on the back as well, there's a small panel here in a different colour. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So that would be really nice as a bit of uh, top stitching yes, as well. Exactly. But there are no fastenings, no zips. Um, like you said, it does have sleeves. But isn't it weird that there's no, men there's no mention anywhere? No. No, no. So I had um, the PDF version and it's definitely got sleeves on. Oh, I'm going to open this one then. So it says the Moscow dress sleeve optional. So I thought today we could put the sleeve on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it's oh, yeah, there it is. Yes. That is the first thing you see when you open it. So it'll be nice sort of dress for springtime. Yeah. Oh, no. And also not just springtime. How many ladies, oh, no matter yes. what body shape they are, don't like this bit. I mean, yeah. I think in winter, this would look amazing with a polo neck jumper under yes. it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Or, and your leggings and, and things. And nice like, boots. And nice boots and everything. But in the summer, not everybody wants to show that top no, bit in their arms. No, no. So it's nice just to have that bit of cover. Like, I really burn on my shoulders as well in the summer. So I always like to have my shoulders covered. Yeah. The amount of times I've had to apply after sun. <laughs> oh, so, so if you know, if you're at home thinking, oh, I could never wear a sleeve this dress, but I like the pattern. It does come with a short, yes. it's only a short sleeve, isn't yep, it? Yeah, it's, it's only a short sleeve. Hopefully we'll get to that yeah, point yeah, so yeah. you can see how deep it is so i would say just a cap sleeve yeah, really yeah it, look, it looks like just long just a little bit longer than a cap sleeve yeah, yeah yeah so it's a nice little addition it wasn't expected probably no, when you first looked no. at the pattern so today we're going to do it in just one type of denim so it's the the middle mid one, yeah, one. Yeah. um and like you said it's lovely to have denim in your stash because i i was thinking of uh, like a like a little bag to go with it with a nice pop color lining or a denim skirt. Everyone needs a denim skirt. Yeah, exactly. Or like a 1950s, like Karen and Wigan wears these, wears these like halter neck 1950s. Yes. And I used to think those in denim. And um, Helen Rhiannon, who uh, used to work with us on sewing quarter, who's had a uh, time not to have her mm -hmm. baby, she's a wedding dress designer. Mm -hmm. And she says one of her most popular wedding dresses is a denim wedding dress. Really? Wow, that's adventurous, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, I think it'd be like, amazing. Because you think of all the intricacy of a wedding dress, but do it in denim. Oh, it wow. could look. I mean, it takes a certain. You know, not everybody's going to want to walk yes. down the aisle in denim, but just I just think if there's uh, something different, it's oh, amazing. Wow, yes, and I think as well, especially nowadays, denim isn't isn't just like the casual. You can wear it smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you could put a nice jacket over it, yeah. and it can you can go out for dinner with it, yeah, and exactly. it doesn't look like you're just in your jeans. Yeah, you, well, yes, exactly. Well, my granddad told me off for having ripped jeans once, so oh, no. <laughs> he was like, "What are you wearing those for?" <laughs> oh no, wearing with some heels and a nice jacket, you look fantastic. <laughs> so we'll talk about this uh, middle point here. Yeah. OK, because it's very important. It's some very important notches on here that we have to line up. OK, so I'm going to show you, first of all, the pattern as flat. And uh, so you can understand that what I was talking about with the fact that these notches don't fit. So here is the side panel. You cut two of those and then this is the front. And as you can see, it's a funny old piece because it's cut um. on the folds. Look how thin it gets there. 
Um, and if I tried and put the two pattern pieces together, you can see that these notches do not match. Right. And that's because we're going to create a 3D structure. So these notches are very important. Don't skip them because we're going to pin at this point and then ease this in on this curve here. Okay. okay. And also you can see it doesn't quite match up on there. Oh, I can just put this in. Yeah. yeah, but it will all work out in the end. It's one yeah. of those things that it it's a bit of magic. When you oh, get yes. So this, so this, ooh, okay. Yeah, so when, when it worked, once I got it all in and shifted, it's, I always think um, being able to make something out of 3D from a flat piece of fabric is kind of magic, mm. isn't it's it? It's strange because when I was training, we learned how to drape on the stand to mm. do a pattern. And also, how, and I was much better, and I'm not mathematical at all, <clears throat> but I was, once I'd trained everything, I could look at, say, your dress yes. you're wearing now, and know exactly what it was going to look like on the flat. Really? It was a weird, it's the weirdest thing because oh. when we first started, I was like, oh, I can't, I don't know. And yeah. Because it's a, to make a basic block is quite mathematical, isn't mm. it? And yet, it was really weird because as soon as you, oh, somebody wants to know about your dress, by oh, the way. Yes. They want to know, did you make it? Yes. Oh, you did? And what yeah. pattern is it then? So, um, this is my latest one Liz. off um, the sewing machine. I thought with it being birthday week, I'd wear a birthday dress. Oh. It's the Untitled Thoughts um, Meredith dress. It's so lovely. So, it's jersey. Yeah. Nice and comfortable. No, it looks lovely. It looks Thank really you. lovely. <laughs> uh, loads of people sending lovely messages and going, it's lovely to see Adele back. Love your demos. She says, Lulu says, be as loud as you like. I love it. <laughs> You're bubbly and enthusiastic and you explain everything so well. Thank you for being you. You've made my Saturday. Oh, thank you so um, much. I love Adele's enthusiasm, says Nikki. Wish I had teachers like her at school. <laughs> I learn from her every time she's on. I feel privileged that she can take time for us with everything else she does. Good oh. luck for Monday. <laughs> and then um, Rachel says, true about denim. I made a mother of the bride dress for a customised uh, out of denim. I think the sleeves will look good in chiffon or in crepe, says Sharon. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, morning, Adele. Love the dress. Just bought the pattern. Can't wait to make it, says Debbie. So could you make the whole thing out of crepe? Hang on. Oh, yes, I suppose you could make it out of a heavy Ooh. crepe as well if you wanted to. Ooh, right, I'll That'd let you be really on. interesting. Yeah. So here is our middle piece, and then we've got our two side pieces going on here. Now, what's quite nice about this denim is it hasn't frayed too much as I've been cutting it out and moving it around. Yeah. Um, now, it does talk about finishing the seams. So after we've done this seam, you can either do it on the overlocker, um, pinking shears, or you can just zigzag. It's up to you. So I'm going to start on one side. I've already put my darts in. And already you can see, isn't there, there's a 3D structure yeah, starting yeah. to form. So it's got two darts that finish at the apex. And, that, and then there's some shaping also in the back. We'll talk about that when we get okay. to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is right size to right size and match my two notches. Now, I do notches by putting a little snip into the seam allowance. Mm -hmm. And the seam allowance is a centimetre and a half. Now, some people um, uh, do their notches by little tailor's tacks or a bit of chalk. It's really personal preference. Or cut them outwards. Oh, yes, like a little triangle. Triangle going the other way, which is the way I learned to do it. You yes. cut it going outwards. Yeah. Yes, so there's lots of different ways. And... I think when you first start beginning sewing, um, just do a bit of research, try all these different ways, and slowly you'll find your own perfect yeah, technique. Yeah. I always get worried snipping into the seam lance because if you then put it on and it's a bit tight yes. around there, you need to let it out. If you've snipped more than half your seam lance, you've only got a tiny bit to play with. Yes, you? that's very true. Um, but what I find, like you were talking earlier about blocks, if you've used um, so different before, you will know how it fits your body because yes. different patterns have different sort of block shapes, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Um, so I know particular pattern I need to maybe move down the bus start or whether I need to add length. I seem to have found that I've actually got a long body that I didn't realise. Oh, okay. So that's another thing about dressmaking. I'm able to make things for my body shape. Yes. So I'm found um, making jumpsuits and play suits. I didn't realise this part of my body was longer. Well, it probably explains that me and my husband are the same size, but when I get in the car, I have to move the car full, the seat forward. Oh, because you've got little legs. I must do. Yeah. And I have to change the bike seat on the um, stationary bike. Right. So this is one big long seam. So I'm going to, I'm a big fan of lots of pins. Right. Okay, because especially as a beginner sewer, it just keeps everything in place. 
So I am pinning all the way down here and I'm going to start from the top and come down. But you've, but you've, you've matched your notches first. Yes. Because I love the patterns, you start at the top to get to your first notch, but because your notches aren't even from the top, you need to match your yes. notches first. Yes. And um, I, mean, one, I'm, I don't really like breaking rules and I don't like breaking no notch rule. Right. I always put notches mm, in. They're there for a reason, they're yes. there to help you, yeah. Yes. Right, so we've got this big long seam. So I'm going to do this one now. And it's just a normal stitch length and it's going to be, oh, oh just right. within a centimetre and a half. Let me get my pins in here. Now, if you've got, th th like, it's the first time you've ever used this thicker denim with your machine, maybe just check with a little bit of offcuts that the stitch length and the needle is correct. But a universal needle will go through this denim absolutely fine. Now, as you come to this curve, just take your time, um, just to make sure that it doesn't shift, because you don't want any puckers over the bust mm -hmm. area. So but it's not, it's not a huge curve, is it? It's not no. a frightening curve. No, it's a nice gentle curve. This is a nice project that if you've made your first dress and you want something that's a little bit more difficult, but you're not ready for zips or uh, fastenings, it's a great dress to have yeah. a go at. And you can really play. Like, imagine, could you, do you think you could do the middle pat, uh, as pattern fabric? Oh, or? definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't put patterned on the outside. Put pattern on the but inside. Definitely, cause, because that shape alone is going to make you look. Uh, it, the thing is, it, it, the, the, the original design comes from uh, medieval times where the o overdress, they would wear an underdress and they'd hmm. wear an overdress. And the overdress would literally be the panel that you've got going down the front. Oh. And you, the, the rest of it would all be a, diff a completely different um, fabric. But also, if you make these panels patterned, it's going to make you look wider. wider. So ah. if, you, if you put your pattern on the inside one and keep your solid colours on the outside, then it automatically is slimming and lengthening. Oh. <coughs> and then that might be a good way of getting that extra bit of fa um, special fabric. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because so, if you made it out of like, well, these, these, these are like quilting weight cottons, aren't they? The black yes. and the white one. If you made, if you've got a Liberty print or a William Morris print yeah. you absolutely adore, you could cut it with it going down. Just be careful where you cut it. Make your fold go right through the middle of something that you want in the middle because it gets quite narrow in that middle yeah. section. But Yeah, you might want to worry about, not worry, but pay attention to where you put the pattern. Yes, yeah, definitely. So that you don't cut a motif or anything out there. Yes. So we've done one already. I'm going to do the other one before we press. And then we can see, you can see already, it doesn't want to sit flat, does no. it? But because that's because you've, you've put your, what, your equivalent of your dart from up here yes. into the seam, hasn't you? Yeah. So it's creating that bust shape now. Mm. And I, I don't know why, that's the reason why I love sewing, because I am, I, I just love the fact that it's imaginative, that it, it comes out as something that you didn't expect. You yes, oh yes, wow exactly. Moment. And also, it's like you say, you're cutting out flat pieces of fabric and as you sew them together, you're actually creating a body shape, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think that's what puts people off when they first start sewing. I remember getting my very first pattern and I took it over to my mother-in-law and I said to her, I said, Di, what do I do? Because it was just a whole sheet of a tissue paper and I was like, what am I meant to do? Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you this pattern in a second. They're also in the... Um, Pattern instructions, there are layout pictures as well of where you need to lay the fabric and things to save you using up as, uh, saving your fabric basically, because this one here, they've, she's folded it in twice, look, so she hasn't just folded the fabric in half, like she has on this one, on that one, she's folded the edge into the middle and the edge into the middle, then you don't waste as much fabric, and that one there has just got a tiny fold on it, so do read all of your instructions before you start, but it is a very, very simple, very simple pattern to do. Yes, great for a beginner. And I think lots of people have taken up dressmaking, haven't they, within this lockdown? And I suppose summer's coming, so it's time to start making this, that, the dresses that you can wear. Exactly. Now, um, uh, oh, half the stock of the pattern has gone. Nikki said, John, would this work for a bigger bust? It would, but you need to check your, check your measurements. Um, uh, bus. It depends what size you are. It tells you on the outside here. I'll just show you this very quickly. Sorry, just come to me a second. It actually tells you the sizing guide. Oh, actually, no, they're the dress sizes. And then it's got the bus sizes down here. I'll turn that around there. So that's the bus sizes there. 
that's the finished measurements of the dress. So if you make a size 14, the dress will be 101 centimetres. So you said it came out at true size. Yes. Sort of true to size. Yes. You? I mean, to be flattering, but you might have to refit it. If you've got a bigger bust, you might need to just refit it a little bit. Yeah, you might all. need to do just the full bust adjustment and change where that bust start fits. Yes, yeah. Um, that's one thing I didn't have to do on this one because um, some pattern companies, I have to... And I think that's what I was saying earlier. I've got a longer body that I had to reduce where the bust, uh, the dart was. Yes. Whereas this one I didn't. Because um, I suppose all pattern designers take it, don't they, from their block? Yes. Right, I'm just coming around this curve and then it will be a nice straight line. And then we've got the front panel done. And that's the beauty of this dress. It will come together pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an afternoon free, you could make it up and wear it for tea. <laughs> for a I was going to say, we're only 25 past the hour. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Hannah? Right, let me bring this up and then I'm just going to iron it out. Okay. My ham. Just goes So why do you need your ham then? Just because it's a 3D shape that if I was trying to iron it on the on the flat, you won't get a lovely pressed seam. So we want a lovely pressed seam. We're going to press it to the outside. Now this will be where you can overlock that big long um, seam or uh, zigzag it or pinker shear yeah. it. Don't overlock it till you've tried it on. Well, no. I would wait till you've tried it on. I'd pin the shoulders. Yes. Or tack the shoulders. Try it on to make sure that it seems in the right place then. Over. Yeah. You can just overlock them off together. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people have their own way of finishing seams. I, yes, like, yeah. I like an overlocked seam. Yeah. Just ma it makes sure, it, it allows it to be washed many times. Because I, I wear all my dresses again and again and again. Mm. So I want to get my wear out of them and I don't want it to fall oh. apart the first time I put it through the washing machine. Not like Hannah who wears it once and throws it away. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> if only, she says. Oh. The best is I've got um, one of my year sevens was like, Miss, you need to wear the flamingo dress. That's my favourite dress. Oh. <laughs> so now they've got a favourite. first day back. Um, no, so I had it on in my Zoom and then they were like, oh, you've got the flamingo dress on. Oh. So... They've been lovely. They chat away online. It's so sweet. It'd be weird they have to have to shut up in class now, not well, chat away. That's the thing, because the chat goes... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yes, exactly. And now it's going to be like, oh, excuse me, let's take our turns. Oh. But they'll be brilliant coming back. Oh, now you know the sausage. Ooh. The sausage is back in stock. <laughs> so the ham and the sausage. Yeah, I'll just get it now. <laughs> Shall I just carry on? Yeah, carry on. You carry on <laughs> pressing while Hannah crawls across the front of the set. Oh. <laughs> right. So back in stock. This is back in stock, just so you know. If you don't want to use the ham, you can use the sausage. Uh, we can't show it yet because Hannah's got to change the graphics. So if I was at home, I'd spend more time yeah, yeah, pressing this, but would I'm you, just now, going to steam. Would you yes, just I love steam. Yeah, steam. Yeah. Um, it's one of my things. And I always press from the inside and press from the oh, outside. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Just to make sure that that seems lovely and flat. You see, what you could do now is you could have pressed those seams to the outside and then run a top stitch yes. line down them. Yes. And then that would have enclosed your seam, so it's good for yep. the washing. But also, just even if you do it in blue, you don't have to do it in a different colour. But using the denim, you could do it in the nice orange that, you know, yeah. the, the, the denims are done in and everything. That would look lovely. Really nice. So there we have already got now all our fronts finished. Here we are. Just finishing that one. And it's a really pretty shape, even in the same fabric, yeah. using the same fabric for both panels. Um, because you might think, well, why don't I just make the whole dress in the same colour? But it just makes the eye. No, no, no. I think just the seams will be yeah. enough to create that. And I, like I say, that is quite, that's like, to me, that's cocktail party. Yes. Whereas this is everyday wear, but stylish or glamour. And before you go any further, I've got a question from Anna who has yes. said, if I'm going to buy one, which one should I get? The ham 
or the sausage roll. I don't know what the difference is between the two. So your ham has got a bigger surface area. Yeah, so that's the ham, first of all. So if you were doing, uh, like, shoulders or sleeves, then this is a really nice area. Also, print, if you're doing a princess scene as well, yes. that's really good to put yes. over there. Whereas that would be for more your straight scenes. So this is here for more... But to get to them, like... If, I tell you what, if you're doing, like, the hem on skinny jeans, mm. these are brilliant for putting inside there and pressing your seam open like that. Or, or in bag making, doll making, anything like that. They do the same thing. They allow your iron to get really into the seam. Mm. But th as you say, that's got a bigger arc on it. Yeah. This is more flat, so you can put it into sleeves and things like that. Yeah, and it's, it's weighty, isn't it? I'm pressing it and it's not Sawdust, daunting. yeah, it's full of sawdust. Normally, they wouldn't have a coloured fabric on them because you steam on them so much that, that people are frightened that the colour will come out mm. of this. But we've tested these. These are absolutely fine. The colour won't come out of But if you have any doubt, just use the calico side. And then what happens is you steam and steam and steam. All the steam, steam gets absorbed into the sawdust. Then you let it dry naturally and then it's ready to go again. See, every day's a school exactly. day. Exactly. That's what I always I am say. also a trained school teacher, you Ooh. see. <laughs> What's your subject again? English and drama, man. Oh, is. you're the English department. Yeah. They always call us the crazy ones in science. Oh, do they? And then the English are always well refined oh, and calm. Oh, well, I wouldn't have fitted in there, <laughs> would I? <laughs> they always seem to be calmer. We're the crazy ones. Right. So I'm going to now do the back neckline. Can you just explain yes. about what you've done on that piece already? Oh, yes, sorry. No, no, sorry, no, no, I forgot about that. Right. No, no. So let's turn uh, this lady around. And what you can see is because the, uh, the back is in one complete piece, yes. we're not able to get any shaping with that back seam. So what we've got here is two back darts here just to pull it in at sort of the, well, the curve of your yeah, back there. Yeah. Now... I hadn't done these until I'd done a few dresses, but they're just like a normal dart. You pin your points, you've got... Um, but they're a dart, they're a dart. Let me show you, let oh, me show you on show the, the pattern, back. actually, because yeah. you'll be able to see it better on the pattern. And I can show pattern. it from the inside, can't oh, I? Oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. Show it there you go, one. look. So, as you can see, I've started from the top, I've took in some of the fabric, and it shows you on the pattern exactly where, and you just get... Um, one of your fabric pens or some chalk just to transfer those lines and it's just creating a nice shape into your back because you don't want the back just going <laughs> you're right there yeah it is i found it i found it i found it it's like a banana dart here so it's like your dart that goes from your top to your bottom but that the middle bit would be there there's there's your dart yeah. in your back and you'll find them in most blouses. A lot of my Paul Smith shirts, when I was skinny, had them in the back of the, sh of the shirt as well, because when I got fat, I had to unpick all my darts <laughs> to make them fit me. But they just, they basically just create that on your back. Yes. They just put, so if, if you find it is too baggy for you, you can make those darts a little bit bigger mm. just to give you a bit more shape. Yeah, I think when I've done one of these dresses before, we've had a, a centre back seam. Yes. And some people are like, well, why don't I just cut it on the fold? But there is actually a very gentle curve Curve and you forget that you've got that curve. Yeah, and different people have different shaped curves. Yes, and that is the beauty of dressmaking because you can do it for your own body. So if you've already sh always struggled getting ready to wear clothes to fit comfortably. Yeah, now they look quite high up because normally they're on the, they're, uh, they go from the centre yeah. back. They come to you. They oh, they do come down quite a way. It's just on the, on yes. the drawing here. They yeah. haven't reached the waist, but that's fine. So there. Yeah, perfect. So they fit really nicely. Okay. Um, and right, so we've got this back neckline here. So the first time I did this, I kind of thought, oh, I now need to put my shoulders together like you would normally do. But remember, look, this shoulder seam is bigger than that. So we've got to add this back neckline. Right, okay. And this is another place that you could maybe add a little bit of like wow moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colour. yeah. Yeah, because if you did denim, you could do this in a completely different colour. Yeah. And nobody ever see it till see the back of your dress. Yeah. I've got a question for you before you go on. And it is... Adele, how would you mark those back darts? So the way I mark my darts is I transfer the top and the bottom with a pin. And then I would get the widest point and do it as a pin as well. And then use my chalk just to sort of take it out, then take yeah. it in. They're quite sort of straight all the way down, whereas some of these back darts I've seen before are more pointy. Now, the dart is the same size, whatever whatever dress mm. size. You yes. make. So what you could do, I'll just get it back here again, is... Ooh, 
<laughs> if you cover this dart area here with like three rows of cell... Oh, hang on, I've just got to wait for it to come in. So as you, I'll just show you very quickly. Here's the pattern, right? And these are all the different sizes through from an 8 to a 26. So they're all the different sizes and different colours there. But the dart, that's your waistline. You see, now normally... I thought they would go f further down from your waist because that's only giving you shaping three inches below your waist. I thought you might, some of you might want to extend that dart, but what I would do is I'd cover this with sellotape and I'd actually cut that mm. out. Uh, uh, you've done it in sellotape so your paper doesn't rip. And then you can just take your chalk and you can just draw in your dart shape there. You see, I'm very old school. I've got a card, uh, like a piece of wood, with um, tracing paper on it and I use a tracing wheel so I would trace that through directly onto my fabric so the dart is drawn in little dots on my fabric but the only other way you could do it and then what you'd have to do is you have to do it on both you'd have to do it on both sides to mark both the darts right okay moving on but thank you for that so the neckline here actually doesn't have any notches right. okay so you kind of have to do something first so that you can get it even either side and the way that I do it is I match my midpoints of each of my pieces and then I'm going to pin out from there. So any excess will be at the shoulders which can move off and it's not going to end up being smooth here and then all ruffled yeah, yeah. that way. So again, look, this is now this is the strange bit because look, we're trying to fit two different size curves mm -hmm. into each other. So this is just to take your time. Get your Netflix on. Get your Queen's Gambit on. Oh, no, I can't have anything else on Are while I'm not? doing that. No, oh. no, no, no. It's my time that I get to watch all my series. While you're doing your sewing? Yes. So I put my headphones in while I've got my iPad next to me, and I just... Oh, and that's okay. how I actually watched the yeah. Queen's Gambit sewing. Have you watched the Queen's oh, Gambit? Oh, yeah, yeah, I watched it ages oh. ago. Yeah, I loved it. It was funny because my granddad, he um, gave us his chess... Uh, board to, for the girls to play with. It's like one of these electronic ones. Oh, yeah. And then when it came out, he got really excited and he was ringing me, going, what do you think is going to happen next? What, what do you think? I, did, I couldn't figure out. I didn't know where it was going. I just thought it was one episode too long. I kind of got to episode five and thought, oh, I need something else to happen now because I thought episode one and two were like spellbinding. Yes. Then I kind of got a little young. bit, oh, it's the same old, she's just winning all these games. But then you needed the end to happen. I like the bit where she spirals down out of control. Yeah, oh yes. And then sort of, oh, let's not spoil it for anyone. No, exactly. Right, Derek says, if science teachers are the crazy ones, <laughs> what are the music and drama department? We are far crazier than our science staff. Derek's a teacher. Well, let's just say we've got chemicals to blow things up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Um, our drama, he's actually called Mr. Jolly. Oh, is he? Yeah, what a cool name for that's a drama teacher. That's I was teacher. called in Ethiopia. Really? All, all the people in Ethiopia call me Mr. Jolly. Oh, yeah. that's his actual name as well. Oh, I admit. Oh, oh, don't you think that's a really good name? You had to be a drama teacher with that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, here you go. And Jackie says, I do exactly the same, Adele. I watch Line of Duty from the beginning while I'm doing my sewing. Oh, I've been watching some rubbish as well. Oh, <laughs> that's not name names. <laughs> No, it's like um, reality TV. Oh, That's yeah, what yeah. I mean. Oh, with no, the no, I lo love trash telling. Sometimes you've just got to do it. Yeah. So as you can see here, we have gone slightly over on the shoulders. Now, that's absolutely fine because we can trim that down. What's more important is that this seam here is nice and flat. Okay. So that's why I started from the inside and pinned outwards. Now, I've got lots of pins there because this is going to be a little bit challenging to get through the machine without any puckering. OK, yeah. so the way I do it is as I sew, I kind of feel like I'm pulling it very slightly yeah. and making sure that both sides are still matching. OK, so let's kind of knocking the air out of it as you go round, yeah. don't you? So where you, the line where you're sewing, it may be going fr frilly elsewhere, but the line you're sewing is actually flat. Yes, yes. And if there is a little pucker that happens, just stop, just unpick back to where the pucker uh, began and then start again. Also, sometimes you have a pucker. It doesn't need unpicking though, does it? Some, try pressing Ooh, yeah. it first, because sometimes it just out. pressing it just opens out. Yeah, I think that actually happened when I was doing one of these. Yeah. Um, I found that and I went, oh, just pull it and it worked. Yeah. It worked. Right. There we go. Yeah, I know the music department have really struggled with no practicals because they're not allowed to play any instruments, like wind instruments, Or singing they? or anything. Or singing, no. 
So that's been one good thing during lockdown. I was able to sing happy birthday <laughs> to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you're on, your, on an iPad, not in the class with you. Yes, yes. So they're all they're on like a webinar. So have you still got to do social distancing in school? And yes, that thing? yes. So it's all masks now inside the classroom. Everywhere in school is masks. And, and have you got that the one way system where some a uh, different time breaks and different time? Yeah. All that so something. what we do is our school. We're really lucky that we've been able to separate it out into five different blocks. Yeah. Um, and the children stay in those blocks and they have their break time and dinner time in a different area of the playground. I, oh, I get modes if I said playground because yeah. it's not cool, is no. it? No. The yard. <laughs> it's a playground, isn't it? It is. Um, so they're all in different areas. Um, and apart from certain subjects where they need to be set as ability, they stay in the same classroom most yeah. of the day. Oh. Um, so it's us that are running around the school. So I've got a trainee teacher with me at the moment. She was like, how am I going to be moving around the school? And I went, get a good rucksack and get comfortable shoes because yeah. you'll be chup, chup, chup. Exactly. Uh, Sharon says, as a science technician, I must say blowing things up is the best. I can't <laughs> wait to be back next week. Oh, Sharon. <laughs> See, and our science technicians are like, oh, they're the golden people because you go to them and say, can we do this? And then they go, mm, yeah, yeah. Do we they can. wear white coats? Yes, they do. I was, was going to say, my day, yeah. we used to wear white coats. And they've got like this air of mystery about them. Oh. Um, so ours is called Mr. Clamp. And during. Clamp? Yeah, Mr. Clamp. So you've got Mr. Johnny, Mr. Clamp. Yes. <laughs> and. Uh, during the remote teaching, he's been in with the vulnerable children, right. in with the year 11s. And yesterday, when I just popped into their room, because I was in school, teaching from school, yeah. as he left, they were all like, bye, Mr. Clamp, bye. Oh. They loved him. But yeah, he'll be back in his white lab coats from uh, Monday. From Monday. Um, Debbie says, what seam allowance is it to Dale, please? A centimetre and a half, which is really nice ample seam allowance if you want to change anything yeah. if you want to take it out over the the hips or take it in a little bit more um, if you know that you've got um, a different hip ratio to waist then when we do the side seams maybe just base those first try it on then do your seams properly do you know what as well if you've got calico at home make a toile mm. make it up in calico for, you can always wear the calico one afterwards but make it up in calico and you'll see and then you can also alter the calico one and then transfer those uh, changes to the pat to your pattern piece. Yeah, because I'm a big believer in using my patterns over and over again. Yeah. Um, I've got several dresses, same pattern, different fabric. No one even knows it's the same dress. No, exactly. So I'm just going to press this down. You don't want to press it up because that would itch you on your back of yeah. your neck. And, and again, if you're doing the top stitching, yes. you could now top stitch round that to just hold that seam down as well. Yeah, it would look lovely, to. wouldn't it? So I'm just going to press that. Um, and we haven't got any puckers, good. <laughs> <laughs> I really Maybe Adele could allow students to text questions silently during the class <laughs> to ensure all questions get asked or answered. Are they not allowed to put their hand up and chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. so yeah. Um, our children in our school, they all have iPads from year 9, 10, 11. So all of our work is actually paperless. Oh. So I send it to their iPad and also I can see what they're doing on their iPads. So um, I can lock their iPads. That, that's the best thing. When no, <laughs> don't say that. So while they're in the class, yes. you don't, I don't have exercise books. Um, for our lower years, they have exercise books, year seven and eight. Yeah. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, we just have the, like a notebook, but we don't take that in. Um, that's just for them to write oh, any okay. notes. No, because I wouldn't have learned. If I'd, I hadn't actually written it down, I yes. need to write things down yes. to learn Yes, so that's it, yeah. the thing. That's why I, I accept if someone's writing as I'm talking, I don't mind that. Yeah. But any worksheets or any work, I just send it out to them virtually. And then they press done. And now I can bring it up and see what they're doing. Oh, my word. And the good thing it's is completely well, yeah. different. Hannah wants to know, has it got a spell check? Because she can't spell. Uh, yes, it has. Or, well, actually, when they go on a PDF, they can write with a little pen. So you can actually... Oh, because I was going to say, otherwise, ge the generation of the future aren't going to know how to write properly. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them um, just have a cheap 
like not an, a, a fake apple pen yeah. and they just Stylist. write on it like oh, that okay. and it, it's it's brilliant and the good thing about it is i don't have to spend all my morning photocopying no 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 it's and not. also well that's why when i left well, i didn't do teachings i went on to, to wimbledon but the, my friends who went into teaching said that was what the drawback was is there were no books and then the, the you know all of that sort of thing yeah so yeah so we're just very lucky in our school i know other schools that don't have that technology in place they've but obviously had when they're younger books. i shouldn't be talking about this now because yes but anyway um when they're younger do they get handwriting classes like um so my daughter school? at the moment she's in year three yeah she's got handwriting oh, okay classes. i just don't want i would hate for it to be that handwriting is something that people just don't know because their exam remember is still handwritten oh is it yes. so that's not on the computer no 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 so it's all handwritten oh, okay. so it's just for ease to get everything in no I, I understand it completely i just didn't it's me worrying about yeah. the future i just didn't want handwriting the but don't handwriting. forget on the other side of it a lot of their work is going to be on tablets yeah no no it? completely yeah completely, so and yeah. the best thing is when i'm stuck don't know what to do the kids are like miss you just do this you just do that and i'm like oh yeah <laughs> no, anyway, back to the shoulders, <laughs> back to the shoulders. No, no, no. Right, so I've matched the shoulders. The what's sold out? The pattern sold out. Pattern sold out. And um, what's nice is the back facing, so if you, the back facing there actually matches up with this front. So this seams here are going to match. Okay. So I've put those seams on first before I pinned. And as you can see, we got that little bit of excess on that round back, but don't worry. We can cut that off after we've done our shoulders. Then we'll get the sleeves in. Will we have time to do the dress? The to bottom? do the what? To do the side. Well, we'll see. So the sleeves going on the flat today. So that's Don't the do this. Thing. Do your shoulders oh. first. Do your shoulders first. Sorry. It's I'm okay. ahead. Sorry. Um, the instructions, because we discovered earlier, don't yes. have the, sea, uh, the sleeves in them. Okay. So it only talks about finishing the bias binding. Oh, now, so there's a sleeve pattern, but there's no actual instruction yeah, now, how to put the sleeve in. Yeah, and so different. They've got a really good blog that it's the same pattern piece for any of the other dresses that have been done before. Okay. So the blog. So if you go to the So Different website, you'll be able yes. to watch a blog on how to put it in if yeah. you're missing this bit. Okay. So I'm going to put it in on the flat. Okay. Um, because I think as a beginner, that's the easiest way to put it okay. in and there we've got our lovely shoulders oh, we've got our face in as well to put on but we'll talk about yeah, that yeah talk about the sleeves because that's yes. not in the instructions yes. and i think a lot of our ladies who bought this will want it with sleeves yep yeah. so here is our opening and on this i finished that with bias spines in but we're going to put the sleeve in i was going to say because normally if you make a sleeveless dress the sleeve shape is actually a different shape to when yeah. you put a sleeve in mm. Isn't it? So that's interesting. Yeah, well, it'd be interesting to see where your shoulder actually sits, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's where the shoulder, because these shoulders do come out a little bit, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. So what I'm going to do, again, is I'm going to get my middle point. So I'm just pressing that so that when I open it, I can see where that middle point okay, is. Okay, now, is there a back in the front of the sleeve or is it no, the same? No, there isn't. It's okay, exactly so the same. Okay, so you don't need to worry about which goes in where. So I've got my middle point and I've got my top seam there and I'm going to match that first press my seam to, that should have been pressed yeah but yeah. we're just running ahead so that we can see this shoulder let me do that again and put a little pin in here just making sure that I've got the center yeah there we go there's my center and I'm going to match that onto there okay and then what I'm going to do a bit like I did with the back because look we've got two different shaped curves to fit in we're going to take this round, find the end point first, mm -hmm. and then ease in the rest of it. Right. So it's not gathering the head, it's just easing it into yes, the shape. Yes, just easing it into that curve. So if you are a beginner sewer, this might just take a little bit of time, but yeah. don't worry, it doesn't need to be rushed. Sometimes it's nice to do like a five minute sew and then leave it and then come yeah, back. Yeah, of course. Sue says, very interesting to hear Adele talking about how lessons are taught now. Isn't it, Sue? I didn't know either. Uh, very different from when I was at school. Me too. Fabulous demo, she says, though. <laughs> oh, it's always moving forward. I've been teaching now 13 years. <gasps> and this wasn't the way I was ever no. started teaching. So So he's still learning for you as well. Yes, then. yes. Um, it's a lot of extra reading that goes on. Um, and also, I learn so much from other teachers. So we go and watch each other's lessons and pick up ideas. 
Um, Sue says, I love the science. Now, don't, is it called a science abuse TV programme? I think that might be a spelling mistake. Will it fizz or will it bang? Science teachers have the most fun. <laughs> The best is, do you know what, our little year sevens haven't been in a science lab, lab yet because their block is the geography and history block. So yesterday on the live lesson, they were like, Miss, where are you? And I went, I'm in the science lab. And they went, what? So I gave oh. them a guided tour of the science lab on the Zoom. <laughs> they were like, I can't wait to get in there. And they love it when we get the Bunsen burners out. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. And then when you get the magnesium and light it, Geraldine says, John, you and I had a chalkboard when we were at school. Uh, Geraldine, I'm not that old. I had a chalkboard when I was at school. You did not? Yeah, I'm 37. They had yeah. chalkboards. Not, yeah, oh, you mean, oh, I thought she, oh, chalk, I thought she meant, <laughs> no, like, here, like, like, I was writing on chalkboard. Yeah, the school yeah, teacher. The school no, no, the school teacher. And they had, they, they were on a roller, so yes. you could roll them round like sure. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I um, thought you meant me. I was sitting with like chalk and slate, you know, chat it right. Do you know what we used to do during wet play? Used to get the dusters, do that, and put it on the teacher's chair. Oh yeah. And then the teacher came in later. So, so, like, anyway, we don't we don't condone naughtiness in school. No, no. Okay, there's a message from Sue across the bottom. John, you're brilliant. You ask and draw attention to all the important points. Great demo from Sue in Oxfordshire. Thank you, Sue. Oh, it's lovely. It's because it's only because. I know how to, I, I, you know, what I, mean? I, I never yes. ever want to take away from you because you're our expert, but I also know how to do this sort yeah. of thing. So I can ask the right questions about it because I know what's coming up next and what should and shouldn't be happening. And, things and like, like I that. said, every day is a school day. Yep. I'm still learning. Um, I am, I've not been professionally trained. I've just picked all this up by trial and error. So it's all just practice, practice, practice. Whereas you're very experienced, John. Who hey, what? What did you say? Very experienced. Me? You should have been around a lot, that's why. <laughs> I thought you said you were only 40. On telly, I'm only 40. <laughs> but I've had my jab already, so that shows oh. I'm not 40, doesn't it? Oh. Right. Who remembers the chalk rubber being thrown at you if you did something wrong? <laughs> oh, yes. Or Mr. Armstrong, our history teacher, used to do it with just the chalk, <gasps> right? So if you were daydreaming like outside the window, you could suddenly get hit. The health and safety in those days just didn't happen. Oh. No, we have um, little slogans now to get the kids' attentions. Oh, OK. Oh, no, so. we had chalk thrown at us. No. Also, you couldn't do half the things that used to happen to us in school. Like, if you were naughty, you'd have to wear the dunces hat and stand in a corner, <laughs> face the wall in the corner while the lesson's going on. You just wouldn't be allowed to do any of that anymore, would you? No. And you wouldn't be allowed, the te PE teachers would not be allowed to call you Daisy either. <laughs> Come on, Daisy, you can do it. Me? That's what my PE teachers used to call me. Do you know what's quite funny, though? The PE teachers do get their own back when it's cross-country and it's raining. Oh, yes. Because, yeah. obviously, it's around the mock time, so all the halls are taken up with the mock exams. And my science lab used to be right next to the field. You see these kids go round this tree. First time, fine. Second time, soaked. Oh. Third time, just caked in mud. We used to have run around the meadows in Chester from our school, right the way around the meadows to the suspension bridge and back again. And we'd be filthy when yeah. we got back. My daughter loves cross country. and She's been, she's actually really gutted that cross country was stopped Yeah. because of this. Right, there okay. we go. There's our shoulder. So literally, let's just recap uh, that bit. So the sleeve doesn't have a front and the back. No. It literally, you pin the middle, you pin the end yes. and the end, then ease the rest round. Yep. And then that's it. And you haven't done the underarm seam yet. No. Shall we do that? And yeah, then yeah. Because you do, you'll do that on both sides. But let's yes. just do it on this let's side. Let's do it on one side. Yeah. So I'm going to start from the top, pin, find where my underarm join is. Yeah. Um, pin that first and then pin the rest and then we'll go straight down that seam. Which way do I want it this way? Yeah, and also I would be tempted, once you knew it fitted, to cut some of the seam allowances down because there's quite a lot of denim yes. under your armpit there and it's quite yeah. a snug fitting sleeve armhole, I think. Yes, yes. Um, especially with this heavier denim, that's a very good idea. Um, somebody's asked if you can make it with a ponty. You can make it with a ponty because it says so on the, on the packet, yeah. Yep. Just if you want it to have a closer fit in, you might have to just go down a size. Yeah. The ponty's quite stable, isn't it? Ponty's yeah. quite hard. I've got a lovely few ponty dresses that I wear for work. Yeah. Because we're going to have all the windows open, so I thought loads of base. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. And the doors are open. So what's funny now is 
you walk down the corridor and you hear so much noise, which yeah. is lovely. Oh. And just being at school this last week, popping in and doing a few bits, the, the corridors are quiet and it's weird. Oh, I can imagine. It's not how right, nice. uh, Geraldine <laughs> says, I love this demo. So nice to hear laughter and what a lovely smile Adele has got. <laughs> Board ruler being banged on the floor too, as Margaret's saying. I don't usually do dressmaking, but Adele explains it so well, she's making it look easy. I had a mega perm in the 80s, and the teacher would use my head to empty the chalk rubber <laughs> on my head. They never get away with it now, they certainly would not. I would have loved Adele to be my teacher at school. I believe you need enthusiasm and passion Aww. to teach any subject. What lucky students to have a great demo. Derek, oh no, someone else has said, we had a chalkboard, I must have been an antique, and Derek agrees. Well, Derek, you are. <laughs> love, love, love this demo, Adele. Uh, John, your input of wealth and experience is much appreciated. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Judy says, morning, John and Adele. I'm a lefty, and we were given pens with left-handed nibs for handwriting. Of course you were. Oh. Not anymore. Was by, there weren't such things as biros then, were there? We had, we had ink, proper ink pens that we used to have to fill with quink ink. Oh, yeah. And now the kids don't even have pens. They have styluses. How things have moved on. We used to have to duck when the teacher threw the board rubber at your head for talking. <gasps> Sharon. <gasps> I know, but this, when you think about it, that's what happened. Oh. Right. Here we go. Oh, it looks really nice with the sleeve in denim, doesn't it? Yeah, no, exactly. Looks lovely. So there we've got, the, yeah, and like you say, look, there is a lot of gab, um, a lot fork of fabric, there. yeah. So yeah, just cut down that seam as long as it fits. And there is our lovely sleeve fitted on. Perfect. Now, very quickly, yep. you don't need to do it. How do you finish the sleeve? How do you finish the hem? And how do you finish the neck? OK, so because this is denim, what I would do is finish that um, edge there first over it, either lock it or um, zigzag. zigzag. And then I would fold it under. Now, it does probably suggest, in, well, no, because it's not the no, sleeve, not is the it? Hair. Sometimes it suggests how far to uh, fold Turns it under up. but sometimes i like to try it on first because they might have a really ample fold yes, yes. but you don't want it you don't and also want if, big you, hem. if you've got like me flabby arms there you can make it longer as well because it's not a shaped sleeve you could actually yeah. make it as long as you wanted to and don't make it a full length sleeve because it won't have the right no, shape for that yeah, but you, you can go to your to elbow move. quite easily yeah. yeah and then this is finished with a facing so you've got a front a back that fits over like a collar yeah and then sew it and then it goes on to the inside okay perfect and, and the hem the hem the same again because it's denim i would finish this seam first and then take it up yes. now if you wanted this a little bit longer you need to be careful because the a-line shape will keep going and keep going yes and it does have yeah it's got a lengthen and shorten line right so this will be where you cut your um, pattern and then you alter it at that point okay. there and move out that Do you seam. know what? I quite like it, um, and this won't be for everybody, but I quite like it with the raw edge. Ooh, so that denim yeah. skirt and sleeve, I'd leave that, I'd do a top stitching line round it so it didn't completely yes. fly away. But then I'd just leave, and the neckline, I'd just leave them all as raw edges. And the thing is, the more you wash it, the better it'll look, Exactly. Won't it? And also, can we just see, the, pull it down towards you a little bit, Adele. So you see now, look, you see the V, even though yeah. we've done it in exactly the same fabric, just the suggestion of those seams yes. still gives you that slim, slimming look. Yeah. Even though it's, it's only a seam and it's the same fabric. Yeah. Yeah, so it works really well in the same fabric. You don't have to go for the contrasting. Exactly right. Okay, so Stuart says, love these teaching stories. Stuart used to be a teacher <laughs> and then gave it up and bought a fabric shop. Jackie says, I remember filling the inkwells when we went to big school. Um, practical subjects have been in this week in Derek's school, but he's only allowed five students in a room due to social distancing. Uh, it used to be an honour to be chosen, chosen to fill the inkwells and give out the milk. I did the milk at primary school. Gerardi was a milk monitor as well. Yeah, and you got to go into the kitchen and meet the dinner ladies, and they were my favourite. Adele, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. Now you're back in and now to do another so yes. different pattern, aren't you? What we got, were you sent the pattern or did you get downloaded? So I got it downloaded. Only um, only because on our picture we've yes. got a really fancy pattern like yeah. this. But the one we've got here is just a paper pattern. Yeah, so it's just, just, I don't know where the instructions are on that. Well, we'll have a look. We'll open it in a minute. We'll open yeah. it in a minute. Right, so thank you. We'll see you in an hour and we're yeah. going to be making the, the top. The We've got two patterns, the Tuscan and the Sicilian. I think, no, that doesn't sound right. Uh, the Sicilian and the Harmon. Harmon. Don't know where I got Tuscan from then. <laughs> uh, Tuscan because it's Sicilian, italian -y, that kind of thing. Right, okay, the pattern is sold out. Pattern is completely sold out. The black and white bundle is here. So you get two metres of the black and you get one 
and a half meters of the white. You will have a lot of white left over, but you need to have that much fabric for the length of the panel going down the front. Oh, there's more people got that in baskets than we've actually got stock, so you need to check out. The medium coloured denim that Adele was using, the bundle is completely sold out. We've got the dark bundle here, of three and a half metres, and there's only four of these left. The thing is, even if you're not going to make this dress, I think this is a brilliant stash. Whether you're doing embroidery, whether you're doing any sort of, I think denim can be used for most patterns. So I think it look, I think it's just a really good buy that. £33.99 for three and a half metres. In fact, that's a really good price. It's less than £10 a metre. Yeah, exactly. That, that is an amazing price. Mm. Somebody maybe not have done their maths right on that, Hannah. It's not Hannah. It's not Hannah. It's not Hannah. Anyway, it's amazing price. And then I've got the pale one by the half metre here. Um, very quickly. Now, this is a much lighter weight. You can still make the dress out of it, but please don't mix this with the dark denim because the difference in weight of fabric will make the front bit go a little bit funny, mm. that's all. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, it's not eight ounce. It says eight ounce in the in the in the graphics. It's not eight ounce. I'd say it was more like four to six ounce. This one, four ninety nine. Right. I just want to recap before I go for the break. I just need to recap this because this is my early bird earlier, and oh, we're going to use it in the next in the next ad demo anyway. There are only six of these left. You get ten pounds off today. Ten pounds off, but there are only six left at that price. And it will it tomorrow. It will be $39.99 again if we've got any in stock. Or when it comes back into stock, it will be $39.99. Okay, we've got to go for a break now. Now, I need to tell you something, and I don't quite know how to tell you this. So, in the next hour, Susie Duncan's here to do... Can we show a picture of it, sorry? Uh, doing this quilt, right? Doing the, don't worry, Adele, we've oh. got a picture. <laughs> Adele's, like, backing off out of shop. Right, we've got this quilt. We had... Well, we've waited four months for it to arrive, and we had hundreds of them, right? They've all sold out. So we're still going to do the demonstration with Susie. Um, Hannah's been finding other bits and bobs for me to talk about and to sell in the next hour. Oh, OK, yeah, but even, yeah, oh, all right. Blimey. Go and get some food, Hannah. Shh. We're going to talk about this. Anyway, I'll see you after break with Susie. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live, or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers, and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shops with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shopped with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Now, we knew this quilt was going to be popular. We didn't quite know how popular it was going to be before we even got to the, cl the class. No, I'm not in school anymore. We're at work now. Um, so, 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 we did have, we waited four months for it to arrive. We uh, had hundreds and they all sold out. They all sold out on pre-order before the show even started. Not the eight o'clock show since this show at 10 o'clock started. We're still going to do that demo. You're still going to see other things like threads and rulers and rotary cutters and things like that. But this is not for sale now because we've, they're completely, all sold out completely. But I will show you for those of you who've bought it, this is what you're getting. I've already opened the top layer. So it's called Spring in Purple, Quilt Kit, Case Facet Collective. You get seven printed fabrics, over five metres of fabric, complete instructions. Oh, now it says content may vary slightly. So that'll be interesting to see. Okay, brilliant. So now I've already opened the box. So there's your instructions. But I didn't want to go any further because look, it's all wrapped in tissue. Isn't that beautiful? This box is brilliant. I mean, I know we're talking about a quilt, but the box itself is so incredible. No, no, because for storage. It's got nothing on, you can store, store so many things in that. So I'll just put that down there and I'll just put that down there. Right, so you get the instructions and then inside the pink ribbon, look, uh, inside the pink, look. So it's been be uh, beautifully presented, isn't it? Gorgeous. Now, obviously we're gonna try and get more, but it did take four months for these to arrive. So I can't, I won't be able to say, oh yes, they'll be in on Tuesday. I can't say that, but so look, you get now there'll be different different amounts of fabric because when we get to the cutting in a second, I'll, uh, Susie and I will explain all of this. So you've got the right amount of fabric. So do don't swap the fabrics around. Do what they say. Each each of the fabrics I'll show you here will have a letter. There you go. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So there's F, right? So you've got a certain amount of F. So it will tell you it's enough to do the front and the binding. Obviously, there's no backing. You have to supply your own backing. And then here are the, all the fabrics. I'll just show you. Let me just take those out of there. There's a cardboard behind holding them. So, oh, right, that's a bit like, well, that's a kind of mixture of geodes. Agate's called that one, so that's a mix and match of the two there. Then, look, you see, the, the very, very traditional caves in here. Then we've got that beautiful one. Do you remember that one? That's gorgeous. Look. Isn't that called, isn't that, that's not Kyoto, is it? No, that, enchanted. enchanted, that one. So you get different amounts of all. Now, convolulus. They're the convolulu flowers. That's not the, what it's called, but they're convolulu flowers. <laughs> no, it's called lotus leaf. Lotus leaf. <laughs> and then you've got your spot. And then you've got your uh, paint pots, your mini paint pots at the top there. <laughs> now, I also need to tell you, if you love CAIF, on Monday at 12 o'clock, there is a CAIF, the first CAIF knitting show on Yarn Lane. And that's where you've seen this cushion, that cushion there. There's also, oh, there's a blanket next to it. Mm. There's a scarf. Oh, no, they've covered up my scarf. Oh, is it? Is they've it come, no, Lee, don't worry, Susie, don't worry, we'll have this later. And there's a cardigan on the stand. I don't know if you can see that, Grammy. No, balloons are in the way. I'll show you in a minute. Right, okay, okay, okay. So this is all your fabric. These are all your instructions. Okay, and so it'll tell you, there you go, oh, Lotus Leaf Enchanted, Mille Fiore. In, oh, that's your binding. That's your binding. Guinea Flower, Tiddlywink, Spot and Agate. And then obviously it's not backing, it's not included, but you need to, that tells you how much you'll need. You need 100% cotton thread in matching colours, Aurofil, we've got that coming up and how much batting you need. And then all the instructions, so you've got your cutting here uh, with the fabric, obviously, different fabrics. You, so fabric A, fabric B, fabric C, fabric D, fabric E, tells you everything you need to cut. Okay, I don't know what this is. I'll ask Susie in a minute about that one um, because I didn't think there was any bias fabric in a quilt, but I'll ask Susie in a second. Anyway, there you go. So this is how you make it, and that's your finished block, and there you go. So I've got no graphics in because they've all sold out. So we are going to start off by introducing Susie. Hello, Susie. Hello. Uh, and you're going to show us, uh, even though, now this is where I, it's what I love about Sewing Street, right? If this was another shopping channel, they'd have gone, oh, they've sold out, Susie, go home. We're going to do something else, right? We're still going to do the demonstration. And during the demonstration, we will show you rotary cutters, rulers, thread, scissors, things like that. But we are still going to do the demonstration. But the thing is, it's not a difficult one, is it? Absolutely not. If you're a beginner quilter, this is absolutely perfect for you. Right. Because all you need to do is sew a straight line. Okay. So it is a perfect quilt. And I reckon you could make this in a day. Oh, do you? Easily. Even with all the cutting? Even with all the cutting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not, uh, if you've got all your fabric to hand, it's not an onerous project. Right. So it's definitely not going to become one of those ones in the back of the drawer that you never right. touch. Yes, you don't finish. It, and really, with fabric like this, you want to get it out, don't you? Oh, it's yeah, It's just definitely. so definitely. beautiful. But even if you didn't want to finish it as a quilt, each panel would make an amazing cushion for your home. Oh, you yes. Know, if, if you're not looking to do it as a quilt, but you've got all those How many blocks. blocks are there? Nine? There are nine blocks. So, so you, you can make, can make nine exquisite cushions. Absolutely. And give them as gifts or things like exactly. that as well as keep some for yep. yourself. Or even do, you know, four cushions and then wall hangings around your home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it is just so beautiful. I mean, it's stunning. Oh, I'm now seeing a conservatory, lovely big cons yeah. on Escape to the Country, with <laughs> wickerwork furniture with these cushions scattered yeah. all around. Or yeah. one of the open plan homes and you've got this in a frame oh yes 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 strategic positions mm. around the house I, I the the fabrics are just pieces of art they're yes. just stunning fabrics lovely to work with and anywhere else putting all that myriad of colors together you'd go it's not going to work no 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 no. but exactly. it does mm. it really does and i love the fact that although it's if you break it down it's quite simplistic because it's just two blocks oh okay repeated yeah um, so in essence, it's not the greatest challenge in the world, but put together, it, yeah, but looks, it looks like it. Amazing. It looks so impressive, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And the trick with it is to get those points spot on. Spot on. Okay. And that's where your time comes. Just taking time to, to nest your seams and make sure they all fit in correctly and to cut accurately. 
So that's where all our rulers and, and cutting implements come into hand. Yeah. But th that's where it really is. But it's just fab. And you get loads of fabric left over. No. You do. Because normally in these look, kits... You, I know. It, you literally... But I've left mine deliberately. Right. So I've cut literally everything I need other than my binding. For the whole quilt? For the whole quilt. Right. Um, the reason I haven't cut my binding is because rather than use the um, millefiori, which is what, what they, they suggest, suggest you you do, which they give you an abundance of, I think I'm going to do the binding on mine with a bit of everything. Like a scrappy binding? Yeah, because I think that would look awesome. Yeah, that's And totally. look, this is all I've got left. So, so, I've got so once you've cut your whole quilt out, apart from the binding, yeah. so which is the millefiori one? Millefiori is this one, the one I've got most Okay, of. so that's what your binding should be. Yes. But you, yeah. so, so, but you but I deliberately have, I mean, before I've cut the binding strips, look how much of that is left. I mean, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That's a cushion, a cushion back in well, itself, it, isn't it? It's, but you could use your scraps to do a patched back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, oh, yes, that whole patch yeah, back of the whole quilt. Yeah. Absolutely, and then it would all go together. Oh, that'd be lovely. And then depending on what mood you're on, if you're you on could the bed, flip it. you'd have the squares up or flip it absolutely. over and have the crazy yeah. side. So you'd have a double-sided quilt. Oh, so, amazing. Yeah, so I was super... It's one of the first quilts I've ever tackled as a kit where I've had this amount no, of fabric that, Well, that's left. why I was saying at the beginning, don't it's, swap them round because they've, they've yeah, put the right amount of fabric absolutely. in. Because normally you cut it out and you've got like a yeah. sliver down the side, yep. don't you? And I haven't done my usual get a piece of paper and work out the maths, can I cut it any more frugally? Yeah. I have followed their instructions. Okay. Um, and actually, I think they have written the instructions in the most frugal way to cut. Perfect. I don't, there's very little waste. I'm and, and also, think about Kafis. If you've also got some of his other collections yes. and you're making a scrappy back, you could incorporate some of Absolutely. your others into your scrappy back because they're all going to go, they all go together. Exactly. But you could also incorporate the odd bit of solid that you've got in your collection because there are so many colours in there yes. that you can marry, mm -hmm. um, that you can make your own design on the back or just repeat this on the back mm. but have a solid every so often so it's yeah it's a glorious kit really that glorious. is amazing that you get so much I know, left it's over. crazy isn't yeah. it yeah don't tell them no well it's too late now you've just managed to no. tell the whole world no um right i need to ask a question because you're talking about cutting out here yes. and then i've just i just noticed this at the bottom it, yes. it says fabric a cut with the fabric this size so we should yes. go through but then it says here fabric g cut quarter inch wide bias strips across the full yardage are enough to make 325 inches of bias binding yeah i'm not sure what that is oh okay so it's not me because i wouldn't even think of bias. no so i i read all the instructions i was very good i read it all through before i touched anything and then I started cutting, and then I got to G, cut the bits for G, and then it suddenly said from Fabric A, cut da 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 da. Yes. I was like, whoa, hang on a minute. I've cut so my Fabric A. It's not even. It's I've not cut even. my Fabric A. Why do I need it? Yeah, it's not, you don't need it. So ignore that last that number 12. Very la where, it's, where it starts from Fabric A cut 12 quarter inch bias strips. Yeah, because A's not even, you bind, it's not even they've made a mistake by calling the binding bias. So, it's yeah, because I've double read the binding and you're using Fabric C for binding. Yeah. If you look at the pictures, you're using Fabric C. So, I if cannot... you've bought it, do not do the final thing where it says from Fabric A, cut 12, uh, cut quarter inch bias strips across, yeah. making 320, unless you want beautiful cave bias binding in your... Because Anna's sewing that, if yeah, she's got nice fabric, you, she makes bias binding, has it in her workroom. Yeah, everything. it's fine. But you won't actually have enough of A to do oh, that. Oh, okay. And it's, not, it's for nowhere in this quilt. There is it? nowhere in this quilt that it is used. Perfect. So That's fine. You we're don't not, we're not, to not it. being negative. We're just telling you, don't yeah. waste your fabric by trying yes. to do that. Like, yeah. And don't panic. If you're doing your cutting out, you think I haven't got enough of A left yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you don't need it. It's okay, fine. Okay, perfect. So if you cut it according to the instructions, you're, you've got it all done. Uh, the other thing that I would suggest, because... You're working with uh, just the seven fabrics, but some of those appear in both blocks. Right. I found it helpful to um, cut everything in the order it said, and then I laid them out in the two block piles. Right. So, for example, you've got that bright floral one yep. there, so and this that is appears one. in both blocks, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, it does. It's the, uh, it's the one that's repeated. Yes. Yeah. 
so that's that's fabric B yeah. so what I did was lay them in the two piles and then I sorted them into blocks right and I I just clipped them together so that I knew I had the right colours with the right sizes with it but that's because I'm super OCD no 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 <laughs> but I, because it'd be nothing worse than of getting there and thinking oh yeah. this strip doesn't fit where does it go and you realise you've sewn a wrong exactly. strip exactly the other reason for doing that is it means that I can chain piece everything because what you have to do is you'll see as we we go along you're doing side side top bottom right but you have to press in between so you're up and between the two well, that's all your the exercise that's your steps in a day put the ironing board on the other side of the room so I you've know. Got to do it's steps. brilliant isn't it yeah <laughs> so um it just means that you can keep that continuity going it brings everything together quicker and you can do all your block a's or block ones to start with and then move on to your block b's um, but it it means you're not going to use the wrong piece of fabric it's just getting yourself organized for speedy so sewing. just looking at it all yes. the block a's they're not only identical in shape they're identical in color as absolutely, well absolutely so yes. all of them have got the convolulus which is really yeah. called Lotus leaf. <laughs> Lotus leaf in the middle. <laughs> yeah. And the block B's, as yes. they're called them, have all got the paint, yeah. mini paint pots in them. Is it called paint No, pots? it's called tiddlywinks. Why is it funny? Because they do, they do one like that they with do. paint pots, Yes, don't they, they do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, he does, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. So, um, so each block, so when you're doing block A, all of them are identical absolutely. placement and everything. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. yes. So you haven't got to think out, you know, placing different fabrics different ways which also is why people who don't like random who can't do random this yeah. is perfect thing don't know anyone like that <laughs> <laughs> it's sorted it's done you don't have to uh, panic about exactly it. but it also means it's quick to do mm -hmm. which is why i said i reckon you can do it in a day okay definitely you well i have to don't don't if you no, 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 you don't, don't have to. to take your time but, doing it yeah you um, might want to do a block a day yeah you might think i just want to do a couple of hours saying each day do yes, a block a day and it's like totally that. achievable. I mean, I think I spent more time pressing than I did yeah. sewing because that's the important thing, to get it pressed neatly, matching your seams and, and doing that. But it is just amazing. Yeah. It, it really makes you smile as you do it as well because it's such glorious colours. Of course. Um, you can, I mean, I suppose you could fussy cut, but what's the point? Because there's literally colour everywhere. Yes. But it also means that every block, even though you're doing four of block two and five of block one, each block actually looks slightly different. Yes, because, because you, you've of the got your the leaves in different off. places yeah. and your little tiddlywinks in different places. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Love it. And then if you want to quilt it afterwards, and again, that's ch personal choice. Not everybody wants to do that extra quilting. Um, you can do it by hand, obviously, mm -hmm. but you can do a uh, free motion. Or if you're new to new to it and just want to have a go just do stitch in the ditch mm. you know just follow the lines yeah, exactly. or do diagonals you know do whatever you like yeah. it doesn't matter but you don't need to do it in a thread that is going to stand out because there's so much there's so much going, going on, there, on. Yeah, exactly i think you lose that geometry and the colorways mm. coming through but it's yeah it's beautiful to work with you'll love it you and will also love it. the quality of the fabric is good and you yes. know can you know it's 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 everything about it says yes. quality doesn't it it does yeah it presses superbly i did um pre-treat all the fabric as i got it out the box because it, it will need an iron you know, like best press yes start, you know, i use best press yeah. starch savvy yeah. whichever you prefer but uh, as i ironed it because i tend to because it's obviously been folded in a box yes you're and it's need... taken four months to get here so it might have been in the box for four months yes so it needs a bit of love to start with but if you do that that pre um best press uh, starch savvy whichever you prefer it means that when you're cutting your strips you get a much better cut yes. okay. it does help minimize your fraying as well i mean all fabric frays doesn't matter what you do with it it's going to fray yeah. with the amount of handling we have yeah. um, especially with all our rough hands so you definitely need to put your hand cream on yeah. before you start but it it just helps that procedure and helps making the pressing more effective and also uh, new blade in your rotary cutter yes. or new rotary cutter and new now you haven't got a new needle in that machine oh, but new I? needle in your machine when yes. you start the project yes yeah I'm, <coughs> i i do bef between projects and i can sometimes have two or three on the go yeah. a day i clean the my bobbin 
um, base completely, mm. wipe down my whole machine and change my needle and my rotary cutter blade. Right, okay. Because you want the best every time. Mm. There's exactly. no point doing something half hearted. Same as, you know, in the kitchen, we sharpen the knife before we start every day. So we know we've got good tools. Oh, cranky. You better not come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. So, we're, so we've cut the so pieces out. So we've cut out. the pieces yeah. out. So let's put one together. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we start with. But what I like to do as well is once I've unclipped, and this is where it gets very exciting. So this is actually uh, block one, I believe. Right. So you start with your lotus leaf in the middle, and then you've got your um, enchanted going on around the edges. And I tend to lay it out, not because I'm sad, but because it means it's quicker when I come to pick well, it no, up. Well, no, because they're going to be different it. sizes as well, aren't they? The strips Absolutely. So you sizes. need to make sure. And remember, you've got to allow for your seam allowance. So yeah. although it looks like it's wrong, they are correct because okay. they fit. And it gives you a chance now to look at the design. So I've got this pattern at either side. So I yeah. can move things around if I want or to. Or turn it upside down. Or Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then all it is, is right sides together, quarter inch seam on your machine. Um, now I have to remember from the other day what this met was on quarter of an inch. There you go. And I've, I would normally use... For this, I decided black was probably my best thread okay. colour. Um, but we've got the machine set up with white, so that you can see the stitching yeah. at home. But ordinarily... So now, <coughs> when you take yes. this one home, will you unpick all the white stitching and re-stitch it I with might black do. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, yeah, John. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and what cake did you bring today? I brought you um, lemon sour cakes. Oh, what's that? So it's like a lemon drizzle, yeah. but then I've put sour snakes on the top oh, and added wow. extra lemony bit. Oh, very So yeah, nice. it makes you zing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're outside. And, and I've, oh, oh, I've done them as mini loaf cakes. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Hannah will have eaten half of those by the time get out there. <laughs> do you use, on your machine at home, do you use a quarter inch foot? Yeah. Uh, no, I've got a quarter inch setting so, on my machine at okay. home. Um, so I just switch it to that. Yeah. And, and know that the edge of my foot is, is quarter, quarter of an inch. inch. Yeah. And also, one thing we need to say, for something that's so precise about this, don't make half fit on one machine and half fit on another machine. Because even though, so if I took some of the blocks home and did it on my machine at the quarter inch setting, and Susie took the other half home and did it on hers, there is no guarantee that two machines are identical with their quarter inch seam. So we've had it here before when people have demonstrated, made half a quilt at home, made the other half in here on yeah. our machine, and, it's been, and it then doesn't fit together. So make the whole thing on the same machine. Ooh. You're right. Yeah, there. I'm just going to plug in the iron. I've just thought oh, we yeah. need so the iron. The one thing you've gone on about for 20 minutes, how important yeah. the iron is. The iron is, and not plugged it in. That's never going to work, is it? So I've plugged it in, we're good. Um, the other thing I would say, if you're not sure about your machine's quarter of an inch setting, just use a scrap of fabric and test it out yes. and measure it. Um, and it is worth doing. And I would do that every so often just to see if there's been any change in your machine. Because we do, we are quite abusive to our mm. machines, aren't we? Yeah. Um, We've seen what Delphine did to that one yesterday. I'm, oh hoping, I'm keeping my fingers crossed it's all okay today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing about doing it like this, where you've, I've come down this side, I'm naturally flipping round, right. so I'm sewing it the other other, other direction. direction. So you're not going to get that so it's pull like on doing the fibres. A border on a quilt, isn't it? If you do the two Absolutely. sides first, yeah, it is exactly like that. Um, which mean, I mean, normally I would chain piece the next ones as well, but we're not going to do that. No, no, today. no. So Julie said, I don't know if she's talking about piecing or quilting. What colour thread would you advise I'd be stumped? So you said in real life you'd have used a black yes, to piece Yes, I'd use black for my, t for my um, sample blocks. Okay. Because overall, black seemed to work the best. But what colour would you quilt it with? I, well, this one has been quilted you didn't, in like... You made that I for didn't them. make yeah, this. Yeah. No, this was made for um, Sewing Street. Yeah. So... They've actually quilted this in, I would say, it's a maroony colour. Oh, OK. It's, it's not quite a brown and it's not quite a red. It's definite maroon, I would say. 
with a red underneath. Oh, look at the back. That's phenomenal. Oh, there you go. Um, so. Right. So the thread. For, normally we say for piecing, don't we? Yeah. Go with either a silver grey or a beige in everyday life. Yeah. But Susie's saying this one is brilliant, so use black. This is back in stock. It's Aurifil Necessities, and you get four uh, reels of thread. 1,300 on each one. It's a, uh, you get four large spools, a 50 weight. It's numbers 2,000, 2,021, 2,600, and 2,692. 100% cotton, 50 weight. Now, um, did, are you, what have you got? Yeah, I've got Aurifil, Aurifil. on here. Why I, would you oh use no, Aurifil? Oh, no, I haven't got Aurifil on you here. You might not actually. have Aurifil on there. No, um, why do I use Aurifil? Yeah. Bec I love Aurifil threads. They're, they're a really nice cotton thread to work with. I use it for my EPP as well. They're fine. It goes through my machine really well. They don't um, knot as they run through yeah. when I'm hand sewing or when I'm machine sewing. So, yeah, they're just a really good way. It and that size spool will last for ages. Oh, yes. And also, two things need to point out. First of all, uh, it's Egyptian cotton taken to Italy and made in Italy. And they only use the best long strands. But yeah. a lot of people say... Oh, John, £35.99 pence for four spools of thread. Are you joking? But that makes, that makes, uh, there's 1,300, 1,300 metres on each spool. So that's one, two, three, four thousand, five thousand two hundred metres of thread in total in this box. You divide 35.99 by 5,200 metres. Hannah's just doing it on a computer. We could be a while. <laughs> She's got to get the hamster running first. <laughs> right, times that by 100. Yeah, times by 100. Okay, so it makes it, uh, for 100 metres, it makes it 69p for 100 metres of thread. Right, now if you think of any of the other threads, the polyesters, I'm not going to name names, you get 100 metres for £1.90. Yeah. So actually... And you can't... They're not the best things to use with when you're using cotton. No, when, anyway. when I trained, you use cotton thread for cotton and you use polyester. Absolutely. You know what I mean. But yeah. anyway, so don't be thinking, oh, Aurifil's beautiful, but it's too expensive. It actually works out more affordable than your everyday threads that you would buy that may not be cotton. That may not be cotton. And you always, well, Stuart's just messaged in saying he always pieces with greys and then he uses a silky variegated for his quilting. So, so you yeah. see, if you remember Jane Alcott always used to use um, grey or silver for her piecing and her EPP. Jenny Jackson yeah. uses these two colours for all her EPP and everything. So you've got your black and your white, which use solid colours yeah. that you use all the time. And then those two for, for your piecing. Yeah, anyway. I mean, I, I tend to use either the grey or the neutral for my EPP because yeah. I find that that invariably disappears from sight yes. better um, so it actually works out at a fantastic buy this necessities box because you've got your black and your white which are the ones you use all the time plus yeah. your two colors for piecing yeah and you know that you're getting a thread that is going to be a universal thread for all the projects that you pick up yeah. that's perfect so all I've done the boring bits off air um, is I have pressed those seams open. Oh, you press them open now. I you have pressed all of them open. I have pressed right. all my seams open throughout the quilt. Um, I had a big think. It doesn't tell you how to press the seams right. on here. It just says press after every seam. Okay. That's all it says. And I thought, well, do I press one way? Do I press the other? And then I thought, well, actually, you'll keep adding all the way round. So you're going to get a lot of seams matching up. And I'm going to spend a lot of time repressing. Because if they're not nesting, go in different directions. Yeah, so yeah. why don't I just cut out the middleman and press everything open? Okay. So that's what I did. Yeah. Uh, but it's personal choice. It doesn't tell you one way or another. So th I've then laid on the top and bottom pieces. Pin I've pinned them just to hold them because, of course, you as you work, you're getting a bigger piece to work with. And towards the end, I have to say, these blocks are massive. Yeah. This is the biggest yeah. block I've ever used, which is great because that's why it makes such a superb size quilt. Yes, yeah, um, it say what in the record final time. Size yes, is. it's about 60 63 by 69 yeah, and in inches. centimeters at 160 yeah. by 175. Each of the blocks are 21 by 20. Oh, isn't that funny they're not square? No, they're rectangles. They're rectangles and it's just 21 yeah. by 23 or 54 by 59. 
Yeah, so it's a, it's a really lovely lap size quilt, but it's also a good showcase quilt for a, the end of a bed. Oh yeah, and Whatever showcase so. meaning don't pull it up over you in bed. Yeah, just it's not, it. yeah, it's there just for show. It's yeah. not for practicalities. Yeah, but you see, Jane Alcott made me one for my birthday and I was always saying it's just for show. It's just for show. Now, you use I, it all oh, the time. I, it's, oh, and she made me a cushion to go with it. Oh, the cushion lovely. It's all cuddled at night time. The cushion is my friend at night time, but the quilt has been amazing on these chilly nights because I don't like a heated bedroom or anything, but just having a, yeah. a proper quilt that is yeah. a log cabin quilt is just yeah, amazing. Yeah, you, sometimes you need just that extra yes, thing, yeah. don't you? I like how I um, have one in my workroom so that... W I have it over my lap when I'm oh, sewing, dear. if I get chilly. Yeah, I'm a chilly mortal, so. Oh, are you? Yeah. And yeah. I bet your ironing board's not the other side of the room, is it? So you don't get up very um, much. I do get up a lot because oh. I have my sewing machine. My desk is this way round, so my sewing machine is here, and my cutting mat is that end, yeah. and my ironing section is this Ooh, bit here. Right, so right. I do get up and round. Yeah, I like um, I'm, yeah, and I'm a up and down person and I you don't still keep and you still get cold oh, I'm always cold it, unless the air temperature is above uh, 28 I am frozen oh my yeah. word you need to live abroad I keep telling people yeah no people. one's listening no, no one's listening no, they are they won't. Mr Duncan <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. so if you're at home sewing yes what's hubby Simon's hobby uh, oh he's a fisherman golfer um, he loves watching programmes about restoring classic cars oh, as well. Oh, great. And of course, at the moment, the cricket. I've never had him down as a boring person. I know. So it's quite <laughs> good, though, because if he goes out fishing or golfing, you don't mind, because that means, means you just to get on with your sewing. Then. Oh, well, I tend to go and leave him wherever he's fishing, and I then carry on walking with the dog. Right. Oh, OK. We, I set my timer for an hour and do an hour out and an hour back. <laughs> So he's only allowed to fish for an hour? Oh, no, he gets oh, two no, hours. He oh, gets two hours. Two hours. Say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but to be fair, that's long enough, isn't it? Especially well. to catch the doormats he catches. I mean, he doesn't catch fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that or, you know, I just do my own thing. Yeah. yeah. Do Carry on sewing. Invariably, there's some sewing work to be done, so mm -hmm. I shall be sewing as well. So again, press those open. So yeah. we're already, look, I mean, it's already looking stunning. Yes. So the next round is the millefury. Okay. So you go back to the sides and you know where you're going because you've cut them all the yeah, right side. So that will be like this. You and need then a bigger one of those cut and presses. It's a shame we can't get them in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I can explain that to you. Lots of people have been asking about the cut and presses. We have got them on order. The supply, they're stuck in transit somewhere because of everything that's going on. So they are on their way. So that any, we don't know what day they might arrive, but they are definitely, no those and knows. Best Press are both on their way. Yeah. It's nothing to do with us, nothing to do with our supplier, but the, our suppliers br brought the bringing them in. Uh, and I suppose it's the same with all the June Taylor stuff. It's stuck somewhere in a, in a container somewhere yeah. on the sea, high seas. I think, seas. sadly, it's not just June Taylor, is it? Everybody seems to be oh, no, affected no, at they're, the they're, I'm just thinking yeah. about the two things. Yeah, but no, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I love watching and listening to Susie. She always does a great demo, explains Aww. everything so well, great tips as well. Lovely quilt from Laurie. Oh, Aww. that's lovely. Thank you very much. It's very Laurie's kind. quite fussy as well. Oh, she, she? She, she'd tell you if you weren't doing a good job. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I just, believe me, I get a good critique when I get home. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Invariably, it comes by text on the way home. No. <laughs> oh, well, we'll have him on, shall we, to do a talk on oh, no, fly fishing. Oh, no, don't. Can you bored. imagine? <laughs> So oh. who's made the cake this time? You or him? I made it. I okay, made so it. he made it last time. For yeah, us. yeah. No, he was out yesterday, so I made oh, it. Okay, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he made you the one that I bought in the other day. Yes, yes. Yeah. Which it was more than the other day because it was um, the roofers were there. I shared it with the roofers when I got oh, home. Oh yeah, is that all done? Yeah, the roof's all done. Now the windows got to be done. Awesome. Well, it's stupid. The house is only 22 years old. I've always lived in Victorian or Edwardian houses. We yeah. up here by a modern house. Yeah. More hassle than, you know, yes, yeah. okay, the old houses had rickety sash windows, but beautiful. Yeah. Whereas these, that, that all the window frames, all the hinges are breaking. It's and it's crazy, not just me, all, it's happened to all the neighbours as well. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not overly heavy handed with my bedroom window. <laughs> 
It's the slamming of the front door, that's what does it, John. The what? The slamming of the front door as you leave. Oh no, I, no, the front door doesn't work. <laughs> if it rains, my hall, my hall floods. Oh no! Yeah. There was that when I bought the house, it only had one front door key with it, which we didn't, I didn't find for months and months and months later. But um, no, because we live in the countryside, everyone comes in, everyone uses the back doors, don't yeah. use the front doors. Yeah. To be fair, I use the back door more than I use the front yeah. door, but that's because we don't want muddy footprints from the dog. Oh, of course, yeah. Through. Oh, no, when, um, when I had Ripley to stay, I, the, I don't have like a, you, once you're in through the door, you're in the house sort of thing. Fiona, yeah. the turquoise headed pins aren't available at the moment. They've, no, no they just sold out be, midweek. <laughs> yeah, they sold out midweek. <laughs> that was when I came in on Thursday, yeah. Oh, okay. I think they're going to ban me from using things. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. Someone says, I want to work at Sewing Street. There's cake every day. Oh, nothing to do with the sewing. No. Derek says, I want to work at Sewing Street. There's cake every day. No, there's only cake every day this week because it's birthday week. We, Susie always brings a cake. But, um, and uh, some, Alice and Marion, Marion Alison always brings cake. <laughs> but Hannah doesn't. <laughs> Hannah eats the cake. She says she eats more cake than anyone else in this company. She does that. But that's probably because she's here more than anyone else. No, it's because, like now, you and I are stuck behind these desks. We yeah, can't that's go anywhere. True. Hannah can go, oh, just got to go and see, I've got to go and find a quilt, or I've just got to go and find a rotary cutter. And then she comes yeah. back into the gallery and she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it, it's mentally exhausting. She's feeding her brain. That's what she's it feeding is. her brain. Yeah. Hannah, that's what it is. You're feeding your brain. I'm on your side, Hannah. <laughs> she says, uh, she doesn't know if it's her brain or a tummy, she's thinking, because it's only her tummy <laughs> that's fine. growing at the moment. It's fine. This quilt would look lovely. Oh, it, would look, it looks gorgeous, Georgina. In the, uh, she's saying it would look lovely in Liberty and Tula Pink. Oh, it certainly would. Yeah, I mean, once you've got this pattern, any fabric you've got at home would look amazing The in thing it. is, even if you made it, because you've got the pattern, in yeah. like solid, just yes. so, for a teenage bedroom, because oh. you can make it bigger, you could add, you could do another quilt each way and that would make it big enough for a double bed, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, absolutely. Even for a teenage bedroom, you do it black, white and red or whatever yep. their colour scheme is and yep. it'd be lovely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you've got, if they've got a favourite football team, you could do it in the colours of the strip. Yeah, oh, yes, it yeah, could yeah, be amazing, and you could um, personalise it as well. You could put um, fabric initials oh, yes. in the blocks. Yeah. You could make it out of old shirts or t-shirts. Well, I say that when we first opened Sewing Quarter, we were all asked to make a block for a quilt. Right. And I thought I did like a kind of um, kaleidoscope log cabin. Yeah. And I thought, well, oh, just use a little strip. Oh, it's in the prep room actually when you go oh, in the prep it? room oh, right? yeah. and I just thought oh I'll just use a strip of my shirts from back here so nobody yeah. will ever notice right? right I ended up going through nine shirts right? oh, my goodness. and then we worked out how much I'd spent on my block because you don't just use a little strip from down there you no. end up using more of course you do um, so yeah the old shirts it's a good idea but you'd need an awful lot of old shirts to make it yeah you unless you, what you did was you made the center block yeah from an old shirt, shirt. and then did the yeah. squares round it in yeah. solids or something yeah, yeah. But you could do it as a, mem you know, a, a good, memory, yeah. yeah, or someone going off to uni. Yeah. Bits of home. Mm -hmm. I don't mean bits that you're going to miss. Yeah, but, you don't know. Want to get them nick everything as they left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, to be fair, they normally do, don't yes, they? Yes, exactly. It's like, um, oh, you won't need that, will you, Mum? I found the maroon brown orophil in the quilters collection I bought from Sewing Quarter. Do you sell these as they are perfect? Uh, we have, we, now in our quilters box, I think there's a maroon in our quilters box. We'll have a look for you now. Um, oh, Carol wants to work at Sewing Street as well, as <laughs> I know I would learn a lot and it would be nice for a complete beginner to progress to see how they're getting along. Oh, Carol, you're suggesting yourself to come on as a beginner and then get better. Margaret says, is Hannah quality control taster for the cakes? Nice Absolutely. job. Absolutely, of course she is. Yeah, she just eats them, full stop. She even, says. even, and chocolates, right? And when we get one of them at Christmas, we all got a big jar of, I don't know what they're called, like when you get little wrap sweets and everything, and they're the ones with bounties in, and, and she went, oh, I hate bounties, right? So she had everything else that was in the tin, right? And there were bounties left, and then I came in one day, I went, where are all the bounties? I don't eat bounties, got coconut in it. Where are the And Hannah's eaten them. She said, well, I didn't like them, but that's all there is left, so. Oh, she's going to throw, she's throwing the sausage at me now. Thank you. I didn't know you didn't like coconut. No, I don't like coconut. Oh, don't so next time I come in... No nuts. If... Don't eat nuts either. No okay, nuts so coconut. no nuts. 
but next time I come in and, and I'm not on the show with you, I yeah. can bring in the mango and coconut cake. Yeah, then. you can do that another day, yeah. Okay. Okay, Hannah's going to cover herself in mango and coconut so I don't go anywhere near her <laughs> when the hugging starts. Right, who was that that just meant Julie, my love? In here, do you mean <laughs> this one or this one? These two, I don't know if you can see these through the cellophane on them. These two oh, yeah, are, in, are in this box that we have here, the Quilters Collection box here. Left, 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 that way. 33.99 that is you get 10 you get 10 different colors in there but that was just what i was thinking of i think that's the set i had it's a good set oh crikey yes right how are we on the iron is the iron all gone oh there's it? four of those irons is left it? at today's special price well then you need to get them yeah exactly they are just phenomenal do you know what i've done with mine though i've marked the bottom of mine so how i need to that? clean it i don't know and I've also had a bit of an incident with my cut and press. Oh, well, I know a man that can get you another one. Oh, Do no, you? I can't. They're stuck. <laughs> yeah. They're stuck in transit. It's funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the iron's now sold out. Oh, the iron is now sold out. The quilt kit is sold out. What else is Susie using? A rotary cutter. Yeah. We've got an Olfa coat rotary cutter. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I'll tell you what's so good about this. Yeah. So we all do it, don't we? We all hold our hands far too close to the ruler. Let's grab a ruler when we're cutting these. And you end up right. nearly having that mm -hmm. incident, don't you? The good thing about this is that, and the other thing I'm really bad about is putting my putting blade, blade away. away. And I, I think, well, it's okay because it's my cutting table. I'm the only one here. Doesn't matter. And then you go and pick up your rotary cutter. Yeah. Good thing about this is it's got that lock on it. Uh -huh. So that if it's not, enga if that's engaged, you cannot release the blade. So it's only when you've pushed the button in that the blade will release but it also means that the minute you put this down the blade, the blade is covered goes away, which is good for somebody like you who doesn't forget to keep putting yes, it yes yeah. yeah but it also means that it's a much better for your blade as well because it keeps the blade dust free yeah and you don't get that accumulation because that's the other thing with mine that's why i have to clean it because it gets lots of dust yeah. on it as well the only thing with this sort is they're harder to use with the things like the stripology Oh, are they? Because getting into that nook, oh, okay. because you've got this bit yeah. here, so you you just have to learn to hold it properly, at an angle. Up, yeah. <laughs> upright. Um, but it still works. Also good but for left-handed or right-handed because you can Absolutely. swap the blade onto yeah. either side. Doesn't matter. And it's only nineteen ninety-nine. And the, they're really easy to change the blade. It's yeah. not over. You don't need to go into the tool kit. And what's that ruler? Is that well, you've got that so ruler at home? Creative ruler. This yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. This is creative fab. ruler. The creative ruler. <laughs> yeah. Um, creative grid it is really good and obviously creative grid you've got the non-slip coating yeah. on the reverse you've got black lines which sounds like a really trivial thing but against most fabric you can see a black line right I, i've got a ruler at home that's got yellow lines on it oh, and okay. another one that's got pink yeah can't see a thing no 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 black and white because you can only see dark fabrics and absolutely light fabrics. Yeah. yeah no it's really good and you've got all your quarter inch markings on there exactly. so yeah That's it does the job eight and a half by 24 and a half yeah and it looks a big one to handle yeah. but it's surprising how often you need this well size. also if you With fold the, the fabric, fabric in half yeah. then you can go straight across yeah the fabric, so for a project you? like this where all the fabrics are with the fabric you can get those strips oh, yes, cut of course, yes. super quick. Exactly. Super quick. Uh, yeah, right, Georgina, really no good. such thing as a silly question. When you use Aurofil, do you put it in your bobbin as well? Yes, yes. you do. Yeah. You do. If you're doing dressmaking or anything, you just you do it the same. It's the same yeah. same as that, put it in your bobbin as well. Uh, I'd love to work at Sewing Street. I could, be Han I could be Hannah's PA and her partner in crime, says Sue. Julie said I'd be bankrupt if I worked at Sewing Street. Now, oh no, Julie, Julie, there no, we have we don't sell those here. Do have we? Oh, I don't know, do we? You know the ones. Sorry, well you can see it on the screen as well as I can. Okay. Um, the twelve, the boxes of twelve that we used to do at Sewing Quarter with the big. Every so often we get one, but we haven't got any in at the moment. Every so often we get one. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> right. Oh, and also, can we? Somebody's asked what that. Why we've got that one block hanging up at the back there? Oh, that's one, my sample one that I made just to show everybody. Okay, and, and what's then, it hanging on? So it's hanging on the cave design wall. Right. This is 
brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I'm working on getting one for myself. Have you not got one? No, I haven't got one. Do you know what I've got? Right, this is how I hang my quilts at home oh. on trouser right. hangers. So Simon's trousers are on the floor. Yes. Yeah. Um, on blue tack on the top of my things. Oh, okay. Because I'm not allowed to put this on the wall. <laughs> Why not? Because it's also in room. Yeah, but it's because it's newly decorated and it's all Oh, you think he put a, he could put a batten up for you it, to attach it? Precisely. Yeah. Basically, but what it is it's a two meters of, of yeah. uh, flannel. Yeah. That when you're doing cutting block, it's not you don't have to put a finish block up on it. No. When you when you're no. spreading your um, pieces out to work out where your triangles going, where your squares going, or if you're halfway through one of these, you can just and there's no glue or anything like that. It just no. literally because it's flannel, the fabric it sits clings. on it. Yeah. Um, Roberta, she's not allowed to put hers up on the wall either, so she hangs hers over the back of her kitchen dresser. Yeah. So when she's doing blocks, she puts them up and then folds it yes. away and puts it away yeah. again. I mean, I've. I've got one that you know, I can spread out on the floor. I mean, it's, they are just so useful, particularly if you're not quite sure about how you want fabrics orientating. Yeah. Also, putting on the floor, surely the perspective is slightly different if you're looking down on yeah, something rather than looking is. straight at something. You get a completely something. different look on things. But oh, when are you going fishing really next? When, uh, when are you going fishing next? I'll pop round and we'll put... Oh, I'm oh. allowed to pop round. When the thing's all over, right, I'll pop Right, you'll round, pop we'll round and we'll put it up. Then okay, you can cool. say, oh, John did it. I did yeah, it and it. then he won't tell you off, you see, When you don't know that. No, he won't. No, no, he won't. You, you know he won't. <laughs> he tells me off, but he won't tell you off. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you, this is great, definitely. Even as a block keeper to keep yeah, the yeah, things yeah, yeah, out yeah. the way. Oh no, we've we've seen people when we're doing Dresden plates and everything. People yeah. just laying their Absolutely. different things out and just sticking it and then moving. Yeah. You can move them around. Well, when I did the Mariner's Compass in the week, uh -huh. if as you build those up. It'd be great to store them on there and then you can position oh yeah yeah definitely um with the different fabrics yeah no it'd be what's the matter really hannah high. oh okay karen's worried that the quilt behind is not finished oh it covers a tiny bit of it over that's why it looks a little bit there you go that's the thing there it is there it is without the design wall next to it yeah it's because we hang it over the top exactly um, oh, um, right. Uh, no, no, no. I would be arrested for stealing if I worked at Sewing Street. Suzanne, you can't say things like that. As I wouldn't be able to resist all those gorgeous fabrics. The thing is, Suzanne, they not they don't live here. They come in the night before. Yeah. We put them out on the tables. And then at the end of the show, we have to pack everything away and send it back to the warehouse. And the next day stuff arrives. So there's nothing. The only, the, the only thing you get from Nick from here is like old rotary cutters that haven't got blades in them or some of Hannah's old disused sweets and things like that. There's nothing actually in here to Couple boxes. There's a lot of cardboard. There's a lot of cardboard boxes. A lot of cardboard boxes. A lot of shelves. So if you're moving house, it's perfect. Yes. But no, nothing stays in here overnight. It's like when you see those vans, you know, the white van man going, no tools are kept in here overnight. Yeah. No fabrics are kept in here overnight. And we have to account for everything. When a designer has finished their project, if they've got any fabrics left over, it goes in a box in the green room. It all has to be accounted and go back. Because, you know, we make those scrap bags for you and things like that. Do what, Hannah? No, I don't know. She's still talking about sweets. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hannah's feeling a bit miserable, so she's going to get another cake. Okay, fair enough. Well, there are 12 of them to eat. So. There's 12. How many well, have gone, were, Hannah? There were 12. There were 12. So uh, you and Emma have had two each. Oh, Emma's... Emma's... Okay. Oh, they're not sharing. They're not allowed to share. Honestly. Told you, it's hungry work being in the gallery. No, they just don't time their things. Well, no, no, because she's had her breakfast and she's eaten her lunch. Has she? Well, she, she brings in breakfast and lunch. I saw Emma having her breakfast in the big room done earlier. Done better so than me. I haven't had any. No, I don't, I don't get time to. I've had, I've had sl apple slices so far this well, morning. Well, that's good. That's all right. Yeah. I try, I do healthy eating, but I still get fat and I don't know how. Never mind. <laughs> you need to run round in between. I know. Well, the, the only running round we get time to do is to, to, to clear these tables. Yeah. I have to clean the designer table and then we're back sitting down again. Yeah. Mind you, we do, before we never used to sit down, did we? This is a whole new thing for me, sitting down. 
when in, when COVID's all over, I'll be stand, I'll be over there with you, you know, because normally awesome. we stand next to each other. Yeah. It's really weird because we watched a YouTube of an old show when, that we did at Sewing Quarter earlier to look something up. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was really weird to see me standing next to the designer or the, yeah, or the demonstrator. Yeah, it's funny how quickly we've got used to standing apart. And also, when you watch a television programme and you're like, oh, why are they standing so close? Yes. You think, oh, it was filmed, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, they have to keep putting that announcement at the bottom of the screen, don't they, to say, say it was this was filmed Yeah, but they don't do that times. on Escape the Country. Don't they? And they mix them between ones that are filmed now and ones right. that are So one day they could be, Jules can't go upstairs and he can't stand near them in right. the kitchen. But the next day he's there holding their hands. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, Derek it says it would be really world. nice to have some relaxing tinkling of the ivories in the background as the guests are sewing. Why are you going to bring your piano in, Derek? Yeah, it's not something I can achieve, I'm afraid. Well, no, no, you'd be doing your demonstrating and Derek would be playing the piano. Derek does a sing-along every Monday night. And, awesome. he's, and he, he's at a piano in his house in the borders and he sings show tunes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's called, uh, oh, I'll never get this right. The Big Borders Sing Along. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> that's, that's something else I was watching. I was going to say that. Uh, morning, John. Looking rather dashing in your new shirt. Late up, missed the quilt. Oh, the quilt sold out, um, Trudy, within minutes. Yeah. Yeah, even I missed it. Yeah? Well, you've got your own there now. Well, I was on the road coming here. Yeah, late. No, I was told to come in late. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a word with it. Who booked you? Don't name, don't name. Whatever I department booked you. No, I did send, I did verify with by email as well, okay. but they just forgot to tell you here. Email me next time. Okay. Right, last one, and then we've done a block. Well, just as well, because we ran out of time. That's a whole hour gone. That's so, yeah, I mean, we, I, I reckon you'd easily do oh, all of your blocks within the hour once they've cut because you wouldn't be faffing about like we've been. Oh, oh, I see. This, this intellectual chatter banter has been faffing about. That's nice to know. She settled in quickly, hasn't she? All this faffing about. It's because I'm usually on my own, so I'm not used to having noise conversation, no. Uh, the Borders Big Sing is what it's called on Facebook every Monday at half past seven. See, that would quite fit with quilting though as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you have borders on quilts, so... Oh, yes. Just saying. Right, so all I've got to do now is press this last seam and we're done. How cool is that? Fantastic. So let's just set it and then I'll open it up and you can see. But yeah, that one will be finished. Okay, only 10 of the Aurifils left, just so you know, the necessities box. I wonder what we're going to do, what we're going to Oh, I'm not in next week. Aren't you? Well, no, it's a bit weird, so I'm into that. Did you just cheer in the gallery? Did they? How rude. Emma did the biggest cheer you could ever imagine. That's so now so I'm not rude. in now till next Friday. Oh gosh, what are you going to do with your time Well, I do off? my own show on Thursday, John Scott's show right. on Thursday. I've got, I've got my page to write for Simply Sewing magazine. What's it on this time? Stretch fabric. I've got no jab to go oh, to. Not, no jab to look forward to this week. Did you get any side effects? No. That's good. I did, well, I did. the side effect I had was all my friends got side effects, you see. So yeah. I went to bed. I had it 8.47 in the morning. Yeah. All day long, kept thinking, oh, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I'm not going to get side effects. And I went to bed. Yeah. And I had to get up early in the mor next morning to drive to Western Supermare to do the John Scott show. Yeah. And all night I kept waking up and going, oh, the side effects started yet. The side effects started yet. <laughs> or what will I do? What will I do if the side effects kick in? What will I do? What will I do? Because obviously so guests funny. were coming in from all, all over the place. Anyway, no. But, so the only thing is I didn't have any sleep, but I don't think it was because of the jab. It no, was it's because you thought you should have had. About yeah. It, yeah. Um, and was it the AstraZeneca? It or was the Oxford, whichever yeah, one that one is. Yeah, Oxford's AstraZeneca, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. That's good. That's good. Awesome bit of kit. Just shows how the world can work together, doesn't it? Exactly. Shame that we work together to give us the virus to start with, but Don't. never mind. <laughs> Let's not get political. No, I'm not. There you go. You see, now, in a frame, that would look I gorgeous, I think it wouldn't would, it? wouldn't it? Really, look really nice, nice. Or even yeah. just stretch it over a canvas. Yeah. Hannah can do that, can't you, Hannah? Yeah. Yeah, but she can do so that. So, if you don't want to do it, and actually, with the fabric you've got left over, 
you could make yourself. Yeah, so you could make the some quilt canvases. and you could make yourself Absolutely. pictures as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's amazing, really lovely. But for over quilting, thread wise, it would look really lovely in one of these purples. Yeah. Because that would disappear. Well, as, well, or, appear. as Stuart said earlier, if you got a variegated that was part oh, in those colours, then yeah. it would just kind of flow as it well. Really it really would look lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So I think as a, as a quilt, if you've never quilted before, is a great one to do. Yeah. If you are an established quilter, it's equally as good fun because although it doesn't, it's not particularly challenging to put together, it gives you an opportunity to practice your free motion or to think about how you could quilt. I mean, you could even just freehand quilt round some of these flowers on the yeah. guinea flower. That would look amazing as well. Could and round the what flower? This, this piece of fabric is called guinea flower. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've read the book. <laughs> thank you. I've got, I've got a breakdown here. Uh, anyway, thank you ever so much. Thank when you. Are you. Back in. Next? I'm in on the 24th of March. What day of the week is that? Oh, who knows? Who knows? 24th of March? Who Are we knows? in on 24th of March? I've lost. Don't you lose days of the week? I oh, have totally. no idea. Totally at the moment. No idea. Yeah. Oh, we're, I'm in. Are you? Yeah. Awesome. You, me, Hannah, Emma. Are we all in? We're oh, all brilliant. in. Same team. Excellent. So no coconut and mango that No, day. okay. And you're doing a teapot quilt, is that right? Uh, oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew about one of them. Oh, you're in for two hours? Because you're only doing yep. this one hour. Today. Yeah, I'm only here for one hour. I know. Oh, well, thank you ever so much. Thank for you very and do much. That. Thank um, you. You'll see Susie on the 24th. Um, don't go anywhere because I've got nothing to. I've got nothing to round up, have I? Really? Um, so Adele, Adele will be here in three minutes to make the Tuscan top. No, Sicily top. Sicilian top and the other one is called Harmon but we're not doing that one I'll see you in three minutes from now in need of a crafting fix there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670 Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shopped with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. 
Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. I wasn't quite ready, I'm not quite ready. And then I heard Emma go, four, three, two. Hang on, I just need to... I just have to have a slurp my water. Right, so we're doing some also... Now, these are a little bit different. Sorry about that. These are a little bit different. These patterns come like this, but they're from a different range, I think. They're still... They're called quick makes. They're called quick makes uh, from um, Laura, the Lato different from Laura, but, uh, but they, they, it comes... Ba basically, put the graphics in. This is the Sicilian top. Half the stock has gone away, but look at the price. $8.99. It's so size 8 to 26. So it's almost like those, um, you know, when you go to the supermarket, there's not as much packaging on Easter eggs and things like that. It's a bit like that, isn't it? So you still get the quality Easter egg, but you don't get all the, f the fancy silver paper or the cardboard box or anything like that. So this is how you, this is what yours will look like when it arrives in a plastic kind of envelope like that. This is the Sicilian top, which is the one Adela's made. That's one behind me that you've seen on the stand, and the one that we're going to demonstrate. But I've also got it. We've also got another pattern along the same range that we're not going to demonstrate, but we will talk about in a second. So look, this is your pattern, and these are your instructions. All in there. That's all you get. That's what you get. Please be careful when you open the packet. So you don't um, ruin them. Now, obviously, on the pattern we had earlier, the different sizes were in different colours. But on here, they're different, like, dotted lines, like Morse code and everything. And the sizes on this one, this is your 8 to 10. This is your 12 to 14. That's your 16 to 18. That's your 20 to 22. That's your 24 to 26. The neckline, oh, yeah, the neckline is slightly different. The facing is slightly different for all the different necklines there. And literally, you cut it down the fold. Cut it down the fold on the centre there. That normally says cut on fold, doesn't it? No, you put. Oh, is there a seam there down the front? Yeah, there is a seam. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's a seam down the front. Seam down the front. But you could cut it on the fold. You can. 
You can, couldn't you? Yes. If you, right, okay, depending on the fabric, depending on the fabric you're using, you could cut it on the fold if you didn't want a centre front seam. Oh, but then you take. You no, have hang to on. just take you out the seam allowance. But the seam allowance is that little notch bit. Is that notch bit. there? Okay, let me just show you that. So if you do want to do it on the fold, don't cut it down this line here. Cut it down that line there. Just one. Is it one centimetre seam? Uh, one and a half. One and a half centimetres just in like that. Oh, yeah, one, one and a half. Great big thing there. <laughs> so and then you don't have to cut two. But I suppose it just depends on what the fabric is and everything like that. So that's your pattern. And I'm going to fold that now so I don't make too much noise while Adele's sewing. Now, the other pattern that we've got available today is this one. Now, we haven't made this one and we haven't seen it. This is this one here. Now, um, on the website, you'll see... Can we go to the website? Because on the front of that pattern, there'll be a picture of that, won't there? Right, there you go. There you go. So that is that one. We're not demonstrating that one today. But that's that top there. That is the Harmon T pattern. It's easy uh, level. Uh, I think Laura thinks it'll take you two and a half hours to make. Fabric for linen, silk, viscose, crepe, cotton, and cotton blends and chambray. And that it's very simple look. Very, very simple shape, that one. So that one's $8.99 as well. So now see, see, do you see the pattern? See the picture we just showed you? That's the pattern that I saw on the day, but that will have been full price pattern, whereas this one is only $8.99. The one we're doing is like the quick make super fix one of, uh, the, the, so it's £8.99. I know, oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Right, now I've got some fabrics here for you. Um, now, the fabrics I'm doing now are for the Sicilian, and I'll tell you if I think, oh, some of them would be, some of them would be suitable for the, um, the Harmon as well. But now, I need to explain. We've done bundles of fabric here, and on the pattern, it says, let's see if I can just find it here. It says that you need one and a half meters of fabric, right, for any size, right? Uh, but, but our bundles are for two and a half, but you only need two and a half meters if it's a, a diagonal stripe and you're cutting it with, is we got a pic, is there one in the picture in the gutters? I've seen a picture of one with a diagonal stripe on it. No, not that, not that picture, the other picture, the, um. Yeah, the Sicilian oh, we'll just have tea. A look. It's the Sicilian um, tea packet has it on. Oh, okay, okay. So if you have a look, when we, Hannah will just bring the picture up for us now. If you're going to make, we haven't got any striped fabric. We haven't got any striped fabric. So there look, there you go. If you want to make it in like that chevron style, you need two and a half meters, right? But in all of these, you only need one and a half meters. So you're going to have some fabric left over from your bundle. But I also do have some of the fabrics available by the half meter. So you could buy the amount that you need for your size, basically. So I'll go through the bundles first of all. This is the one that um, we've made, Adele's made it out of. Graphics coming in. So that'll make you that one. £34.99. Two and a half metres. Two and a half metres in that bundle. So you will have some left over. It's nice, isn't it? £34.99. pence. Then I've got... Now, I've also got that one by the half metre. So if you want to make a smaller size, you could buy less fabric. So let me know what size you want. Well, it says one and a half, one and a half to, to two metres. One and a half to two metres. So I'd buy, I'd buy two metres to be on the safe side, right? Then I've got this one here also in a bundle now would you count that as a stripe you see i wouldn't do that in the chevron one because i think it'd be a bit too bold to do would you agree with me yes because it's like you've got some stripes but then blocking haven't yes you? yes so i wouldn't that, so that i wouldn't cut that in the chevron pattern at all it's a beautiful fabric. We did have it in a different colour as well, didn't we? Two colourways with this one, but this is the only one I've got today. £34.99. pence. The one that Adele is going to demonstrate in, which is rather cute. Oh, now this is different again. Oh, this is nice. Now this reminds me, I wonder if this is from the same range. Remember Mark last weekend made that dressing gown that was black with the paint splodges on it? it it is. It's oh, it from is. the same designer. Oh, there yeah. you go. There you go. It's from the same designer. That's lovely. 
oh, that's nice. Oh, now, do you think you'd need to wear a cami underneath it or it's going to be all right? So I've got my hands underneath and I wouldn't say you could see through it. Maybe you would have to wear a nude bra. Yeah, or so Hannah, you couldn't wear this for going out in. Hannah only wears a led, red lacy bra when she goes out. Has, <laughs> has Is that her going out bra? A going out bra or her interview, her interview <laughs> bra. What happens if it's in I'm, the wash? I do what? What happens if it's in the wash? She doesn't go out. <laughs> Wash, she said. Wash. What do you, you wash your bra? Um, I love this. I this. Well, you're going to see it being put together now. I think this is beautiful. It's a lovely. Fa is it viscose? Yes, it viscose. Yes, it is. And two and a half meters, you'll get a full dress out. Of it. it yes, you would. It mm -hmm. feels like a lovely, light, light lawn, doesn't yeah. it? That's what it feels like. Anyway, 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 I've got that by the half meter, so we'll get the full description in a second. So that's the other in the bundle. So let me just show you that one very quickly by the half meter, because I think even if you're not making this top, this is a, I think this is lovely. This is by the half meter. I think what it is, is the ba background color. Mm. It's kind of neither pink nor apricotty nor, it's called Prosecco Fizz. Oh, Ooh. that's why I like it. <laughs> Blush Prosecco Fizz. I think with this colour, some people might be worried to wear it, but because it's... Um, oh, yes, separated. if it was plain, if yeah. it was plain, I'd be saying, oh, stay away from yeah, it, stay away from it. But because it's got those pops of colour on it, it's going to work. Oh, it's £7. £7 on the nut dot with not dot, don't dot, naught, naught, just £7. Oh, that's lovely. That's going to drape beautifully. So viscose means it's it's lawn weight. It's lawn weight. It means you're going to breathe. So in the summer, you, you're not going to be sweaty in that. That'll be nice and breathable, that one. That's good. Right, okay, let me do the other two fabrics that you've already seen. So we've got this one by the half metre. This one's going back to be, this one's a jersey. Remember, this is a stretch jersey, this one. There you go, it's got the stretch in there. So oh, this one's £7 as well. <laughs> Lavender, luster, floral. Oh, this, this is a viscose, it says. Now, it's definitely got stretch. It's definitely got some form of lycrin. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think this is a viscose, to be honest. I think it might be a cotton mix with elastane. But it's beautiful, and it's seven pounds a meter, half a metre. Okay, I'm going to move on from that one. Right, then we've got the stripe fabric that I showed you, stripe and block fabric we showed you earlier. Oh, in the half metre, this is nearly gone. It's very limited. Okay, this one, they called this one a pa paisley viscose. Okay, I would say that was a cotton mix, personally. But we will find out for you. We'll definitely find out for you. My, oh, it's Saturday. Well, I want to find out today for you, I'm afraid. Okay, then I've got these other fabrics here. Now, I love this one. This one is the same weight as the apricotty one. It's like a lovely, this one will be viscose, I imagine, with law. It's a lawn weight, this one. Yeah, Marlene, smoke blue. Marlene, what shows that off? Only fools and horses. Yeah, but then they didn't they go in the countryside as well. Didn't they do one where they opened a hotel in the countryside? Because they used to film that at Teddington Studios. I used to go and watch it being made. Um, that's gorgeous. That's lovely. This is 7 99 this one. Do you know what? I think somebody's forgotten to put the 99s on the others. Oh, uh, Ryan, who no longer works for us, did these. He obviously did them on his... I can blame... I can name and shame because he's gone. He was obviously in a rush to leave. Not the... I don't mean rush to leave the company. I just mean a rush to leave as in I'm leaving, so I'll just be... Oh. The thing is, he usually watches, doesn't he? All right, Ryan. I didn't really know him. He'd left by the time I came. Right, two other fabrics very quickly. So I've got this one here which feels like another viscose. Yeah, 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 you've made a pound on Ryan leaving. That's his goodbye present to you all. Uh, oh, we've gone back to seven pounds again on this one. And this one's the same fabric. <laughs> so this one should be, this one should be 7 99 but you just get this one for seven. Smoke blue. Wasn't the last one called smoke blue? Oh, do you know what? I might mix those because they're the same fabric. The same fabric weight and the same fabric composition. Yeah, yeah, so the same. Smoke blue, smoke blue. 
Marlene and Viscose Chalice. I'd, mi I'd mix those two personally. Right, and then for some reason I've got a denim. I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm not going to show this one. Only because it's a, good, it's a lovely fabric, but I think it might be a bit heavy for this top. So I'm, I'm going to, I'll show it to you, but don't buy it for this top. But it is a lovely, lovely fabric. So this one's at Tuxford. Oh, Tuxford. Indigo Chambre. That was Duxford, not Tuxford. So uh, um, it's, it's, like a, it's like a denim print, isn't it? I'd say it was a little bit too heavy for this top that we're doing now. But I love it. I love it as for skirts and other projects like that. Right, that's enough of the fabrics. That's enough of all that. Let's go and see what you're going to make. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I was went, I went miles I away I thought you'd my name. No, 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 no. I know you're Adele with two L's, but it's just, um, I was just, my brain just, you know, sometimes you just go. Brain fog, yes. Where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> Right. Okay, so we're going to do the Sicilian top, and it is so easy. <laughs> oh, okay. So easy. So um, it's four pieces plus a uh, neck facing and a cuff. Right. So we're going to, I think we're going to get it done in the time. Hopefully. Well, you've got loads of time. So let me double check. I've got it. So now this one's not stretch, is it? We have no. to point out this one here is definitely a stretch yes. fabric. So, so that it works just as well in the stretch as it does yeah. in the drapeable fabric. And I suppose it depends on how much ease or movement you want in mm. it. Um, obviously, it's not directly 10, 12, 13, oh, no, 10, 12, 14. It is 8 and 10, 12 yes, and 14. Exactly. So, there's so a it's going to have a lot of ease size. in it, isn't it? Yes, awful, yeah. absolutely. So you cut four pieces identical. Okay, so this is basically the front and the back. So you could wear it either way. It depends on how you'd want the cuffs, whether it comes forward or goes backwards. And the shape at the, is the shape at the back different, the neckline? No, exactly the same. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah. think it's just the way it's No, it's just the way she's been, because we undressed the dummy and then dressed my fault. So it's got the V at both the back yes. and the front. And I love a V back. Oh, has that one got I, a V back? No, no, it? this hasn't. Oh, no, 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 no. But I really like a V-neck. Very back. elegant, yes. yes yeah. And yeah, it's not too low, suit. you can still wear your bra yeah. underneath it, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. So I've already cut this one out, and because it is a bit finer fabric, I have already finished the seams. Right. Because I don't know if you can see on this edge here, it's already started to fray a little. Yeah. So you just do have to be a little gentle with this. And I, all I've done this morning, I've just done my zigzag stitch all the way across. Um, you could do it afterwards, but you've got to be really mindful then that it might fray as it goes through the of machine. Of course, yeah. So we're going to do our front and back seams in the middle. So I get my two pieces and we line up this front seam here. And Can I just yeah. ask if you, because um, somebody's just, like, Margaret said, what's the width of the floral viscose? Do you mean this one? Do you mean this one, um, Margaret? No, I've got, I've got my tape machine. I think it's 44 inches, but I'll just double check. Have you cut them out with the seaming because there's not enough room for it to go across? No, 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 you could. You, you see, because I'm just in. thinking there's no reason. Oh, hang on, it's wider than 44. It's 50, 50 inches, uh, 50, Margaret, 50 inches. No, that can't be right. Fabrics don't come in 50 inches, do they? <laughs> hang on, let me just double check. So I folded it in half. Yeah, it's 50, 50 inches wide. Um... You see, because I, I don't, because if you, if you don't, if you're not happy, no, if you find something with viscose or jersey a little bit frightening, yep. then getting rid of two seams yes. would be a quite a good thing to do. And makes it? it very quick. So it makes it very quick. So you yeah. put your centre fold seam, taking yes. off the seam that's there. Yep. And, just, and it also means you don't get a break in your pattern going across no, the front No, you don't. You don't, because that's what I was a little bit concerned when I was doing the big floral yes. um, about where the pattern would sit. Would go, yes, but, exactly. Yeah, I think you just have to be very mindful, obviously, at the V-neck that it doesn't stretch out. So I would maybe do some stay, stay stitching, stitching yeah. across there. But yes, you can absolutely... Or um, you can get that brilliant, um, now we don't sell it here at the moment, but we will get it like some like interfacing in. tape? Like a tape. Stay tape. Stay tape. Yes. You could just press onto it and then you wouldn't worry about the neckline going all yeah. off. Yeah. yeah, and then it's in your seam allowance as well, isn't it? So yes. you haven't got to worry. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this down. Um, with it being floatier fabric, just take your time through the machine. Sometimes when I used to begin with my machine, I'd put um, a walking foot on to use with viscose, yeah. just so that it's feeding on the top and the bottom at the same time. But 
um, I do quite a lot of viscose because I think this fabric would look lovely as a wrap dress. Oh yes, look in yes, my wrap so dress true. now. Yeah. But I just think because it flows and it will gather really nicely as well. It is beautiful fabric. Also, if you're having trouble with it when you're cutting out, if it's moving a lot, you just tap it on the table like that. It sort of gets rid of any of the air from underneath it, so it's easier to cut out because it will move. Yes. We'll warn you now, it will move while you're cutting it. Yeah. I put pattern weights on as well as pin it. Oh, okay. Um, just to make sure. And I am going to double reverse stitch at the seams because I don't want the threads to be no, breaking. Of so uh, are you thinking the green, green grass of home? That's exactly what I'm thinking about. What's that? It's, it's Marlene and what was her husband oh. called? Trigger. No, Trick. that was the other one, wasn't it? Anyway, Trick. whatever he was called, they opened a hotel. Not in real life, it's a TV series. They opened a hotel in the countryside and they took their very London son with them. Ah, right. I grew up watching Only Fools and Horses with my dad. Well, did you see? I hated Only Fools really? and Horses. Really? Yeah, I still don't like it today. Oh, yeah. Well, um, all the time. And um, obviously, being Adele, I get called Del. Oh. <laughs> that was my dad used to call me that. Del. Del girl. Del girl. <laughs> so there we've done the first Boise. one. Boise, yes. Thank you, Jackie. Um, so I've done the first one. Yeah. Now I would press this seam open. Right. Okay. Because if you put it to one side with it being on the front, it might then be a bit too yeah. bulky. So I'll press them both in a minute. Okay. Um, so I can do both the front and the back. So again, I've already finished my edges. Yeah. And I'm just going to match up my seams if you've got an overlocker yes you could put this together with an overlocker yep. couldn't you yep and you'll have this done ready to go out for yeah. cocktails Cocktail. even if it's to your garden yeah <laughs> on your own <laughs> oh i've seen people where they've um took their fence panels out if they get on really well with their neighbors oh i've had my next door neighbors <laughs> put their fence panels higher up what does that mean <laughs> Oh, I'm looking forward to the day that we oh, can just have just barbecues. sitting in the garden. I know, that's what I mean. You know. We have a big trampoline in the garden where the sun finishes. Yeah. So when the girls are older, I've already cornered that. I said, that's my wine corner. That's your wine corner, <laughs> yeah. Right. Just again, this front seam. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I thought I'd got that. But it's a really simple top. I don't know whether these patterns were out before the Queen Gambits. No, no, no. Well, I don't know. I'm presuming they've used the Queen's Gambit as the um, as the inspiration for them because they've called them the Gambit Collection. Yeah. They? Laura's normally watching, so um, maybe she'll message yeah. you on Facebook. I've been to Sicily. It's beautiful. Oh, have you? Yeah. Went. My friend, um, her family came from Sicily, so yeah. we went over to their family house. And it was this beautiful little village and um, the cart brought up the watermelon through the streets. Yeah. But by being a blonde, everyone was like, oh, because obviously they're all very dark, yeah. aren't they? Mediterranean. I um, was meant to go on my last holiday to Sicily because all my friends, you know, my London um, chat friends on Zoom, we, they all took a, a villa Ooh. in Sicily, a 10 bedroom villa in Sicily. Anyway, it was in that bit where is it is it okay to is it okay to fly is it not okay to fly? I chicken down and said I'll have Ripley the dog instead for two weeks. So they all went to Sicily. Think I thinking oh I'll better go on holiday soon anyway. So didn't go to Sicily, but they all had the most incredible time. They didn't get stuck out there though, did they? No, no, it was oh, literally right. they got back and then it was suddenly all the red roots or whatever oh. they were called came in. Yeah, because that's always my worry. I yeah. get stuck somewhere. Right, I'm just pressing these seams open. Yeah. Um, just be very gentle though if you're pressing viscose. Don't use a hot iron. No. You don't want to scorch it. Um, and also you don't want to stretch the seam either. No. It, it's a little bit more, you just have to be a little bit gentler with this than what we were doing this morning with the denim. Oh Margaret, sorry, she didn't mean that one. She meant the purple one. Do you mean this one, Margaret, which I don't think is viscose? Is it a viscose jersey, would you? Well, I think, it, I think it's a cotton jersey myself. It feels like a cotton jersey, but it could be viscose. Yeah, yeah, no, Margaret just wanted to know how wide it was, so I'm just measuring it for her. That's another wide one. Yeah, it's very wide, this one. Oh, 
Oh, blimey. Well, this is, this is super wide. This is 72 mm. inches wide, this one. Hang on. So in theory, this should be wider than me. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it's almost like you're blending in. <laughs> <laughs> it's got stuck on my belly then, apparently. Thank you, honey. Aww. And I've need to add a cake, yes. <laughs> Okay, we're going to now do the shoulder seams yeah. and there is a little notch that you only sew to because what you're then going to do is open that out and then the cuff will sit on it. Okay. Okay, so that's another thing just to be careful of. If you finish your seams before you, um, before you sew, obviously, you might lose the notch. Yes. So I think I've got one side of the notch and then it'll be okay. So whether you just put a little pin where the notch is before you do that. Mm -hmm. But again, pins are your friends when it comes to viscose fabric. Yeah. I used to be very worried about viscose fabric, but I find that my nicest dress, um, dresses are made in viscose because people don't expect that you can make handmade clothes out of this. So when you waltz in mm -hmm. with your floaty fabric, floaty dress, and people go, oh, that's a beautiful dress, where'd you get it from? And you say you've made it. They're, they're really shocked. Yeah. Oh, picking a, a, a machine pin out then. Oh. <laughs> right, let's put that there. So let me just, there's the notch. So we're only going to sew up until the notch on both of the shoulders. Okay. Whoop. Blimey, it's almost made. I know, it comes together so quickly. Yeah. I did make it, I think, what was it? One weekend. Just whipped up. And there we go. Okay, the fabric that Dale's working with, there's only five bundles left of the two and a half metres, but we do also have it by the half metre. We'll check that in a second for you. That's the bundle, 34.99. Yeah, these prints are lovely. Yeah. And I love the fabric that that um, sort of gentleman's coat was out of. I've got that in a play suit. Oh, have you? Yeah. Reminds uh, me of Stranger Things 11, like 18, 80s thing. Have you, have you seen Stranger Things? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's um, a Netflix program. It's a bit like horror. And no, hold right, no. Oh, uh, anyway, it's set in the 80s. Okay, and I, I lived through it. I don't need to watch <laughs> it again. <laughs> I was born in it. So all right, I'm like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but there's this little um, uh, scene where she's got this amazing shirt, 80s print, and that's what it reminds me of. Oh, uh, there's only two metres of it left by the half metre, just so you know. So the bundle's gone back in now. Right. I know, Margaret, we will sort it out, I promise. Okay, so just the shoulder seams, then we'll do uh, the underarm seams, and then it's the facing. Right. Um, and then the cuffs. Is there any interfacing needs done anywhere? Else? No. Oh, okay. um, there's, it doesn't say anywhere for interfacing, but if you are a little bit worried about that interfacing not sort of holding that neckline, just some lightweight interfacing. Yeah, really, really lightweight yes. iron-on interfacing. Yes, I wouldn't yeah. go for medium or oh, anything, no, because no. no, you don't want to spoil the drape well, of the neckline. Unless, of course, you go for true 80s feel, because all the 80s shirts mm. all had facings on them, but they all had oh, really up. heavy interfacing on them, so they all used to come sticking out like that, all the facings, and oh. all shirts, and they all come out. Well, for the um, Vic, uh, Vicky's baby shower photos, when I was searching through all my um, albums to find a baby photo of me, I can't believe the fashion. It was just amazing. Oh, don't, because I, one of mine has got 1950 <laughs> skirts on it. My mum and Auntie Joyce have got 1950 skirts on. <laughs> oh, and just seeing the house as well, like the carpet print and everything. It looked brilliant. And I can't believe all the 90s fashion's coming back, isn't it? Right, OK, who's that? Who sent the message in? Christine, Christine, my love. Um, it's not, basically, if you buy our fabric by the half metre, the but, but if you buy our fabric, it's priced by the half metre. So it's seven pounds for half a metre. So there you go, there's the fabric. So that's this one, that's this one. That's seven pounds for the half metre. So if you buy one metre, it's 14 pounds. So two metres would be 28 pounds and two and a half metres would be 34.99.
So it's not seven pounds a meter, it's seven pounds half meter, 14 pounds a meter. Hope that clears that up for you. Okay, so I'm pressing this seam open and then we're taking this press all the way down to the end, even okay. past the bit that we haven't sewn. Okay, because later on when we put the cuff on, we'll come up and attach that back. So, whoa. Just open this out here and just press that open. So is there like a little keyhole before the cuff goes yes, on then? Yes, yes. But so is there a button on the cuff? Yes, but it's not a real button. It's not a real button? No. What's that then? No, but I mean it's not a real button with a button hole. You can't open it. Oh, it okay. Together. Oh, so you don't need to put a button on if you don't want no. to. No. And um, my husband's probably watching. Last night I was doing loads of other things and I said to him, could you sew the button on? And he went, if I sewed the button on, it would take me an hour. You can sew it on, it will take you three minutes. And I was like, actually, fair point. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> and what did he do with that hour that he would have been spent? You could have got him to do something, you know, the homework or the... Oh, we got all the um, dinner ready. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he cut all the chips up and got everything out ready for me. So, very useful. And there is no homework <laughs> while remote learning's been on. Oh, is there? No, no. Is he a teacher as well? No, no, no. He deals with water treatment works, so it's, uh, chemical pumps for swimming pools and things. Oh, OK. We met working at McDonald's. You both were working at McDonald's? Yes, oh. when we were are teenagers. Other burger bars are available. Yes, when we were teenagers. Oh. So, right. OK, look, look how quickly this is coming together. Yeah. So we've now got the front and back, the shoulders. What we're going to do now is these seams down here and then the facing. And the cuff. There's still and quite the a lot to go, Hannah, so don't worry. <laughs> is she panicking? There's only seven patterns left out of this one. And what about the other pattern? We'll check the other pattern. Yeah, the Harmon tea looks nice, actually. OK, there are seven of the patterns not checked out, but 40 people have got it in their baskets. And then the Harmon... There are 49 not checked out yet. And what, sorry? And 21 in baskets. So you're all right with the Harmon. I'll talk about the Harmon in a second, actually. That would be nice with that spotty and the floral. Oh, yes, because you need the two contrast yes. fabrics, yeah? Yes, yes. So you could have the spotty with the stripe yeah. going down. That would look nice. I'd definitely say as well, if you've not, if you're just starting off, this is the, the, the one that Adele's doing is the better one to start with because there'll be more seams on this one because you've got to put panels of the other fabric yeah. in, insets of the other fabric. Yeah, so this one would be a better one to yeah. start. But having said that, there are only 7 and 40 whatever in baskets. It would look nice with a pair of shorts, yeah. I think. When the summer eventually arrives. Okay. Mind you, if you remember last year, the first two weeks of lockdown in <gasps> yes. March going to April, it was... A heat wave, wasn't it? Yeah, and I always kept thinking, is that because the planes have stopped flying? Oh, yeah, likely. Well, you never know. It's Matt not going to happen that quickly. The amount of planes up in those skies, the amount of carbon dioxide. Oh, Miss Science Teacher. <laughs> so you think that would no. have an effect? No. I think so. I don't Surely. think the aeroplanes stopped to begin with, though, did they? They carry Oh, no, March the 23rd. They yeah, because if you think about it, those planes going through those that right. air, they're going to shift the weather systems as well. Yeah, conspiracies by Adele. <laughs> That's another show we're doing. <laughs> well, my nephew still flies over my house on his flying lessons, so there, are, there will be aeroplanes yes. going over. I keep hearing the DHL, like the courier ones coming from East Midlands Airport over ours. So they have their own aeroplanes? It's a huge. Um, East Midlands Airport is one of the biggest depots for DHL. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh. And you hear them, it's always one around 10 o'clock. Is DHL the brown one? No, the um, red and yellow one. Oh, no, I didn't mean the aeroplane, I meant the vans that come around. What yeah, the, the red and yellow one. Okay, what's the brown van then? UPS. Oh, okay. <laughs> I only know because our UPS lady is a lot butcher than I am and she's got purple hair. <laughs> My um, Corrie has got quite used to on a Sunday dropping our gusto box off, our meal box. Oh, yes. And I'm sending my pyjamas. I bet they've seen so many people in lockdown in pyjamas. Of course, I'm sure they have. My, my um, postman hasn't seen me in pyjamas. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Right, let's move on to the underarm seams. Going round. The bundle we're working with is sold out. And which one, the pattern we're working with is sold out. The sample fabric 
in the bundle. So, what, uh, hang on, this one. Yeah, that one's sold out. That one by the half metre has sold out. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, right, Prosecco Fizz by the half metre has sold out. So the only fabric I've got left, uh, I've got the bundle of this. Sorry, Adele, while you just carry it's on okay. saying, I'll just go through this. So this bundle, two and a half metres of this, 34.99. I've still got some of those available. We still have a little bit of this by the half metre. Oh, we've only got a metre, so we haven't got enough to bake the top out of that one now, of that by the half metre. Seven pounds. Susan, hi to you both. Can I ask Adele if she made her own dress, please? Yes. 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 It is from... Untitled Thoughts, which is an American company. It's the Meredith dress. I, the thing is, right, I've sent our buying team a list of patterns I think we should buy. That's one of them. That is one of them, yeah. It's lovely. Oh, if you get that show, if we buy that, you, you have to make the sample. You just come in wearing it. I just it. want to, well, same way to have yeah. so. No, I bought it. Um, I think she, it was her birthday, so there was a redu uh, reduction. So I bought it and then it jumped up to the top of my pile. To oh. Say. Okay, Adele. Yes. Not you. Oh. No, a different Adele. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Said, I agree with you, Adele. The air was crisp and clean. I noticed it within days and I live in the countryside. So there you go. Maybe, science maybe action, you're right. Science in action. So if we stop aeroplanes completely, we'd live in a hot country. Well, I don't know whether we're living in a completely hot country, but there must be, because weather systems move, don't they? There's a flow of air. Oh, we would just get on the sewing. There's <laughs> <laughs> a flow of air, isn't there? That's how weather systems, planes moving through that air system must push it. Physics. Do you think that, well, if we had all the planes going to the Sahara Desert, do you think it'd go rainy in the desert? Well, it would depend on where we get our weather systems from. We oh, know I'm lost. We get them off I'm the lost. Atlantic. No, no, <laughs> this is all too much. Oh, Alice and Marion's putting her two penneth in now. <laughs> well, we have Gusto as well, Adele. Oh! Mike orders them, so I don't know what we'll be having until the box arrives. Brilliant as deciding about what meals to have. Hang on. Brilliant, but as deciding about what meals to have is the worst bit. Oh, yes. So, so Mike, her Mike, just chooses them for her and she just opens the box. Oh, because that's left up to me to choose what each week we're eating. Do they have vegetarian ones? Yes, they do. And we went a whole vegetarian week and the vegetarian meals were amazing. Oh, OK. They are really nice. Other ones are available, apart from Gusto, because they're simply fresh and... Uh, Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh, that's Yeah, it. we've had them as well. Which one's your favourite? Um, personal, this is just a personal <laughs> I just like the idea that it's all in one box. I haven't got to go and traipse to the shop. Plus, I don't waste anything because it's it all the right amounts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's good portion sizes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they don't do boxes for one, though, do they? No, but you can have one for one day and then the next no, year No, you see, because I can't do that. It's like if you make a bowl of pasta, they can all have that for my all? lunch and I eat it all in one go. Oh. And then sit there on the sofa going, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that, I shouldn't have eaten it. <laughs> a pasta belly. Yeah. Right. Gotta leave yourself room for pudding. Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so the facing, even though the pattern piece says front facing, it is the same piece for the front and back. Oh, okay. Okay, so don't be searching around for, for another piece facing, going, Oh, yeah. I actually did that when I turned up today. Okay. Um when I was prepping, I was like, didn't I cut out a back facing? Then I read, No, you didn't. So you, you cut it on the fold? Yes, so you cut this so, one on the fold, I know. So so this means you could cut yes. the front and the back on the fold yes. as well, doesn't it? Yes, yes. I suppose she's put the seam in for if you wanted to do the, the chevron, chevron one, because you will have to have the seams for the chevron one. Yes, you? you will. Um, and obviously cutting on the bias would take up more fabric. So we're just going to do the shoulder seams, again a centimetre and a half. And then I'll show you how we're going to attach the facing. Okay. And then it's the cuff. Uh, Melanie, I'll show you uh, uh, your message to Adele later because I don't think I can ask that one on there. It's not rude, it's not rude, it's not <laughs> rude, but it's just, um, I I'll ask her later for you. Right. There we go. And the other side as well. And I, again, I would press these seams open. Yeah. With it being viscose, we just want to get a really nice crisp finish. Ooh. Definitely. To it. And also, I have finished the bottom edge of this 
facing, but I haven't finished the top because the top is going to be encased within a seam. Of course, yeah. So there's no need to add extra bulk of um, your, your sort of finishing there. And let me just open this, press it open. Oh, I haven't even finished the ends because they're also going to be sitting down. Yeah. So it's just anything that would be moving around as you walk and things. I'd finish those seams. There we go. Margaret says it was great weather when the Icelandic volcano shut everything down. I remember clear blue skies with no contrails. Is that what comes out the back of an aeroplane? Yes, as okay. they move through the air. Oh, Sue used to freeze the other portion she'd cooked. I've used both HelloFresh and Gusto. I preferred this one, but my daughter preferred the other one. Oh, Ooh. okay. I can't do things like that because I'll just eat it. I can't wait for the. Also, I don't like food that comes out the freezer. I'm a bit funny like that. I make really? pots of I make huge vats of soup. Have some, put the rest in the freezer. When I get out of the freezer, I'm like, oh, I don't want to eat this. Oh, really? It's a bit weird. So I just eat all the soup in one in one go. <laughs> oh, we're into making bread again at the moment. Oh, are you? Just using a bread machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I had some focaccia left over, Ooh. and I cook that well cut it up as it was a little bit stale because yeah. it goes off really quickly doesn't yeah, yeah, it yeah. and then put it on top of a pasta bake oh and that was like garlic bread on your pasta bake. but that's pasta and bread all in one dish um, you extra know. energy stores yeah extra fat <laughs> extra fat store <laughs> there is fruit and veg in well veg in it <laughs> i only eat, eat fruit and veg that's the trouble i don't eat meat fish nuts really yeah. Oh, when we went veggie, I felt like I was eating a lot of tomatoes and cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whereas I, I like these meals because they make me sort of try things I would never yeah, cook. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm. Also, right. sometimes you see things on the on the sh supermarket shelves think, I'd like to try that, but I don't know what to do with it. Yes, yeah. and also getting all the spices and having oh, all yeah, the... Yeah. Oh, so it comes in a And also bag. if you buy a big tub of the spice or a big pot of the spice and then you realise you don't like it, you've only wasted one meal. With, yes. Not wasted, you've tried it, but think, yeah. well, I won't do that again. Whereas you've got a whole pot of the spice in your cupboard. Mm. Right, here we go. And then the facing, and then what we'll do is some understitching on that and then the cuff. I've already done one cuff, but okay. I'll show you how to do the other really? cuff. We've got time, so I Good, good. It'd be nice to see if we can get it all done. Oh, okay. And at the end of this hour, I shall be telling you yesterday's winner, whoever's won the Tilda Ooh. bundle, we'll do that at the end of this hour before we go for a break. There we go. So we now sew continuously around. We don't sew there to there, there to there. When we get to this point here, what I would say is keep your needle down and then turn your fabric very gently. Don't put your needle up and then try and find it because then you won't get a nice crispy. Okay. Yeah. Right, Alison Marion, Marion Alison, <laughs> has said, Adele, have you tried a fruit malt loaf in your bread machine? <gasps> Fabulous toasted for breakfast. Oh, no, I haven't. There is a gorgeous um, gluten-free malt loaf as well. Are you gluten-free as well? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, don't. Every issue. I've now got more issues now that I'm, I'm going to find out about on Monday. Thing is, though, I think nowadays there's a lot more choice, isn't there? For gluten yeah. free, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. A few years ago, you would have had that horrible yeah, smell. Yeah, I'm not a celiac, so it wouldn't make me violently ill, but it just, if I, yeah, so, if I went to, so if I came to your house and you served me pasta, I'd be fine eating it, but then if I'd pasta the next day, I'd be poorly next oh. day. You know what I mean? So it's, I just, I'm just careful with it. So when people bring cakes in and they're not gluten free, I will have a piece, but not whilst I'm working, if you see what I mean. I'll have it on the way home. <laughs> We baked, um, you know, like old fashioned school cake, the no. big trays of really buttery cake with icing on top. Just really plain and simple. That's nice. Sounds horrible. What? School cake? No, I used to like the one at school. I can't remember what it was called. It was like it had butterscotch on the top of it. Oh, I like the cornflake one where you had a cornflake and then it was pastry underneath. Oh, yes, and it was like the cornflakes were put together with like syrup or tea sugar. <laughs> so, oh, I've forgotten about that one. That was really yeah, that nice. Was nice. Mind you, I used to like blancmange, and all my friends used to hate blancmange. Well, they're semolina. not allowed to do them. In food tech, they're not allowed to do cakes anymore. Why not? Because it's unhealthy eating. Oh, no. Yeah, 
They can't do any cake. So do they do all healthy foods then? Yeah, in food tech. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh. Mind you, they, they have said, haven't they, they're going to bring in reward points for people who lose weight. Are they? Yeah, because obviously 80% of us are obese or overweight. And um, so they, they were on, it was on the news yesterday. They're going to do, they've got the man, who was it, that's done some reward scheme for like Sainsbury's or something like that. And they're going to bring in a thing where if you lose weight, you get reward points and you can buy cakes with your reward <laughs> points. No, no, you can buy things with your reward points. So what I just want to show is yep. what I'm going to do. <gasps> <laughs> what? Go on. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. So I've been inspected. Um, <laughs> so we could we could cut down this whole seam allowance. If I had time, I would cut this seam allowance right, down. Okay. But just because of time, I want to kind of get onto the other things. So what I'm going to do is just snip in until I get to the end of the point, but not actually cutting. That's Sorry, why I was making that noise, because yeah. this is the kind of thing you've got to almost the end of the blouse. Yes. And you cut down your seam allowance in the there. in the V, and if you just go that one bit too far and cut through your stitches. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry if you saw the top of my head there, because um, oh, no, I wanted to get in. And then the other side as well, so that when we fold it through, it will open up that V much more neatly. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, you definitely need to cut into it, no matter how yeah. fine your fabric is. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just press it quickly so yeah. you'll get the impression, and then we can talk about this cuff. What was the understitching? Where did you do understitching? So, understitching, let me take this away so it looks neater. Yeah. So the understitching is we are going to catch this seam allowance against the facing. Right. So we would press it this way. Yeah. And then we would sew a very, um, just a, a line of stitching very close to that right. seam. But that but line of stitching is not seen, is it? No, it's on the it's inside. No, on the facing. Yeah. It's not on the outside. It's okay. not top stitch. Yeah. The only thing is, if you did do top stitching on this, just be careful because you might pull out the um the shape yeah and also uh, when you've turned the facing through did you then stitch the facing to the shoulder seam yes yes on both dresses okay. just to stop it flapping out you, nothing worse is it than it flapping out as you're walking along so i'm just going to quickly press this just okay. so we get jackie's the making blamange for dave today Ooh. samantha says toffee cream tart is that what i was talking about for school Alison Marion's gone all yummy. And then I don't understand Sue's um, comment. It says, John, being the Ofsted of sewing would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. me be, oh, me being to checking up. Because <gasps> I just said you're the inspector. Yes, yes, yes. I've got it now. They don't ready, grade us anymore, though. Huh? They don't grade us teachers anymore. What, Ofsted? Yeah, so they will come in and they'll give you um, strengths and weaknesses, but right. they won't give you a grade anymore. Oh. Whereas years ago, you used to get a grade. Yeah, of course in. you did, yeah. And you'd all, at the end of the inspection, the end of the day, you'd all be lined up along the corridor waiting to go and get your feedback from the inspector. Oh, all the teachers. Yeah. Oh, that must, oh. So you felt like you were the in children yeah, exactly. going back and then you'd go in and you'd come out and some people would be upset. Other Where did you do happy. your teaching practice? So I did my teaching practice in two schools really local to me, one in Burton uh -huh. and one uh, in Colville in Ipstock. And then my first teaching school was within Nottingham. I stayed there for about five years, then went to Nuneaton. Uh -huh. And now I'm back in the school in Derbyshire. Oh, lovely. And I love this school because yeah. we're a nice little community school. I am. Um, it's a what? Community school? Yeah, so it's a small school. Oh, nice. Um, it, you know the olden days when we, before they turned into academies, you'd have like, it, they'd be called community schools because okay. it's a small school yeah so you know all the kids yeah, no no i think it's lovely i think it's yeah. lovely you walk around I think it's far more important they're all like hi miss yeah. Rowland." um yeah because i did my first teaching practice in dewsbury in west yorkshire and then my final teaching practice was with the garforth comprehensive just outside leeds oh do you remember as a trainee teacher that nervousness of when you were stood up in your front of your first class i know and they know that you're the student they, teacher. yeah there's no getting around it they say oh mr scott's here just to teach for a few weeks and they know full well yes. that you're there. yeah exactly and you're only you're only two years older than the six formers that you're teaching yeah. which is the most frightening yeah thing. and then the day your tutor cut so they know that you're teaching yes. them and your so teacher is sitting you? in the class and i remember being uh, literally i don't know sound rude because you're gonna have your lunch but physically being poorly before my teacher was called Sarah Jennett my my um teacher from college she was the one coming to watch me 
and I was like literally so nervous. Oh yes, I, I used, when I was an NQT, so that's a newly qualified teacher, you have a few more observations. Yeah. And I used to get like a rash on my chest and it would only be my head of department coming to watch me, but I'd be so nervous. Yeah. But do you know what? Some of the children love having another teacher in because they show off. Oh yeah, no, no, they show off, but then also, because they, they don't like you, they can yes. then cause problems. Yes. But I, I once had um, this one group and the inspector came in and I was so nervous and I was wandering around and he was asking questions. And as he left, the kids gave me a round of applause. Oh. And I was like, oh, you guys are amazing. My kids, <laughs> my, my kids, oh, I can't tell you what, Mike. I, I had a non-examination class who absolutely loved me and they'd bring me presents every week. Oh. Which they'd nicked from the shop. <laughs> I didn't condone it. So I've just put right. a tiny stitch in the ditch on that front and back, just so that, because I've not done the understitching, just so that it gives the impression of what it looks okay, like. Okay, lovely. Okay. And the cuff. Now, yes, the cuff. Right, the cuff comes as a rectangle. And there is, I don't know if I've got the pattern piece. No, I, I left it off. So it comes as a rectangle. And then there is a small notch. So what we first of all do is we sew the ends and then we sew from one end up to the notch. Oh, so is that making the like the, what would be the button flap? Yes. Yeah. And then this you're going to sew to the actual thing. So uh -huh. let's see if we can quickly... Actually, should we put one of these on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that on there. So what you would then do is you're going to start from the bit that hasn't been sewn. Yeah. Attach that on, okay? Yeah. And then all the way round. So you unfold the part first, and then attach it on, and then go round. And then you can finish this seam together with all the three layers. Right. Now, I, I'll just say one thing as well. I have just tacked this part of the cuff together. Okay, so, so hang on, so the sleeve doesn't go inside. No. It, they, it lies on top and you yes, stitch around it. Yes, you stitch it. Okay. round. Just because uh, you don't have to do this line, but if you've got two pieces that are already stuck together and then you're putting it into a third, it only then feels like two pieces of fabric, yes, not three. and also three. you've got one that the middle one will slip out. Yes. The middle one will definitely slip yes. out, yeah. So I would just do that. You can take those stitches out, or if they're in your seam, if you're doing it through the overlocker, that would take those out anyway. Exactly. So we're just going to. again, hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just finish this and then we'll do it. Oh, sorry. Uh, Tim says, I used to get really nervous during observations when I was a university lecturer, but teaching is the best job in the world, in my view. Yeah. Lulu says, My mum was a headmistress, my sister in law is an assistant head, and I used to work in a school, school as a learning mentor, and I miss it really much. The top looked like it's off the shoulder. Is it an off the shoulder? No, top? but it, it just sits about where your bra is. Okay. So it, it's quite an open, open v. v. Open V. Yeah. Um, so literally, you, you've you literally laid that on top and stitched it yes. round. You've not encouraged. It's not like no. doing a cuff on a shirt where the raw edges have gone inside. No, okay. no. So that's why it is brilliant for a beginner. There isn't any sort no, of exactly. um, manipulation of the fabric at any point. And Maureen says, my first class were 10, 11 year olds. I was 10 years old then. I'm retired <gasps> now. And the shock is that my first pupils are now reaching retirement. Oh. Ooh, Maureen, Maureen. Right, while you're stitching that, I'll just do a quick summing up and then we can have a look at Adele's um, finished piece at the end. The pattern that Adele is making is sold out. The only pattern I've now got is the Harm and T. Right, um, a lot of people have said, is that they, they, could they narrow the neckline? I don't think you could without redrafting the pattern itself. Yes, I think that the, the, this pattern well. is a wide neckline on the Sicilian. And I, I think to be able to make it smaller, you'd have to redraft the pattern. But this one obviously doesn't have a neckline. This one has the um, slash neckline, doesn't it? 899, that's the harm and T. Okay. So just. Yeah. Most of the fabric is all sold out. Yeah, that, any that's left, just look underneath us on the website there. No, no, I'm just, we're just concentrating. I'm keeping quiet while you're concentrating. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to dealing with noise. Yeah, you no, Hannah's ahead. saying, right, you can go now. I say, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> no, not an Adele. Not Adele can go now. 
Right, I'm just sewing those folded over pieces that we did earlier. So it looks a bit messy because I haven't finished this seam. Right. But you get the idea here, look, that we have a cuff with a little keyhole and then we'll put a little button on there. Right. And if you didn't want that, you could make it into a whole cuff that you just sewed all the way around. Yep. Would your arm, would it be wide enough to get your arm through? But it's quite wide, actually, that point. So as I put it on, you stick your hands in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's loads of room. Loads of room. Yeah. So you could actually just put a finished cuff yes. on it and so you don't need the button if you yes. didn't want it. Brilliant. When are you in next? Uh, the 10th of April. Oh, 10th of April. Do we even know our April dates yet? Oh, yes, we do, don't we? Uh, oh, what day of the week is it? It'll be, It'll be a Saturday or Sunday. Of course Saturday. it will. It'll be me. Oh no! It'll be me because in April I'm on every single <laughs> weekend in April. Hannah's got what? Hannah and Emma have got one weekend off, and I'm working every single weekend. It's because Vix is going off to have a baby, isn't she? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you so much. Uh, don't you go anywhere because when we come back. Oh, oh yes, thank you, Emma. Uh, the winner of the Tilda bundle from yesterday is Lynn Streeter. Lynn Streeter, you have won that Tilda bundle from yesterday and uh, it will be winging its way to you very, very shortly. In fact, we have to put it on the trolley to go to the... Oh, it's the weekend. So it'll be next week that that's sent out to you. So congratulations. Congratulations on that. Don't go anywhere. We, I will see you in three minutes when I've got pre-cuts and I've got some of the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. I'll see you in three. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shopped with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harbour. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Need of a crafting fix? 
There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! There we go. I've got some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics in this hour. I'm just doing this. Now, uh, uh, yeah, I was talking about, of course, I was talking about Emma. And Hannah, of course, yeah. And that goes without saying, doesn't it, really? Yeah, so I'm not going to say it ever again. Right, okay, and I'm never going to say I love her on air again, because that, no. Right, look, this is important, this is important, this is important. We had loads of these, right? How many have I got left? Seven left, and I love this. Now, yesterday, if you're watching yesterday, Delphine made this yesterday. Now, she made this out of a metre, oh, wrong way up, a metre and a half of navy fabric that we've got on the website, and she used the uh, jelly roll, design roll, to create this, right? Now, I don't know if there's any patterns left. It's called the Tree of Life from yesterday. Oh, there weren't, there weren't. But if you did happen to get one of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of patterns that sold yesterday, it's made from this fabric. She used a design roll, but I have got for the very, very first time the layer cake, the 10 inch layer cake, uh, oop, or charm pack. Oh no, it's layer cake, I can say layer cake, can't I, because it's moda. Oh, I love these fabrics. You could do that tree out of these. You could do that tree out of these fabrics. Look, I bet that's why loads got, because I did give you the heads up. Now, I've forgotten to bring my blooming, um, Roxana made me my fit. Oh, now look, these are batiks. These are batiks, so look, both sides, you can use both sides of this. Aren't they just exquisite? Oh, come on. I've got, there you go. Oh, now I kind of recognise that one. Look, aren't they just adorable? Oh, what? Someone's just got like that, haven't they, through the paint? Yeah, like rhubarb, Hannah's saying. I wish I could open these. Here we go. There's only three left now. I'm not going to get very far. Two left. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, they're just magnificent, aren't they? How much? I haven't even said how much it is. Oh, it's only 31 99 That can't be one. There's two left. Oh, oh, look. 
Look at them, sherbet fountains, rainbows, smudgy rainbows. Oh, come on, John. <laughs> yeah, I didn't clean my glasses. <gasps> and your monochrome in the middle of it all. Look. Oh, that's nice. Are they all gone? Okay, they're going to go. I haven't got any more. Oh, I've got more batik fabrics coming up later in the design world. Different, different company, different make, but not that one. You could do Delphine's quilt in any fabric you want. We were saying yesterday, it'd be nice in Liberty, it'd be nice in William Morris, but we've got some more batik coming up. You could do them in barley pops. They're new barley pops that we've not seen before. They're coming up in a little while. I'll let Emma put that away later. I thought you had an appointment at 12, Emma. I thought you had an appointment at 12. Right, okay. Right, what's next? This is at the park, Bilbao Park in, in um, San Diego. Uh, right, how many of these have I got? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Came in this week, brand new, two, a two-part a two part split pace. For, it's for um, £99 up to £149. There's a two-way split pay now. This fat quarter bundle is brand spanking new today. We have had the co this collection. You've seen fat eighths of this, and you've seen some fabrics by the half meter in this, but you've never seen this in the fat quarter bundle before today. Now, this is what we do. Before you come in, right, we have to take these silver labels off like that. Then we take the bag off. Oh, now these, I think these might be Adele scissors. Oh, okay. Not, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, we're not supposed to share tools, are we? Sorry, just let's do it. There we go, yeah. Right, okay, so then, oh, now, now my hands are slippy, so I can't get the polythene off. Right, and then we have to put the sticker on here, like that. There we go. Right, now... If you have seen, uh, Wendy Orlando did a quilt making this um, last week. Was it last week or was it this week? And then also Delphine made this cushion using some of these fabrics as well. I'll put it that way up. Okay, so there you go. Now, where else would you find? Because this is a, I would say this was a, a regular price for a bundle like this. But split pay is fantastic. Oh, here you go. Uh, so it's available, the same bundle, so this is a direct comparison left. They've got two left in stock. They're £103.95. Is there a split pay? Not as far as we're aware. Right, so look, here we go. So we've never had, we've had them in fat eights, but we've never had these in fat quarters before. So let's just go through and have a look at these then. Hang on. Oh, Emma's fine with that. Thank you, Emma. So then we've got the cream section. Cream. This is Hannah's favourite. Now that's called sun drenched. No, it's something to do with lying on a beach, isn't it? Sun kissed. Is it sun kissed? And this one's got this is our favourite stripy one. Then we go into the green section. Well, I've jumped out of the green section already and into the um, pale terracotta. Then we go into it now. They called this a different colour, didn't they? Oh, no, no, it wasn't this one they called a different colour. Then you've got the soft uh, mushroom. Then we've gone into the beautiful soft tealy green. Tealy green. Then we go into the darker green there. This is nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Then, look, we go into the, like, the purples, as I'm saying, Liverpool. There's the, is it sun-kissed? I can't remember now. And then, now they call this one something like graphite or charcoal or something like that, don't they? But it's a lovely, warm, woody colour, that one. Look at all those. You, don't get the, you get the piece of paper, but it's not important. 
So how many, how many are in there? 30. 30 fat quarters. Don't look at me. There you go. Aren't they exquisite? They're soft. They're tonal. They're going to go with lots of things. Even if you don't mix them all together, imagine mixing those with your solids. Uh, so now what we do with our split pay, it's 99.99 is the, how much you pay for these. Or if you went to the other shop, you pay £103 for them if you wanted, 103.99. But, 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 split pay. So you pay 49.99 uh, today, plus your post and packaging if you haven't already bought something. If you've already bought something, then your post and packaging is included, right? You can have this. Split pay, pay $49.99 today, it would be at midnight tonight, and then in a month's time, you pay another $49.99, too many nines there, $49.99, and that's it done, paid for. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? And we don't add any interest, what, oh, there you go, 0% interest, no interest whatsoever. Now, it's Moda, Balboa, by Sherry and... Chetsy, I think you remember us. Oh, wait, it's on the graphics there. Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea. Fat couldn't spell it differently. Fat quarter. Uh, 30 pieces. 30 pieces. Now, which, what size fat quarter is it you're going to ask, aren't you? Let's have a look. There you go. It's that size fat quarter. There you go. So you get 30 of those. Beautiful. So that's seven and a half metres of fabric in there. It's gorgeous. The quality is stunning. The quality of the fabric is stunning. It's lovely, isn't it? And, oh, here we go. Oh, now, which one do you think is Sherry and which one do you think is um, Chelsea? Is it mother and daughter, do you think? That I think that's Chelsea, yeah. 18 by 22, 100% cotton, mode of fabric, so you know it's good quality. Oh, you don't agree? You think Chelsea's the old one? Not older, old, older. No, I don't think they'd I'll go to the website for to find out about them. Oh, Schiller, John, green, green grass. They bought a farm in Wales. Oh, I thought it was a hotel in the... I learnt so much watching Sewing Quarter. I've really enjoyed the dressmaking, even though I don't make dresses, apart from children's dresses. Oh, thank you, Tim. Oh, here we go. I've got some information on them. So Sherry, Sherry's the mum. So they are mother and daughter then. Oh, there you go. So Sherry's the mum. Oh, there we thought that, didn't we? And Chelsea's the daughter. She does lots of things on her own, but she designs fabric with Modif with her daughter. That's their unique selling point. Sherry lives in the desert of North Nevada. wonder why she does that. I think her husband's a cattle farmer. Oh, here we go. She wants to travel the world. She likes what? Even though she lives in the desert, she likes the ocean and rainy days. Or what she's saying is she married a man who lives in Nevada and she misses being in California. Quilting, stitching, reading, writing, gardening, in brackets, in the desert. These are all her hobbies. It's the daughter. Time management. A reading time management. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Reading, time management and lifestyle books. Oh, OK. Genealogy. She's into genealogy. What about the mum? Do you got anything about the mum? Oh, that was the mum. Sorry, that was the mum. I thought that was the daughter. Nothing on the daughter. All right, then. There we go. Yeah. Third of the stock of those has gone. I'll come back to them. I'll come back to them in a minute. Apparently she's got a very lovely quilt room in her house in Nevada. Nevada, I don't even know. So Nevada's in the desert, isn't it? Oh, it's near Vegas. Oh, so yes, yeah, I bet you any money she's moved, because you can drive to California from Vegas, can't you, in the day. So I bet you money money she used to live in California. She married a lovely man who owned a ranch in Nevada. 
and she misses the beaches, Mission Beach of San Diego. Oh, she loves other things as well. She loves her husband. That's good. Her amazing children and their amazing children. Mm -hmm. Ocean rain, cloudy days. She's not going to get many of those in Nevada, is she? Okay, uh, she likes kindness, lemonade and mango Italian. What? Gelato. Right, okay. Okay, I'm moving on now. Oh, no, we need to do these next. We need to do these next. Look, same fabric, same... See, same bundle, same fabrics, but look in the two and a half inch squares. They're called nickels, these. Nickels. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. You get 42 two and a half inch squares for six ninety nine. Perfect for your EPP, perfect for your hexes. Stop it. <laughs> She's got an awful lot of likes, the lady, the mum designer. Armoury. Right. Souffles. I think she, you know. Six ninety-nine. I've never made a souffle, I have to say. These are six ninety-nine, two and a half inch squares. Do what? Six ninety-nine. Aren't they lovely? Look, telling a story. Like, a, like one of those um, flip charts. Okay, moving on. How many of those have I got? Oh, about to sell out, about to sell out, about to sell out, about to sell out. Okay, what else have I got that's new? Oh, what one? Yesterday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now this, this I think is, this is Moda again. This is by Joe Morton. Happiness is. This is the premiere today. This is this 10 inch um, charm pack. This is Joe Morton, and she says, Happiness is acceptance. Oh, message from Beverly. I lived in Nevada for almost 20 years. So miss the sea and the rain too. Know how she feels from Beverly in Norfolk. You've got the sea now in Norfolk. Haven't you got a great big coastline in Norfolk? So this is your layer cake. You've seen some of these fabrics before maybe, but never in the 10 inch charm pack. Or you can call it a layer cake because it's moved up. Now this is very, very traditional, isn't it? That, I wonder if this first lady lives in Nevada as well. It's like desert, isn't it? It's the cracked soil in the midday sun. Uh, and there are the little apples that have fallen off the tree. Now, that's Jane, Jane Green off yesterday after pruning her apple tree because of all the wasps. That's like, um, now I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, um, I, I can't say because I don't know what the politically correct thing to say is. Cherries. I've known from our friend Cherry Freitas, actually. Yeah, I'd be busy with a little puppy, wouldn't you? Bless you. There's the cracked Sahara Desert again, Nevada Desert. Oh, I think we're going into some colour in a minute. So we've all got the air crew. Oh. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Tradition, tradition. So we're going to blues now. She was inspired by a collection of antique quilts. Well, that's where it's all come from, isn't it? These look like, here goes the blues. Look, teal's coming up now. Look, aren't they lovely? Called Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Now it feels they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. <sighs> Look, cracks up. Where, where does she live? Oh, we haven't worked out yet. Oh, wow, that one's nice. 
Hang on, let me just look at this one here. So she loves her earthy tones. She loves her traditional tones. A lot of her books are all earthy, very earthy based colour wise. Very traditional. Yeah, they do. No, now I was just about to say that. Right, country, not country and western, but you know, like Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and the, like kind of in the 1800s. I think these are very, very typical of hi historical prints. There you go. She's got a club called Joe's Little Women. I tell you about them sobbing women. I could sing all of it, but we're not allowed to. No, I'm not going to. So it's Seven Brides for Seven Brothers when they go and get their wives from the village before the snowstorm. Oh, it's a brilliant film, that. Oh, hang on. Layer cake is such a good value for your money. If you're making a quilt, you get the whole collection. Georgina says, how can you see me, Georgina? How can you see me? I was licking my finger, right? But how do you know? Because I forgot to bring my Roxana finger guards with me. She said, stop licking your fingers. Where are your guitar pluckers? Yes, I know, but I've, I have been, I've been sanitising between each one, but I thought you couldn't see because you've been staying on this. So how can you see me licking my, my finger? Oh, Georgina, that's freaked me a little bit now. If you could see me licking my finger, what else can you see? Yeah, guess what I'm doing now? Right. Yeah, I'm in vision now. I'm not going to lick my fingers now. She's just new. Oh, we're in... We're in um, message from Beverly. Uh, those rich colours would make a beautiful, rich cushion for a leather chair in a gorgeous study. Oh, have you got one of those, Beverly? Little Paul's, oh no, did he ever buy it? I don't know if he bought it, did he? Leather Chesterfield he wanted. Loving the shows this morning, surprised and delighted to see my Harris Tweed wreath on the Sewing Quarter Facebook ad in one of the breaks. Lorraine, right, it won't be a Sewing Quarter. It won't be from Sewing Quarter, it must be Sewing Street, my love. Oh, it's gone. Who was it from? Didn't see who it was from. Lorraine, Lorraine. In where? Bowl. That salad bowl. Okay. Oh, B O L E, yeah, Bolle. Uh, thank you. Bowl. Bowl. Um, um, oh, who are you? Is it? We'll have to have a look in the advert later. Bolle. Where do you live? Bolle. Oh, George, you see that said that would be telling. How funny. Right. Okay, I'm going to move on. Now, you will have seen, you could have seen this one before. It's gorgeous. This is inspired by the White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, no, too late. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. But I have got White Cliffs of Dover in fat quarters. Now, have I got the, I thought I had this one. Oh, oh. we had a design roll of it open. Oh, yes, yeah, so I wasn't going to, how many of these have I got? Oh, no, I can't. Right, I'm going to show you the fabrics in the layer cake. But these are all what they're doing. They're in here, but I don't want to open these because one of these will be one of yours, you see. So I don't want to open that one. And you don't want me uh, touching it, do you, really? So have you bought this one? Right, OK, here we go. So you've got the pastel pastels. These are like the uh, white cliffs of doves. You've got the sky, the green grass, the white, and the grey of the rocks. Aren't they lovely? Now, I'm showing you the layer cake, but it's actually this oh, fat quarter bundle that's for sale. You get 20 fat quarters in there. Uh, now, look at that. They're only £4 each, that means. That's brilliant for a mode of fat quarter. I thought that one would be about £90, but anyway, here we go. So you've got the blues still, the gorgeous blues and whites. The, the, the thing about this collection is very, very fresh ticking. Floral. Then we're going into the greens, lovely greens now. That's the grass on top of the white cliffs of Dover. Tell me bluebirds. There you go. Then we're going into the fresh greens. Hannah had a dream that she wrote blue. Oh, I can. 
she sang it to herself in the studio. She said to Emma, I think I've written a song, Emma. And Emma's like, no, Vera Lynn sang that about 400 years ago. Here we go. There's the ticking in the grey. Won't be long. There you go. That I love that one on the top. That's fabulous, isn't it? So these are designed by Brenda Riddle. Brenda Riddle of Acorn Quilts and Gift Company. So sorry, now that's not what you're buying. This is what you're buying from that graphics. These are this is what you're buying. There are 20 fat quarters in there. Lovely, gorgeous. What? One left. When you're all checked out, there's only one of those left. What are you doing today? It's fantastic that you're all getting these amazing... But you're busy, busy, busy with that old credit card. Can I do that one there? Can you see which one I'm pointing to? Well, only because I don't think I've... I don't think I've seen this one before. This... Is, oh, shoot, it's like Jodie Foster, this lady. Homestead by April Rosenthal of Prairie Grass Patterns. Okay, now we've had some, am I allowed to open this one? We've had some homestead patterns before, fabrics before, but never in a design role on its own. So they're two and a half inch strips, called a jelly roll, two and a half inch strips. Now, when you get one of these, it's very difficult to know what to do because once you've opened it, that's sort of it. You can't re-roll it unless you've got a friend and four forks. Because that way you can re-roll it. But we can't do that at the moment, can we? Right, hang on a sec. Here we go. <gasps> oh, now this is why I need my little vacuum cleaner as well, really. Oh, these are lovely. There's something incredibly fresh about these colours. So should we start here? Oh, look! I've had this by the half metre, this fabric, I think. Oh, yes, we've definitely had them watering cans, haven't we? But I don't remember this one. It, this, is this the lady that lives by a mountain? Uh, then we've got the lovely stripe. Oh, th I love this one. Oh, now, isn't it funny, right? Isn't it funny? I've just, you know when your eyes do that thing where you think you can see one pattern and it suddenly changes to a different pattern? I saw, I, when I first looked at it, I could see white squares. Now I can see pink crosses. Yeah, but it'll bounce back to white squares in a minute. Yeah. Oh, the highlight boxes. Get a couple of those. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely red florals there. There's your vegetables on red. There's your um, highlighter boxes. I love these big daisy flowers. Then we've got the highlighter boxes again there. Gingham. Oh, no, gingham with flowers. We've definitely had that one by the half metre. Definitely. Now, what can you see? Can you see blue turquoise crosses or can you see white squares on turquoise? They're not red, Hannah. I don't have to tell you they're not red. Blue watering cans. Blue vegetables. Oh, they're nice. The grey flowers are lovely. Well, it's homestead. It's all about the home, isn't it? Yeah, she lives next to the mountain, married a school, but school day sweetheart. She doesn't like parties or large gatherings. This is nice, the vegetables on white. Now, oh, now. But isn't it the one where she can see the mountain from her back garden? But she moves up from somewhere quite busy, didn't she? Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. I like it in the greys. 
She's got a veranda, hasn't she? Sits on the veranda, drinking lemonade. She loves herbs and essential oils. She had twins at home. That's lovely, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, homemade bread and cheese. Wouldn't you love a warm, crusty loaf now with a big hunk of cheese? Or the big hunk will do. Oh, I, how funny. She also likes lots of tidy squares. Well, she loves gingham. She loves little highlight squares. And then these squares here as well. Oh, that's more gingham. Oh, right. She loves the colour orange, but there's no orange in this. But we all know what orange means, don't we? No, I'm not sure. She, I think we're getting two designers muddled up here. She hasn't got glasses on. Oh, look, 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 there she is. Oh, it's going to be a row in the gallery soon. So aren't they lovely? So how many did you get? Let's have a look. 40, two and a half inch strips. Moda Homestead, good quality fabric, £31.99. pence. Oh, she is, she is. And she sits on a veranda, doesn't she? I thought her house had a veranda all the way round it and she could sit at the front and look at one thing and on the back she could look at the mountains. Maybe I'm muddling up two designers. Yeah, that's it. That's a hot air balloon lady, that's it. Oh, Georgina says, I'd love to get you on karaoke. I hate, hate karaoke. My friend Nadine, you know Nadine Abagger, who was a beauty editor of Hello Magazine, now has Beauty by Nadine and has something like 700,000 followers on Instagram and YouTube and everything. Her favourite night out is going to, I think it's called Little Voice, before all this happened, Little Voice in London. And it's, it's like a posh person's karaoke. And I couldn't think of anything worse. Well, no, you're in little, you're in booths, but you're all in the same big room, aren't you? Um, Stuart's finished his binding on his quilts. Anyway, gorgeous. Christine has messaged in. Good morning, John. Yesterday I ordered the Moda Homestead bundle. Now I've ordered this jelly roll. By the way, love the shirt. Thank you, Christine. It's gemstones. Can you see? I'll put it in shot. Look. Who said that? 31.99. I'm not in again, make the most of me. I'm not in again till Friday. I know a lot of people will sigh a huge sigh of relief there. Pardon? Oh yeah, Emma cheered earlier. Wow, I can't believe it. I've won the Tilda Bundle. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Love, Lynn. Oh, Lynn, it's our pleasure. Also, Lynn, it also means you're in, the bu in for the bundle at the end of the week as well. Here's what you want, Lynn. It'll be all on its way to you soon. When, it, when you get it home, Lynn, tell us what you think the animal is. Mole. It hasn't got a tail. Mole, rat, rabbit. We don't know. We just don't know. Of course, the stock of this is gone. Oh, I'm sitting here. Gently stroking, I've got loads to do. Sorry, I'm getting a bit above myself now, aren't I? Well, I do normally. Right, what do you want to do next then? Right, there's only three of these left. This is Riley Blake Bumblebees. Now, this is how yours will arrive. Roly poly, is that the equivalent of a design roll, a jelly roll? He was in yesterday. No. Right, bumblebees on black. Oh, sorry, there you go. Bumblebees on black, then so you've got your bumblebees on yellow, you've got your honeycomb, you've got your beehives. Oh, the bird, the bird, the bird cage, um, not cage, what's it called? Bird box. 
You know my bird box I bought for my tree? It's, it's to made to look like a, a bark on a tree. Oh, and, and we've placed my um, hedgehog home now. And the straws arrived and the food's arrived. So I'll put that out for them later. No, I will. We only, I, the only, I haven't seen rats around my way. I don't think you get many rats where I'm, Hannah. But not, yeah, in the, especially in the city, because you're never more than three feet away from a rat where you live. I have, uh, no, no, I've got uh, weasels and stoats in my garden. Weasels and stoats. Yeah. And, and the birds have started coming to the bird table. Remember I brought the bird table and it was just, they were just ignoring it. When I was in the garden actually talking to Danny yesterday, they all suddenly swooped in and started eating off it. I've got one, I've got the rose that um, uh, Ali and uh, Marina bought me for Christmas. That's been planted. But the other roses were a bit too expensive, so I thought we had to wait till next month to buy more roses. But I've decided I'm not having climbing roses. I'm up the trellis. Daddy's put the trellis up. I'm going to have honeysuckle, passionflower and clematis growing up the trellises and then just roses on the garden. Now, I've got one from um, Mary France and Christophe, a standard rose to plant. And I've got another one from uh, Judith in Waterlooville. I've got one from her to plant as well. So it could be nice. Anyway, look at how many of these we've got left, did you say? Two left. 49.99. There are 40 pieces. Riley Blake, 100% cotton. And yours will arrive, won't arrive like this. This is just our open sample here. Okay. What's next? I've got Tilda coming up next. It's a fat eights bundle. I'm just moving all of this onto this side. Ah! There, my best glasses gone on the floor. Tilda fat eights bundle. Okay. They're fat eights, not fat quarters, these. Uh, for 49 dollars Gorgeous. I can't open that one out, though, I'm afraid. I haven't got anything to show you. I haven't got any of this range open, I'm afraid. Oh, we're going, we're moving, we're moving. Barley pop, barley pop. Ooh, barley, barley pop, barley pop, barley pop. Did I make an entrance then? Oh. Somewhere over, oh, I thought there were only three. I thought four. Yeah, right, this is Over the Rainbow Barley Pop. 40 different fabrics cut with a laser-guided machine. Brand spanking new today. Two and a half inches wide. Am I allowed to open these? That time. <laughs> Well, I am a weird old man in the corner, aren't I? And I said, you sound like a weird old man in the corner, John. Well, the fruit don't fall far from the tree, do it? Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, these are... F oh! Oh, right, okay, let's go through these. These are all batiks. Now, they don't... You know, sometimes the batik fabric feels a bit crusty and they, this doesn't at all. This is so smooth. Right, look. Circles, striped batik, ferns, this is lovely, isn't it? Aren't they? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, more. Yeah, yeah, we've had the speckledy ones before. Look! So you're getting how many? 40, 40 different fabrics. Then you've got your stripes. Remember, they're two and a half inches wide, width of fabric, I'll show you in a second. Look at that one, how dramatic is that one? Pinky stripes, pinky splodges, pinky things. Pink oh, don't they look like uh, hundreds and thousands vermicelli, those are like, oh, you're gonna love this stripe. I don't think you get a trouser out of a, a, out of a strip, jelly roll strip. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, aren't they just beautiful? Oh, look, seaweed. Faded spots. Some flowers. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? See, the whole thing is very fresh. Oh, look at the colour. That's like cobalt, isn't it, that one? And then turquoise. There's your circles. We had that in multicoloured at the beginning, didn't we? Then you've got your seaweed again. Loads. Oh, the greens are nice. The colours are very, very pure, aren't they? Hang on, let me find one. Hang on. Oh. That's fine. No, no, there you go. I've done it. Done it, done it. But I just want to show you the width. It's a width of fabric, 42 inches wide. So it's exactly the same as a design roll, a jelly roll. They're just packaged differently, that's all. And they're cut by laser. So you know most design roll jelly rolls have a pinked edge. This is absolutely cut by laser, so it's exactly two and a half inches. On a jelly roll or design roll, the inside of the pinking shears is the two and a half inches. I suppose this way, the... People who make it, actually, because each, on each one, if they save like a, mi a tiny, tiny millimetre, it'll soon add up, won't it? Anyway, that's beautiful. It's called Over the Rainbow. They're 39 99 so they're a pound each, basically. Each of those strips are a pound each. That's the way you need to think about it. And there's so many books, aren't there, that do um, jelly roll quilts or single strips. And in that rainbow colour, they're going to look amazing. Let me just take that to the end there. And all the strips are different. You know, sometimes in a, in a design roll, jelly roll, you get two or repeat or anything. These are all different. All the barley pops we've had here at Sewing Street have been the same pattern, just in different colourways. This way you've got different patterns as well as the different colours in here now. No. Where are you all coming from today? Everybody's just loving, 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 loving the colours and everything. And also, you love a pre-cut. You do love a pre-cut, don't you? They're, and these are brand new. Brand spanking new today, these. Right, okay, I better get a move on, because look, it's quarter two. So that's over the rainbow. Sh carry on checking out. It's not sold out yet. The, the loads have gone, but it's not... Carry on checking out. Right, let's do the blue one. Now. Am I to open all of these? I might only open one of those two over the coming up in a minute. I only want to be with you. That's what Hannah's just said. She just sang. Yes, she did. Like when you sang that Vera Lynn song, thinking you'd written it. Oh, now these, hey, what's this one called? Hydrangea. Yeah, now that designer said she liked hydrangeas, didn't she? <gasps> oh, yes, I can see why she's called it hydrangea. Oh, they've called it hydrangea. So here we go. So we've got the different, we've got the black backgrounds, the purple backgrounds. Oh, these are lovely. Again, you get 40 different pieces for $39.99. Oh, yes. Now it's the same prints look that you've just seen in the in the somewhere over the rainbow, but just in the different colorways. Oh, actually, some might. Oh no. I thought there was a cobalt version in that one. Oh no, it's different. That, that was navy blue in the other one. Stripes. Oh, cow parsley. You could do bargello with these, yes, definitely, because all your strips are two and a half inches wide. You just need to then cut. Oh no, you could. Uh, no, you couldn't. Because you need. Uh, we well, could do a little barge yellow out of it because you need to repeat the colours, don't you? So you could you could do a little barge yellow. Yeah, with all completely different colours. It wouldn't go like that. Because you Yes. It would be amazing though. Would be, I think in log cabin as well. I think a log cabin of these look gorgeous. Or if you got like this one and the rainbow one, and you do that side of the log cabin in the blues. And that side, the log cabin in the rainbows. Or you do your courthouse steps and you have those in the blues and then the sides in the rainbows. They'd be nice, wouldn't they? 
Hang on, I'm just trying to think about Bargello now, because normally what I do is I need, you need three, for, to do the decent size quilt, you need three width of fabrics of the same colours, and then you go, you give them all a number, and you sew three of them together. So you could, but you'd, you'd only use ten of the colours if you wanted it to repeat, but then on this one, your next piece would have to be a different colour. So you could have it going like that, but the, the colour would ombre through. Be interesting to see, actually. Yes, 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 yeah, there's that book we, oh, I don't know if it was here. We had a book on all on different Bargellos, didn't we? Oh! It's fresh. Oh, do you know what? If you also got Delphine's Tree of Life um, pattern, just the pattern yesterday, didn't buy the, the bundle, Imagine you could either have a rainbow tree, you could have a blue tree, or come. I've got two coming up next which look very similar. They're very autumnal, but they are different. Look. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Got to move on. Now, let me show you these two because they look very similar, but they're different. Right, so I've got Denim and Grace and Fireside Chat. Right, I'm going to show you them together because, look, they look... That actually, if you're looking for two lots that go perfectly together, then these would work, right? So which one first? Denim and Grace, which is this one. Like Will and Grace, but funny. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just... Uh, I love Will and Grace. In fact, at the moment, I've got it on kind of repeat at the moment. No, they haven't brought it back. They brought it back ages ago. It's finished now. They had a 10-year gap, and then they brought some back, but that was... Oh. Right, here we go. Oh, look. So now this one, just so you know, this one is called Denim and Grace, right? So we've got the blacks. Oh, look, that's nice. The greys. Oh, now I've not seen that one before in these bundles, have we? not seen that one before. It is like Sashko, that one. Then we've got the maroons, Paul's favourite colour. Then we go to the pure white, look, jump from the maroon to the white. Then we go to the soft greys. Then we go to the more, I was going to say more meaningful greys, I didn't mean that, the more um, deeper greys. Through to the, oh, that's nice. Got the spots. Look, how effective are these? Oh. <gasps> So remember, this one's called Denim and Grace, this one. Oh, look there. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? And then through to the blues. Okay, so that's Denim and Grace. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to keep that one out with that next to it because the next one is very similar. This one is called Fireside Chat. Oh, We've called it what? Spice. What was the, was the first one called the right name then? Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> right, here we go. Think of the Spice Girls. Look, because Paul, head of buying, is very into the Spice Girls. He loves the Spice Girls. Right, look. Oh, what? So remember, this one's called Fireside Chat. This, this is like your denim and grace, but warmer, isn't it? Look. Nice. Then you've got your um, cow parsley there. Stripes, Hannah's favourite. Look at this one, though. Hang on. Look, that's like confetti, that one, isn't it? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, look.
Hang on, hang on. Look at that one. That's nice as well. Yeah, we need to get some of these in half meters by the half meter, don't we, really? I wonder if they do them. They must do. That's beautiful, isn't it? I think deep down, Hannah's a little bit in love with Delphine. That's my favourite in that one. Oh, it's not deep down, it's very much on the surface. She's completely in love with Delphine. Okay. Right. So I'm just showing you these together. This one here is Fireside Chat. This one here is Denim and Grace. In fact, when we open them, they look very different. But in the packet, they look very, very similar, didn't they? Barley pop over the rainbow. Be please be careful. Um, loads have gone. Loads and loads and loads have gone. Yeah, yeah, we bought a lot. You'll be you'll be fine. I'm not saying if you don't buy it now, you won't get it, but they're very it's very, very popular. And then the blues one. Okay, we have got lots of them, so don't worry. There's no panic about having to buy them now. Okay, now, I've got these other Fat Quarter Bundles. They're very, very affordable. But I need to tell you, I call these craft fabrics because you wouldn't want to make a quilt out of them because they're slightly uh, finer. Fa I'll show you, I'll show you. Which one do you want to do first? Oh, yeah, they're all rainbow. <laughs> and it's just got the rainbow one. Hang on. Yeah, got it. Right, okay. So the... Oh, no, Hannah... Oh, ignore me. Ignore me. Complete. How much are these? Right, now, when we used to sell these, when we used to sell these, I used to say, oh, please don't buy these for quilting because they're lovely to use crafting and everything like that. This is really good quality cotton. Right, you get five. Like, this is important now. They're, it's really good quality cotton. Oh, I love it. Look, so that's your rainbow. Paint the whole world. 100%, it's called Brights, actually, this one. Oh, yeah, Brights, yeah, Brights. We've got that one, right? 100% uh, cotton, wash at 30 degrees, 54 by 45 centimetres. pound fifty nine a fat quarter, and they're lovely quality. When we saw them, right, we were like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're the ones we had before. Brilliant for crafting, but, you know, yeah, you'd use them for twirls and things like that. Not, no, these are good quality cotton. The colours are beautiful, aren't they? So that one is called Brights. Oh, I've got to get a move on now. Quarter and soccer, that's gone. Next. Or lilac at the top. It's got purples in it. All right, this one then. Right, okay, this one here. I'm not going to open this one. You get white, red, orange, yellow and green in that one. Spring, you have to be quick with all of these. Okay, we've only got three minutes left, so I've got to get a move on. Next. Pinks and purples. So in this one, you've got like a lavender, a salmon, a fuchsia, an amethyst, and a, what was lavender quartz? Blush, that one's called. Say that again. Quarter of the stock of these are gone before I'd even got to it. That's blush. Then I've got Italian flag and blue. Blue, next. So in this one, you get the aqua, dark sky, light sky, bright sky, dull sky. Seaside. Oh, seaside, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Seaside. I think this is Italian flag, this one's called. Oh, it's not seaside. Don't look at it yet. Here we go. Red and green. It's white in there as well. So you get emerald, grass, white, bright, red. Green and red fat quarter bundle. Very, very limited on green and red. Lorraine says that seems ages till next Friday. Margaret says, what will we do till next Friday? Margaret says, you can have the hedgehog from my garden. Passion flower in a plot as they take over. Teresa said, what the colours run when washed. I doubt it, Teresa. I've made Dresden plates out of these. They're gorgeous. Right, tomorrow's menu. Oh, there's 20 left of the green and red ones. Right, here we go. Menu for tomorrow. Birthday teddy bear with Wendy Orlando. 
Nine o'clock, we've got fabulous fabrics. Ten o'clock, we've got butterfly cushion paper piecing with Wendy Orlando. Eleven o'clock, well, that'll be the birthday rounder because it's the last show of the birthday tomorrow. And then at twelve o'clock, uh, Granny Square string bag and accessories with Wendy Craig. Wendy Craig? Who? <laughs> Wendy Craig? No, no, Wendy Craig's not coming in. I'm so, ever so sorry, you'll have to make do with it. Who's Wendy Craig? I saw Wendy Craig, impression when I had long hair with the fringe and everything. I'll do that for you another day. Wendy Orlando, Wendy Orlando. Right, what do I need to recap before I go? The bright fat quarters. Okay, everyone's now coming in for these. Now we're closing. Now we're closing for the day. Not closing down, closing for the day. That's the brights. 7.99. Be careful on that one. That one's flying out. <laughs> Wendy Craig will be into shout at you tomorrow. She's on with Vix tomorrow. Right. Is this Vix tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, Vix tomorrow. Right. Next. Or am I going? Uh, remember, I'm not in till Friday. I'm not in again now till Friday. Um, I think it's because, because uh, Vix is having a baby at the end of the month, isn't she? So they're giving her all the shifts at the beginning and I'm going to be on at the end. Uh, thank you ever so much for this week. It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, please make sure you check out your baskets on everything because everything is absolutely flying up. And uh, any fat quarters that we haven't played through, especially these fat quarters, that uh, Hannah's going to play them through now so they will be underneath us on the web. <clears throat> I'm going to go. I need my boiled egg really badly today. And I will see you next Friday. Have a lovely week and uh, bye.